Chapter 401 Walk Away John Hai Ling and other members of the Shuring team's expressions darkened as they all heard the voice at the same time. The big men of the Hujiang People's Front, who were gathered outside raised their black guns and aimed them at Jian Lusher and others with murderous intent. Jian Lusher looked calm and suddenly looked to the southwest. Ran Shiyu's mental vision has been shared with him. He can see that the red spots that were hidden just now are emitting dazzling light in that direction. And the mental power has spread here. Hudo Mingwang, I have already killed you. If you feel that we have offended you and want to keep us, you can try. Jian Lusher responded calmly in his heart. As for who made the first move, Jian Lusher didn't want to waste any time explaining it. As the master of this place, Hudo Mai cannot possibly not know the ins and outs. If Prince Hudo Ming still takes action under such circumstances, then Jian Lusher will naturally not swallow his anger. Although this is Prince Hudo's territory, Jian Lusher is really not afraid of him. The base vehicle is just outside the city gate, and he has a gun in his hand and someone beside him. Hiding in this exchange. Come and kill one person. And come and kill a pair. Are you threatening me? After a while, Prince Fudo spoke. There was a hint of anger in his majestic voice. You came to my territory and killed people and caused trouble. Don't you have to give an explanation to the master? Explain? So you want to help the Mad Wars Alliance to help? Jian Lusher said in a cold tone. Fudo Mingwang snorted coldly. This snort was a mental shock. He wanted to suppress Jian Lusher, but was blocked directly by Ran Shiyu. Hudo Maiwa's spiritual energy is unparalleled, but Ran Shiyu's mental power is like soft water. Although it is not sharp, it can remove the power of Hudo Mayu. At the same time, Ran Shiyu also revealed his anger through his mental power. You want to take action? Jian Lusher said coldly. As soon as Jian Lusher finished his last word, there was a loud boom from the direction of the gate of the Shanghai People's Front. Boom. A ear-piercing roar broke through the air. I saw that the concrete city wall was hit by a powerful force. And a five to six meter long hole was instantly cut away. Dust flew up and mud exploded. The big men of the Huyang people's front guarding the door were so frightened that they turned pale and backed away from the door. At the gate, the inconspicuous minibus that had just parked there stretched out a ferocious V-shaped collision angle at some point. And a gun barrel with a shining metallic light protruded from the front face. The direction of the gun barrel is facing the concrete city wall. After the cannons were fired, everyone in the Shanghai People's Front had a look of panic on their faces. They all saw what happened at the city gate. Jian Lusher was also a little surprised when he heard the sound of cannons. Ng took advantage of just now and secretly returned to the base vehicle, controlled the base vehicle, and released this air cannon. Cannon! There is a cannon on the minibus outside the city gate! The few survivors at the city gate saw the gun barrel of the minibus clearly and were so frightened that they turned around and ran into the city gate, shouting as they ran. What? Cannon? Outside the exchange, some survivors heard the frightened shouts from the direction of the city gate and couldn't help but look at Jian Lusher and others who were surrounded. The situation before them told them that the cannon minivan belonged to these daring strangers. No diamonds. No porcelain work. This group of people was so fierce that they even killed Wang Shifu and Old Man Qin. This strength and courage would definitely be impossible without a little bit of confidence. In the apocalypse, cannons are powerful weapons with powerful deterrents. Although these superpowers have guns and bombs, when it comes to cannons, no one can produce them. The superpowers and ordinary men of the Shanghai People's Front who surrounded Jian Lusher suddenly looked at Jian Lusher and others with more complicated eyes. The power of the cannon had a serious psychological impact on them. But Fudo Maiwa's intimidation and loyalty to him kept them from taking a step back. They were waiting for orders from King Fudo. Jian Lusher glanced at this group of people, then calmly walked past a group of big men from the Shanghai People's Front, without even glancing at the guns in their hands, and took the lead to walk outside. The big men immediately stepped back, somewhat at a loss. King Fudo hasn't spoken yet, and they don't know what to do. The shot just now, as well as Jian Lusher's terrifying marksmanship, and the corpses on the ground also shocked them and made them dare not move rashly. Yang Tian Zhao was quite miserable at this time, but he followed Jian Lusher, and when he was about to leave, he glanced at the rifles on the ground with some reluctance. He hesitated, then jumped up and quickly took down the five rifles on the ground. They all hugged him and followed Jian Lusher closely. John Hai smiled at the people at the Huyang people's front. He squatted down and took off old Qin's clothes. After searching inside for a while, he grabbed an animal skin bag and stood up. He leisurely followed Ling at the back. During the entire process of his search, 
he completely ignored the people on the Shanghai People's Front and made their faces turn green. You? Zhang Jiming couldn't help but become a little anxious as he stared at Jiang Lushi and the others leaving figures. These people are really leaving. If they are allowed to leave like this, where will the face of the Shanghai People's Front be in the future? Other people from the Shanghai People's Front also started to move. These strangers are too arrogant and arrogant. Let them go. Just when the superpowers and other survivors of the Shanghai People's Front couldn't help but want to make a move, a majestic voice sounded in their minds at the same time. Boss, they are too arrogant and destroyed our city wall. Do you really want them to leave like this? Zhang Jiming asked in his mind. Zhang Jiming is not alone in asking such doubts. At the same time, hundreds of voices entered a luxurious and dark room in the southwest corner. There, lying there was a fat man with a bald head sitting on a mahogany chair. The big man's face was filled with anger at this moment. Boom! An antique blue and white teapot was thrown to the ground by him, leaving debris and tea all over the floor. Why? You ask me why? What a bunch of idiots! Wang Shifu and the others are dead. So what's the point of standing up for them? Besides, they're still a powerful psychic power user, and I can't control them all at once with my psychic powers. If there's a conflict, it's going to be very difficult for us. What's the benefit? They kill the king in happiness just like killing a chicken. And there are cannons. So even if they win in the battle, they will suffer heavy losses. This kind of loss-making business. I will not do this kind of business. King Fudo Ming said angrily to himself. Jiang Liosher's face with a hint of mockery appeared in his mind. And he snorted coldly. But you strangers won't live long. You killed old man Qin. Killed Wang Shifu. And completely offended Chong Shankai to death. As long as you are in Panju City. You will face the endless pursuit of the Mad War Alliance. That person Chong Shankai is a vicious and cruel snake. He will not let go after biting the enemy. Get in the car and go. As soon as Jiang Lusher and others got on the bus. And quickly started the minibus. Yang Tian now also held the rifles, jumped directly onto an off-road vehicle, and followed the minibus. I don't know which survivor team this car belongs to, but it gave him an advantage anyway. Zhang Hai was also in the same car with him. Boom! The minibus made a sprinting effect, and the tires made a fierce buzzing sound as they rubbed against the ground, causing dust to fly and speeding up instantly. Amid the rumbling sound of the engine, the minibus was like a tornado, leaving behind billowing dust as it quickly left Chang'an New District and drove into the distance. Brother Zhang, it's so cool. Ha ha ha. Did we kill Wang Shifu? Old Qin was also killed by Brother Zhang. Originally, I really thought he was going to die. I was worried that it would harm you. But in the end, there was no need to worry about this at all. As the vehicle moved away from Chang'an New District, Yang Tian Zhao relaxed completely and shouted excitedly. After the apocalypse, he followed a group of friends and was exploited and bullied every day and received death threats from time to time. Even if you trade with others with minerals, you must be careful to please them. After all, minerals are not necessities in the end of the world and are far less important than food and the like. It can be said that as a person with superpowers, his life is little better than that of a dog and he has suffered a lot. I didn't expect to be with Jian Lusher and the others today, killing everyone. It was his first time to experience this kind of experience. This kind of happiness. John Hai chuckled. He was used to the feeling of following Jian Lushi and killing everyone. But Yang Tianzhou's excitement made him roll his eyes. How ignorant. Yang Tianzhou saw John Hai's contemptuous look and knew that this kind of thing was commonplace for John Hai and the others. But he still couldn't help but excitedly said, There are also guns. So many guns. Just thrown on the ground. And we took them came back. There is no doubt about the value of a gun. With guns, ordinary people have the capital to compete with superpowers and can hunt mutant beasts and deal with zombies more easily. It can be said that a gun is much more valuable than a life. Brother Zhang, with these guns, there must be eight or nine guns in Brother Zhang's team now. Right. Yang Tian Zhao asked enviously. He had no intention of keeping these guns. Without Jiang Lusher and the others, he would have died a long time ago. Now it was enough to be able to save a small life and see Wang Shifu die in front of him. 89? Zhang Hai picked his nose. In fact, if Yang Tianzhao asked Jian Lusher, sure, Jian Lusher sure would probably be too lazy to pay attention to him. But Zhang Hai counted them seriously. There must be 20. Right. Anyway, we all use different methods. And there are still many useless ones. Zhang Hai said. Yang Tianzhao. 20 items? 
Too much to use? Be good. Damn it! Zhang Hai suddenly roared. Look at the road! Why are you staring at me? Yellow-haired boy. Do you know how to drive? I was wrong. The minibus soon arrived at a parking lot and stopped here temporarily. Brother Jiang? Old man Qin has some savings. He has three first-level mutant crystal nuclei and a map. Zhang Hai jumped out of the car and handed an animal skin bag to Jiang Lusher. Jiang Liusher's heart moved, and he was actually a little happy when he saw the three first-level mutant crystal nuclei. When he left Wushue County, he had completely used up the mutant crystal nuclei. Now that he suddenly has three first-level mutant crystal nuclei, he is of course happy. Jiang Lusher himself was a little speechless when he thought that he would still be happy for three first-level mutant crystal cores. This was like going back to before liberation. The use of this mutant crystal core is now too wide. It is not only needed for various evolutionary projects of the base vehicle, but also now that the energy laboratory has been opened. The first level mutant crystal core can create an evolutionary crystal. Of course, this kind of evolutionary crystal created is completely built in the energy laboratory of the base vehicle, which can purify the mutant energy in the mutant crystal nucleus to the maximum extent. If it were a human military government, extracting one evolutionary crystal would consume at least two or even more mutant crystal nuclei and the mutant beast meat would also cost at least 3,000 kilograms. The entire base vehicle is a monster that swallows mutant crystal cores. As for the map, Jian Lusher spread it out and looked at it, but he didn't recognize it at all. But he knew that people like old man Qin put the map and the mutated crystal core together, which showed that the map was very useful. What kind of map is this? Do you recognize it? Jian Lusher handed the map to Yang Tian Zhao. This Yang Tian Zhao is really strong in survivability. He looked miserable before, but now he can move normally. Yang Tian Zhao was stroking the rifles happily, although the guns were not his. It was good to touch them to satisfy his cravings. After passing this village, he would not have this opportunity. Hearing Jiang Liusher's words, he was stunned. After Yang Tian Zhao came to his senses, he quickly took the map and looked at it carefully. Ah, this, this is the map of the restricted area. The restricted area is the former city center. I am very familiar with it. This is Zhao Yang Road. This is Chun Chun Road. Yang Tian Zhao said with certainty after looking at the map carefully. But what are these black spots on the map? And this plant-like symbol? Yang Tian Zhao was shocked to see that there were several signs marked with thick black dots on the map. And there was a skull reminder behind the signs. Clearly the place marked as a black spot is not a good place. As for the plant-like signs, there are only three of them. Distributed on two streets in the restricted area. If we divide it according to this plant symbol, Spring Road is closer to the defensive wall built by the Mad War Alliance, and Chengfu Road is close to the base of the Falling Star Society. I can't understand it. Yang Tian Zhao raised his head. A little bit, he said to Jiang Lusher embarrassedly. It's okay if you don't understand. I'll study it slowly later. Jiang Lusher collected the map and put it together with the mutated crystal core. Brother Jiang, we have caused such a big incident and have completely offended the Mad War Alliance. They will definitely hunt us down. Where are we going now? Yang Tian Zhao asked worriedly. After feeling satisfied, he finally started to worry about the future. Now that Wang Shifu and Old Man Qin have been killed, these two people, one is the head of the 8th district of the Mad War Alliance, and the other is the uncle of the boss of the Mad War Alliance, Chong Shunkai, and they have already formed a blood feud. Chong Shunkai always seeks revenge and waves of revenge will definitely follow. I know a secret passage that can enter the Mad War Alliance. Let's go there first. Jian Lusher said solemnly. After killing Wang Shifu and Old Man Qin, he certainly knew that he had offended the Mad War Alliance to death. However, he has no intention of fighting to the death with the Mad War Alliance. As this does not suit his style, his current purpose is to help Ran Shiyu find her sister Ran Yusha. According to the wanted criminal he killed, Shang Qianjuan, he also knew a shortcut to enter the interior of the Mad War Alliance. That shortcut was also a secret passage that Shang Chong's army found after being blocked by the Quanzhou Alliance. It was from there that he escaped. Now it happens to be used by Jiang Lu Shi. I didn't expect that Shang Qiangjuan could really come in handy. Chapter 402 Ran Yu Sha. Um, Jiang Lu Shi suddenly raised his gaze and looked in the direction of the minibus cab. There, Ying sat calmly in his seat. As the steward of the base vehicle, if it is not necessary or Jiang Lusher does not give an order, Ing will follow the basic principles of protecting and driving the base vehicle 
and will not leave the base vehicle easily. Shadow, you are seriously injured and need treatment. Jian Lusher walked straight to the base vehicle and said in a deep voice when he came to the inside, because of the existence of Star Seed, he can sense Shadow's physical condition. At this moment, he clearly felt that several ribs had been broken in Ying's chest, which was very painful. These injuries were caused by Ying when he fought against Wang Shifu in order to protect Jian Lusher. However, in order to use the minibus to pick them up, the film took advantage of the chaos and returned to the minibus and drove the minibus. When they got to the car, Jian Lusher could clearly see that Ying was in pain and had a layer of fine sweat all over his body. But Ying would not cry out in pain like ordinary people and still faithfully performed his basic tasks and even drove the base vehicle all the way from the Hujiang people's front here. Yusin, some of Ying's ribs are broken. Please help her treat it. Jian Lusher looked over there and said to Li Yusin, who was taking care of Jian Zhuying. Li Yusin was slightly startled and quickly walked towards Ying. After putting her hands on Ying's body, and using her medical powers to thoroughly check Ying's physical condition. Li Yusin's delicate body trembled slightly, and she was very surprised. Although Ying's injuries only broke a few ribs in his chest, they were already very serious. One of the broken ribs almost penetrated into the lung. If it had penetrated, it would have been very difficult even with her medical ability. She couldn't help but secretly admire that despite such an injury, Ying didn't make a sound all the way. This kind of steely willpower is rare in a woman. At that moment, Li Yusin said nothing, and her medical powers extended to the broken rib in Ying's chest that was close to the lungs. Jian Lusher felt relieved when he saw Li Yusin treating Ying carefully. Brother Jiang, Brother Jiang, give it! At the door of the minibus, Yang Tianzhao stood at the door with his face raised, holding a bag with six guns in his hand, which he handed to Jian Lusher in a flattering manner. Each of these six guns was wiped clean without a trace of dust. Jian Lusher held it in his hand, and could clearly feel that the key parts of some guns were carefully greased. Although there is no special gun oil, it is better than nothing, so that the gun will last longer. During the war, ordinary motor oil, even tum oil and sesame oil, were used to clean guns, but it is even more difficult now than during the war. This gun is for you. Jiang Lusher picked up one of the automatic rifles and threw it to Yang Tianzhao. Yang Tianzhao took the gun and was stunned for a moment. Then an excited look appeared on his face. The gun Jian Lusher threw over was a Type 56 automatic rifle. Before the end of the world, this kind of gun was considered crude, but its prototype was the AK-47, and it was still very powerful. Such a gun is much more powerful than a pistol. Yang Tianzhao stared at Form 56. Although he showed a trace of desire, his hand pushed the thing away. Brother Jiang, I can't have such a valuable thing. Today Jian Lusher and the others had a conflict with the Mad War Alliance and saved his life. Yang Tianzhao knew this very well. And he was embarrassed to ask for the rifle Jian Lusher threw over. Take it. We can't use this kind of gun. In addition, we also got Ran Yunch's information. This is a reward for you. Jian Lusher said calmly. The Type 56 automatic rifle is an old-fashioned rifle. Such old-fashioned guns are already dispensable to the Stone Shadow Team. Which now has more than 20 guns in stock. Jian Lusher got the news about Ran Yun Shah from Old Man Qin today. At least Yang Tian Zhao had a share of the credit for leading the way. Jian Lusher was not stingy in giving Yang Tian Zhao a reward. In the next few days, he will need Yang Tian Zhao to help lead the way. And he must give this young man some sweetness. This way others will be more motivated. And today, when Yang Tian Zhao was about to face death, he did not betray them. If he had made the opposite choice, he would not be standing here alive now. Thank you, Brother Jiang. Yang Tian Zhao did not refuse anymore and hugged the Type 56 automatic rifle tightly in his arms. This gun is of great use to him, and to the mine. For ordinary people who have nothing. This gun is of great significance. In the urban area of Panju City. Tall buildings stand tall. It's just that in the last days, the growth of plants is unusually rapid. The tall buildings are lush with greenery. Covered by countless vines and unknown plants. The plain trees on the street grew dozens of meters high, and many thick branches savagely penetrated the glass doors of tall buildings and extended in. This scene is like the time of the dinosaurs, when all creatures on the earth were extremely huge. Dragonflies were more than one meter long, and all plants towered into the clouds. At this time, fierce battles were taking place in several streets, some large supermarkets and underground parking lots. In some places on the streets, soil and gravel were overturned, creating deep pits. 
from time to time. You can see some zombies and human corpses on the ground. Crazy Alliance Headquarters. Although it was daytime and the sun was shining brightly, the eerie and dense vines outside still filtered the outside light very dimly. From time to time, there were violent explosions outside, but there was silence in the headquarters hall. Both sides of a luxurious mahogany square table in the hall were filled with people. There was only one chair on the right, which was empty. Sitting in the chairman's position was a man with a gloomy face. He is none other than Chang Shunkai, the leader of the Mad Fighting Alliance. He is actually very handsome. And when he is not speaking, there is a special evil spirit in his blood-red eyes, which makes him look even more mysterious and unpredictable. The people in other positions are all district heads and senior officials of the Mad War Alliance. There was a hint of uneasy fear in their eyes when they looked at Chong Shunkai. They all knew that Chong Shunkai's silence meant that he was in a rage ready to go berserk at any time. Don't you have anything to say to me? Wang Shifu and my uncle are both dead. I heard they were killed like chickens by a group of strangers. Don't you have anything to say? In the silence, Chong Shunkai finally spoke. His sharp and gloomy eyes slowly swept across everyone's faces, and there was undisguised anger in his words. The fingers of his right hand clicked on the mahogany table leisurely. Dong dong dong. It was like hitting everyone's heart, making people feel an inexplicable suffocation. Sir, we must kill him. A middle-aged district chief finally spoke under pressure. He pounded the big table in front of him. Wang Shifu, your uncle was killed by others. This is tantamount to us. The Mad Fight Alliance was severely slapped, and they clearly did not take us seriously. The other forces in Panju City must be watching our jokes. So they must find and kill these lawless strangers as a warning. Follow your example. Yes. Not only must these strangers who killed Wang Shifu be found and killed, but they must also be brutally tortured and killed slowly. We must let other forces in Panju City experience the terror of our mad fighting alliance again. I support the suggestion of the 5th District Chief. I suggest that our 4th District take on the task of catching these strangers. The District Chief spoke one after another, filled with righteous indignation and kept showing their determination and loyalty to Chong Shenkai. Chong Shenkai narrowed his eyes slightly, his face still gloomy, and he was non-committal to everyone's opinions. Chong Shenkai doesn't like to be called boss or boss. He prefers to be called, sir. Finally, Chong Shenkai's eyes focused on the face of the young man, with only one eye, and wearing a peaked cap sitting on the first chair to his left. Lone Lion! What do you say? This one-eyed young man, known as the Lone Lion, is the first district chief of the Mad War Alliance. He has not spoken just now. Sir, not long ago, I led the people from the first district to fight with Luo Xinghui near the restricted area of Chongfu Road. Now we are about to completely occupy Chongfu Road. It was also you who summoned me. And I learned that Wang Shifu and your uncle, I feel very sorry for their death. But I think we should calm down now. As long as we concentrate our efforts to completely occupy Chongfu Road, we will be able to completely control those plants. And then, there will be more active biometals. This is the top priority right now. Du Xur said unhurriedly. Du Xur was the first person to follow Chong Shankai. Facing Chong Shankai's anger, he could read some other meanings. Chong Shankai is a person who keeps his emotions secret. If he is angry, it must be for others to see. Whether it was the death of Wang Shifu, the head of the 8th district, or the death of Chong Shankai's uncle, Chong Shankai would of course put on an angry stance and show his attitude to the outside world. In fact, with Chong Shinkai's character, he didn't care about the life or death of others at all. However, the death of these people severely slapped Chong Shinkai in the face. And this is something Chong Shinkai can never tolerate. Do sure. What you said makes sense. However, one of the people who died today was my uncle, and the other was my right-hand man Wang Shifu. I must say this in my heart. No matter who it is, I will find him. Get rid of it. Chong Shunkai was silent for a while and said word by word. The other district chiefs looked at each other and then looked at Lone Lion with a hint of schadenfreude. It seems that Du Xur's suggestion this time is not in line with Chong Shunkai's wishes. Lone Lion did not speak, but his eyes slowly turned to a beautiful face. Opposite Chong Shunkai sat a woman wearing a white dress and white lace gloves on her hands. This woman was beautiful and charming, with a pitiful and delicate temperament about her. However, the district chiefs of the Mad Fighting Alliance here glanced at her from time to time. But they did not dare to neglect her in the slightest. Chong Shinkai's eyes also focused on this woman. And a trace of desire flashed in his eyes. Ahem. The woman coughed twice and pressed her white lace-gloved hand under her small, upturned nose. 
Mr. Chan. I think the opinions of all the district chiefs are very good. Her voice was soft and unhurried, like gurgling water, which sounded pleasant. However, these opinions are more or less incomplete dash. Keep talking. Chong Shinkai's eyes lit up, and he stared at the woman. The deaths of Wang Shifu and Uncle Qin must be avenged. Otherwise, we will be looked down upon by other forces. Some forces that are dissatisfied with us may make small moves and cause some trouble at the moment when we are fighting with the Luo Xing society. So we not only have to take revenge, but we must take revenge quickly and ruthlessly. But I don't recommend using our own strength to take revenge. Now we must completely control Chengfu Road, completely occupy the road leading to the restricted area, and obtain more and more active biometals are critical to our future development. I think we can hire elite survivors from other forces, such as the Venom Squad. This group of people is an elite squad famous for hunting and trapping, and then put pressure on Fudo Akira to rent the mutated dog he surrendered. After all, our people died at his place. He just let those strangers go without giving us the face of the Mad War Alliance. As long as you personally put pressure on him, temporarily rent the mutated dog for a few days, and then cooperate the actions of the Nether Venom team will definitely catch those daring strangers. As soon as she finished speaking, the whole place fell into silence. Immediately, a smile appeared on Chong Shinkai's gloomy face, and he looked at the woman in the white dress with admiration. Okay, Yun Sha, you are really thoughtful. Your suggestion is very good. Just do as you say. Ha ha ha. I will go to Fudo Mingwang to settle the score later. The woman in the white dress showed a faint smile and lowered her eyes. It is my honor, Ran Yusha, to come up with ideas for a hero like you. The other district chiefs had nothing to say and looked at Ran Yusha with complicated eyes. They knew very well that although this Ran Yusha woman looked weak, she could not be ignored. In fact, this woman is trusted more by Chong Shunkai than them. This woman's suggestions every time were well-founded and thoughtful, making her a step above them. It was because of her assistance to Chong Shunkai that Chong Shunkai became much more successful and slowly rose to prominence in Panju City. You must know that at the beginning, the Falling Star Society was the strongest force in Panju City, but later it was gradually caught up by the Mad War Alliance. Among them, the woman named Ran Yun Sha has always made suggestions, and she also deserves a share of the credit. When she was caught by Chong Shunkai, everyone thought that she, the former little princess of the Ran group, would only become a plaything. Unexpectedly, she relied on her intelligence and management ability to actually make Chong Shinkai respect her, force her. Despite this, everyone still agreed that she was already Chong Shinkai's woman, and no one dared to get involved. Mr. Chong, act quickly. I suggest you set off now to find King Fudo. No other superpower in the city can match that mutant dog in searching for prey. Ren Yunsha paused, added, Okay, I'll set off right away. Find those people who dare to kill Wang Shifu, and I'll crush them. Chong Shunkai said gloomily, put on the big cloak hanging on the back of the chair, and stood up. The district chiefs of the Mad Fighting Alliance all had such a big cloak hanging on the chairs behind them. Everyone put on their big cloaks and went out. Lone Lion was the last one to stand up slowly. He was about to walk out the door when a voice sounded from behind. Director of Dushar District, I remember that Wang Shifu had a piece of active metal. Ren Yunsha said softly, I will get it back. Dushar nodded. He glanced at Ren Yunsha's weak face and Ran Yun Sha had already turned around and left. He felt that Ran Yun Sha didn't like to talk much at ordinary times. In this crazy war alliance, she was like an orchid blooming alone. Chapter 403 Infiltration After taking a short rest, the base vehicle quickly left the city, leaving tall buildings behind. They did not encounter any obstruction or pursuit along the way. Jiang Lusher guessed that the people from the Mad War Alliance had not yet reacted. He leaned on the seat of the cab, stroking the cold and soft metal in his hand. This piece of metal, now carefully rubbed, feels delicate and soft, like softened rubber. The place that was deeply depressed due to the shooting has actually returned to normal. Not only that, after your fingers have been in contact with the metal for a long time, the metal will stick to the skin tightly, as if there are countless flippers in the metal that are difficult to distinguish with the naked eye. They are intimately stuck to the skin, and even seem to be fused, like together. Star seed. Scan this piece of metal, Jian Lusher thought in his mind. Anyway, it was still some time before he reached the secret passage leading to the interior of the Mad War Alliance, and he happened to come to study the mysterious metal in his hand. Beep scanning in progress. Bit scan completed. A panel quickly popped up in Jian Lusher's mind, and a lot of data appeared densely on it. 
Xenogenic plant metals are active metals secreted by plant gene mutations. The cell structure is between metals and plants. Analysis of plant cell gene mutation model. The base vehicle level is insufficient and cannot be analyzed. Mutated variants of plant genes? After getting the scan results, although he could not analyze the specific plant gene mutation process, Jian Lusher was still very satisfied. He got the answer he wanted. It turned out to be a plant gene mutation. In the post-apocalyptic world, mutant beasts that have transformed from animals, zombies that have mutated from humans, mutated zombies, and humans with superpowers are all due to genetic mutations induced by the mysterious virus. But this was Jian Liosher's first encounter with plant gene mutation. Although the crazy growth of plants after the end of the world has made Jian Liosher feel that there are some problems. The exotic plant metals obtained now completely confirm Jian Liosher's judgment. Even plants have been affected after the end of the world and have mutated characteristics. Low temperature. Capable of self-healing. Enough to withstand bullet impact to a certain extent. And able to automatically stick to the skin without feeling any discomfort on the skin. We must get exotic plants that can secrete this active metal. Jian Lusher rubbed the exotic plant metal in his hand. Feeling more and more that he was bound to get it. Not only does he want to open the base vehicle's hidden mode project, the Exotic Plant Cultivation Research Laboratory, but also by obtaining this exotic plant. He could obtain more of this active metal through cultivation and cultivation in the base vehicle's research laboratory. Wang Shifu just put a piece of such metal on his heart, and it withstood two pistol bullets from Jian Lusher. There is no doubt about the preciousness of this metal. It is simply stronger than a bulletproof vest, and it can slowly heal itself after being injured. At this time, Jian Lusher suddenly heard the sound of gurgling water. He looked up and saw that the base vehicle had arrived next to a large river. The banks of the river are covered with lush reeds, which are overwhelming as far as the eye can see. Not far away was a collapsed mountain, and a large amount of debris flow rolled down, submerging it into the river along the way. Boom! After a while, an off-road vehicle followed and parked behind the base vehicle. Yang Tian Zhao, Zhang Hai, and San Kun all jumped out of the car. Brother Jiang, where is the secret passage you mentioned? In my impression, there are no secret passages around here. Yang Tian Zhao looked at Jiang Lusher in the cab, a little puzzled. He is a local snake here and knows Panju City well. But in his impression, there is no hidden place near the river to enter Panju City. It's invisible. The secret passage is right under our feet. Jiang Lusher explained calmly to Yang Tian Zhao outside the car window. Panju City used to build a subway path here. Unfortunately, before it was completed, the zombie virus broke out, and the subway was abandoned. But this subway can enter the city. He was able to know the secret passage thanks to Shang Qiangjuan. Shang Qiangjuan used to work for the Panju City Subway Company. Most people would never think of this subway, but he was very familiar with the environment inside. But the entrance to the subway project cannot be seen. Isn't it flooded by a mudslide? Yang Tianzhao scratched his head and stared at the ground a little worried. If I use prospecting methods, I can find the entrance, but I need to use gunpowder and follow it. Sometime, Jiang Lusher said nothing, but looked at Ran Shiyu in the carriage. Shiyu, check if there are any spiritual fluctuations in the creatures under this land. Jiang Lusher remembered that Shang Qiangju and said that when he escaped through the secret passage, he encountered zombies transformed by employees of the subway company. When Shang Qiangju and escaped, he used a detonator. But it seems that the exit he blasted was also blocked by the mudslide caused by the recent heavy rain. Ran Shiyu nodded and shared his mental vision with Jiang Lusher. During Ran Shiyu's mental power detection, Jiang Lusher suddenly noticed that there were mental light spots a few meters below the base vehicle, and three or four faint red spots appeared. There are indeed zombies. Amaterasu. Here, here, and here. Plant explosives. And use your method of blowing up mountains to blow a hole out from below. Jiang Lusher jumped out of the car, greeted Yang Tian Zhao, and pointed out three locations that form a triangle based on the location of the zombies detected by Ran Shiyu's mental power. No problem, Brother Jiang. Just keep an eye on it. Yang Tian Zhao nodded immediately. Jiang Lusher rewarded the gun, and Yang Tian Zhao was full of energy now. After a while, there were several loud bangs and booms on the bank of the river. A large hole suddenly appeared under the mudslide slope. A rotten, damp smell rushed towards him. Ho! Ho! As soon as the hole exploded, several zombies jumped out. Six hours later, darkness flooded the earth like a tide. Is this the right direction? After chasing for so long, this silly dog won't lead the wrong way. Right? 
This is leading to the Poong River. There was a mudslide some time ago. Can they still run into the water? Hu Young people from the People's Front said they drove minibuses and SUVs. In the darkness, five figures appeared quietly near the river. There was also a huge figure lying on the ground, breathing heavily. Among the five people, the leader, a thin young man, had a huge scythe hanging on his back. The scythe was stained with blood, and it looked like a specially made weapon. He looked taciturn and carried a large cloth bag on his shoulders. This person is very special. He actually has four arms and looks very strange. If people in Panju City see this four-armed young man, they will definitely recognize him at a glance and be very afraid of him. This four-armed young man is Yupeng, the captain of a well-known elite survivor team in Panju City, the Poison Team. Standing next to Yupeng was a fat man. The fat man kept chewing something, and drops of grease dripped from the gaps in his mouth. He was the one who complained just now. You're not heading the wrong way. I smell blood and gunpowder. The tall and thin man next to the fat man didn't look very good looking. His skull was completely made of metal, and his nose kept twitching in the air, looking gloomy, smiling. In this way, it's not much better than zombies. That's right. Right in front. The tall and thin man added firmly. Brother dog, you are not reliable. You are not as good as this stupid mutant dog. This dog took the lead in bringing us here along the way. And you can only smell the scent intermittently. But this dog? Look, it tastes delicious. I haven't eaten fresh mutated animal meat for a long time. This time, two clear voices sounded at the same time. The speakers were a pair of very fancy twin sisters. They had evil temperaments and were surprisingly consistent in every gesture. They both wore bright red outfits and had nails on their noses, ears, and lips. When the twin sisters were talking, the two of them glanced greedily at the huge prostrate black figure in front of them. Brother Go looked up at the twin sisters. A trace of disgust flashed under his eyelids, but said nothing. The shadow that was crawling in front of the nether poison team suddenly turned around. The black shadow exposed two rows of snow-white fangs. A wild roar came from its throat, and a large ball of green saliva flowed from the corner of its mouth. The twin sisters' expression suddenly changed, and they stepped back a few steps in unison, obviously a little scared. This black shadow is a mutant dog as big as a hippopotamus, with a huge horn growing on its forehead. The instantaneous explosive power of such a mutant dog at close range is amazing, and they don't dare to really piss it off. Call out! A strange howling sound suddenly came out of Yuping's mouth. Upon hearing this sound, a trace of fear appeared on the mutant dog's face, and he quickly lowered his head. Xiao Shuang! De Shuang! You too! Please don't offend this mutated dog! Although this kind of thing is controlled and tamed by Fudo Myoto with his mental power. Fudo Myoto has also temporarily planted a spiritual suggestion on it. As long as it sends out this kind of the whistling sound can scare it. But it is a mutated dog after all. Bloodthirsty and murderous. So you better be careful. Yu Peng gave Du Shuang and Xiao Shuang a stern look. Du Shuang and Xiao Shuang lowered their heads and said nothing. With a trace of anger flashing in their eyes. Don't be dissatisfied. This time we took over the mission of the Mad Battle Alliance. And it's not just as simple as completing it. You know the consequences of failing the mission. Yu Peng looked at the two of them with deep meaning. The twin sisters didn't know what they thought of. And shuddered. And the anger in their eyes disappeared. We understand. They said in unison. At this time. The mutated dog suddenly let out a low roar. And rushed toward the river ahead. Follow it. It must have discovered something. Yu Peng whispered in a low voice and rushed out following closely behind the mutated dog. Others followed suit. Found it! There is an exploded hole here! Hey! Is it the corpse of a zombie? There is a big tunnel under the mudslide! That stupid dog jumped in! Hey! I seem to smell that smelly miner! They must be down there! Follow them! It was pitch black inside the abandoned subway tunnel. The air was filled with a musty, fishy smell. The billboards and aluminum alloy boards on both sides were empty and covered with spider webs, and all kinds of suspicious filth. A minibus turned on its headlights and drove carefully inside, illuminating the pale cement walls on both sides. Even an experienced driver in his previous life would be amazed when he sees this kind of driving technique. There are cement piers on one side and subway tracks on the other. If you don't pay attention, you will fall down. But in the hands of the actor, who has recovered his health, the minibus moves like an arm and sticks to the moss-covered cement pillars perfectly maintaining a distance of 15 centimeters from the subway track next to it. The front of the minibus was covered with all kinds of crushed zombie meat. Along the way, 
they all experienced several small waves of zombies. But the minibus was strong enough. And Jiang Liuxiu's marksmanship was amazing in the small war room. And he directly killed the zombies blocking the road. On the off-road vehicle following them. Zhang Hai and others were cautious and tense. This was their first time walking in such a deep and dark underground. And it felt too depressing. They walked along this abandoned subway passage with twists and turns for several hours. There were stops and stops along the way. And the progress was slower. Of course, this slowness is also deliberate. Sneaking into the Mad War Alliance in the middle of the night will make it less likely to alert someone. At this time, Jian Lusher had already seen the empty terminal in front of him. The minibus stopped. The subway station ends in a few hundred meters. We should have entered the area of the Mad War Alliance. Let's rest here for a while. Jian Lusher got out of the minibus and said to Yang Tianzhao and others, Let's all have something to eat. Although there is not much energy consumption, the muscles and mind are tense for a long time and need some rest time. And they want to sneak into the Mad War Alliance. If anything happens, they need to be in the best fighting condition at that time. Jian Lusher said, and handed some mutated beast meat to Zhang Hai and the others. The evolutionary crystals they ate before were turned into energy and absorbed. Now that they have no evolutionary crystals, they still have to continue eating meat. Shi Yu, I will see your sister soon. I don't know what will happen then. Do you still have enough strength? After eating a few mouthfuls of mutated beast meat, Jian Lusher returned to the minibus and walked to Ran Shi Yu sat down next to her and asked her concernedly. As they are about to enter the urban area and enter the Mad Battle Alliance's sphere of influence, Ran Shiyu's mental detection becomes even more important. Her reconnaissance allowed them to evade some patrolling members of the Berserker Alliance. I have no problem. Ran Shiyu nodded, suddenly raised her head, and showed a faint smile to Jian Lusher. Brother Jian, thank you. Jian Lusher interrupted her. We are all teammates. There is no need to say this. Ran Shiyu's mysterious gray eyes flashed with a special brilliance. She looked at Jian Lusher, and for some reason, she suddenly remembered the time when Jian Lusher was carrying her on the mountain road. At that time, she felt very at ease clinging to Jian Lusher's broad and strong back. Brother Jian, at this moment, Ran Shiyu's expression changed slightly. Someone is coming! Chapter 404, The Venomous Team Through the spiritual vision shared by Ran Shiyu, Jian Lusher saw several spiritual light spots approaching rapidly from a distance. There are five superpowers! And the one at the front is, how can this mental strength be the same as that of a zombie mutant? Jian Lusher felt doubtful in his heart. The spiritual light spot of human beings is different from that of zombies and mutant beasts. But he can't believe it. How can mutant beasts be with people with superpowers? Moreover, Jian Lusher only found out about this abandoned subway through Shang Qiangjun. How could these people appear here at this time by such a coincidence? Regardless of whether the other party came in after the mutant beasts or came for them in the first place. Jian Lusher decided to wait and see what would happen. Ran Shiyu notified everyone in the Shuring team, including Yang Tian Zhao, of the situation she sensed. At this time, the mutated beast meat was also finished. Zhang Hai and Sun couldn't wipe their mouths, picked up their rifles with Yang Tian Zhao, and hid behind the off-road vehicle. At the corner of the abandoned subway, the vicious team seemed like shadows, blending into the shadows next to the gray cement pier and remaining motionless. The mutated dog also crawled on the railway track. Very quietly. A minibus. An off-road vehicle. And there were three people behind the off-road vehicle. These three people seemed to be ambush. And they must have discovered our presence. The minibus had a weird metal SH. L. Which shielded me. With the infrared vision detection. I can't see clearly what's going on inside. By the way. There's also a woman. Who should be a mutant type of superpower. Lurking on the rails near the minibus and she's not bad at all. And the minor Yang Tian Zhao is right behind the off-road vehicle. In the Nether Venom team, the thin man whom Big Xuan and Xu Xuan call Brother Dog was holding a piece of bloody rag in his hand and sniffing it. This rag was a fragment of Yang Tian Zhao's clothes. It was torn while fighting in the exchange of the Shanghai Jiang People's Front, and was later handed over to the people of the Mad Fighting Alliance. It was precisely because of this piece of rag that they were able to follow the mutated dog and chase it here by relying on its scent. Brother Go's eyes flashed with scarlet red light. Although it was a dark subway tunnel, everything in front of him was clearly exposed to his field of vision, especially the three people hiding behind the off-road vehicle. In his field of vision, they were completely scattered infrared sources that continuously emitted heat. It's not easy to find such an abandoned subway tunnel. But this is our hunting ground. A cruel smile appeared on Yu Ping's face. 
And he laughed strangely. This kind of place, deep, dark and closed, is perfect for their abilities. Captain, we want to have a lot of fun today. The twin sisters in red licked their tongues and looked at each other with a smile. Giggle, let's go first. De Shuang and Xiao Shuang spoke with a smile. Winked at Yupeng, and suddenly stretched their arms toward the top of the cement wall above their heads. In the darkness, a few strands of sticky snow white thread stuck to the top of the cement wall. The two of them jumped into the air and swung their bodies in the direction of the off-road vehicle. Let's go! Yupeng whispered. Suddenly several figures flashed out from around the corner. Under the cover of darkness, the members of the Netherworld team quietly and quickly approached the off-road vehicle. Snapped. Almost at the same time, the taillights of the minibus and the headlights of the off-road vehicle were all turned on. Under the bright light, the darkness melted like ice and snow. The shadows of the lurking members of the Nether Poison team were suddenly exposed to the light. Um? This reaction was faster than the members of the Nether Venom team thought. But after all, they were able to kill Wang Shifu and his group. So it's not surprising that this group is pretty strong. Beat! John Hai was the first to pick up the Type 95 automatic rifle and shoot at the members of the Nether Venom squad. The reflexes of the members of the Nether Poison team were unexpectedly fast. Almost at the moment before the shooting, there was a roll. And the three people, including the chubby fat man, all tumbled from the shore of the subway platform to the subway track with great agility. Where they were standing just now, rubble flew and several bullet holes appeared. From the off-road vehicle to the subway track where the Venom squad is crawling, the line of sight is blocked by the concrete platform, forming a blind spot for shooting. As soon as John Highgang stood up, suddenly, a white line of sight as thick as a finger fell from the sky. The silk thread was extremely sticky and kept winding around. John High was caught off guard and felt a strong force coming from the silk thread, trying to snatch his Type 95 automatic rifle. Above the head, two women in red were hanging upside down from the top of the cement wall, leaning on white silk threads. The sticky thread shot out of one of the women's hands was stuck to the rifle in his hand. At this time, a figure jumped out from the subway track like lightning. He was five or six meters high when he swept away, almost touching the top of the wall. While the man was still in the air, a bloody sickle flew out of his arm. A steel chain hung on the handle of the sickle, and the other end was tied to the hand of the figure in the air. The man surprisingly had four arms, and he was Yupeng, the captain of the Nether Poison team. The crescent-shaped sickle drew a graceful arc in the air. It was extremely flexible and went around the back of Zhang Hai's head, accurately cutting off Zhang Hai's head. Go to H, L. Yupeng smiled faintly. It took only a few breaths for the sickle to fly, and the angle of attack was very tricky, making it hard to guard against. When Zhang Hai noticed that the sickle was slashing towards him, the sickle had already reached one meter above his head. In the flash of lightning, Zhang Hai roared and had no choice but to let go of the rifle. The fingers of his hands shone with metallic luster, like ten steel bars. Clang! He clamped the death sickle firmly between his ten fingers, but the sharp blade of the sickle, driven by the huge force, still advanced a few centimeters and opened a bloody gash in John Hai's palm. Blood splattered. John Hai suddenly broke into a cold sweat all over his body. This clip just now was the best expression of his improvement in strength these days. The slashing sickle was so powerful that it could definitely split a thick iron plate. But it was caught by him. However, John Hai's fingers were also extremely sore and numb. Yes, it's the nether poison team! Yang Tian Zhao clearly saw the forearm Dupeng and the twin women in red on the top of the wall, and couldn't help but think of a terrifying rumor in his mind. They bumped into Panju City's elite survivor team that is best at hunting and investigating the ghost team. In Panju City, the Nether Venom Squad is a well-known free elite survivor squad and a typical mercenary. They are very powerful, and it is said that there is no mission that they cannot complete. Get out of my way! At this time, a roar came from the direction of the railroad tracks. Yupeng flew back instantly. As soon as he stepped back, there was a sputtering sound of Gula and Gula coming from behind him. I saw countless lumps of translucent mucus spraying in the direction of the off-road vehicles and minibuses like a violent storm. Zhang Hai, who was lying on the ground, couldn't dodge and was immediately hit on the face. He just felt nauseous. What the H, L is this mucus? It's fishy, smelly, and greasy like grease. Oil? Suddenly thinking of grease, John Hai felt something bad in his heart. Yang Tianjiao next to him was even worse. With several lumps of this mucus smashed on his body, 
The bodies of off-road vehicles and minibuses are also covered with lumps of translucent mucus. Back off! Ran Shi's reminder instantly rang in the hearts of Zhang Hai and Yang Tianzhou. At the same time, a wisp of sparks flew over and landed on one of the lumps of mucus. Boom! The raging fire spread instantly. Under the fierce high temperature, the off-road vehicle crackled with fire, and the fuel tank exploded again, and the entire vehicle was enveloped in fire. Captain! I didn't mean it! A fat man climbed onto the platform and stared in the direction of the fire with a smile. The consequences of anything stained by my explosive fat will be disastrous. Although it only lasted three seconds, it still exploded. This off-road vehicle and crispy minibus look like they're in ruins. Once the fire goes out, we can pick up the bodies. Yu Peng smiled and nodded. They can kill Wang Shifu. So they are good opponents. It's a pity that they don't run anywhere. But they have to come to this mouse hole. In a place like this, there is no way to avoid your supernatural attacks. In a large area of space, his supernatural powers have little effect. But in this kind of tunnel terrain, the fire burns in a small area. And the effect is of course outstanding. Although the deflagration time of his grease is short, the high temperature form can instantly burn the enemy to death. Huh? Why is the minibus okay? At this time, Brother Dog, who was looking at the fire, opened his mouth wide and pointed in the direction of the grease explosion in surprise. Chapter 405 goes straight up. The members of the Netherworld team looked around and saw the minibus that had just been surrounded by flames. After the flames were extinguished, it appeared in front of them intact. Even the windows and tires were brand new. Damn! This old car is of good quality. The fat man was dumbfounded. After he came to his senses, he clapped his hands excitedly, with greed in his eyes. At this time, there was a gentle buzzing sound, and a black hole, a metal pipe as thick as a child's arm, came out from under the front face of the minibus. What? The fat man was slightly startled when he saw the metal pipe. Ouch. Suddenly, the mutated dog, which was lying motionless, jumped from the rails onto the opposite platform. Brother Dog's nose twitched in the air a few times and after sniffing hard for a while, his expression suddenly changed as he stared at the metal pipe. Gas, gasoline, run! He has very special abilities. Although his combat power is not strong, his sense of smell and vision are extraordinary. Brother Dog suddenly smelled the smell of gasoline in the metal pipe. Referring to the appearance of the metal pipe, he suddenly had a terrible guess, and he couldn't help but run forward in panic. Holy shit! Yu Peng turned around and saw clearly the appearance of the metal pipe. It was clearly a metal nozzle. He instantly understood what was going on. As the captain of the nether poison team, at a critical moment of life and death, Yu Ping swung the scythe with his four arms and pierced the top of the concrete wall a few meters away. In the midst of lightning and flint, he pulled the chain hard and jumped into the air. At this time, there was a bang and the overwhelming fire burned. His body rising into the air was still affected by the flames and instantly turned into a ball of fire before falling to the ground screaming. After struggling on the rails for a while, he was reduced to ashes. The fat man was even worse. He was a very special person with superpowers. And the thick layer of fat in his body was explosive. The moment the flames burned, his whole body exploded like a firework. And the flying grease burned brilliantly in the air, dispersing the surrounding darkness. Although the dog brother ran away in advance, the flamethrower of the minibus was so powerful that he couldn't escape in such a narrow place. He was burned horribly and he rolled and rolled on the ground for a while before becoming motionless. The terrain they once thought was favorable to them has now become their burial place. On the top of the concrete wall above the subway, the big and little sisters felt like they had fallen into H. L. They couldn't believe their eyes. Brother Dog, Fatty, and Captain Yu Pung were all burned in an instant? They are the famous Nether Venom Squad. What kind of minibus is this? Why is there a flamethrower under the front of the car? A series of questions brought the sisters to their lowest point. They are now hanging on the top of the cement wall, relying on the adhering white silk thread and not daring to move. Because behind them, a big man with feet like flippers hanging upside down on the top of the wall was pointing a shotgun at them. There was also a girl with a pair of cat ears holding a dagger, appearing directly below them like a ghost. Looking at them coldly, the majestic aura exuded by this girl is a strange temperament that can only be formed after experiencing countless bloody battles. The sisters obviously felt that this girl with cat ears was very strong. I, we surrender. Don't kill us. The twin sisters' beautiful bodies trembled slightly. And they fearfully said to Sun Kuan, who was holding a shotgun. Ouch. Suddenly, 
A howl like a cry came from the mouth of the mutated dog that had run away. The mutated dog's eyes were confused, as if it was driven by something. It came out of the corner and walked towards the minibus, staggering and stopping every step, when it was ten meters away from the minibus. It sat down with fear in its eyes. There was a clear gunshot. A big hole was ripped open in the heart of the tough mutant dog, and it fell to the ground with a bang. Seeing the scene, De Shuang and Xiao Shuang were even more shocked. They felt that there was a force forcing the mutant dog to come back and was shot to death. Such power. Are there people with psychic powers in the minibus opposite? No wonder such a team could kill Wang Shifu. It was ridiculous that not long ago, they were thinking of torturing the people in the minibus. They had already made a relatively high judgment on the strength of Jiang Liuxia's team. But they did not expect that this team far exceeded their expectations. In the carriage, Jiang Liuxia came out of the small war room with a sniper rifle. Shi Yu, your mental power has become stronger again. Congratulations. Jian Lusher looked at Ran Shi with clear eyes. The latter's face turned slightly red. Well, it's a bit stronger. I'm trying to master the field of mental power. This mutated dog was originally subdued by King Fudo with mental power. And his will to resist was very weak. So he succeeded. Jian Lusher said this Ran Shi seemed a little embarrassed about the straightforward compliment and explained softly. But brother Jian, be careful. I sense there are many people up there. Ran Shi pointed to the place above her head. Well, I know that. Shi Yu, I'll go out and deal with the two of them. See if I can dig out something useful. Jian Lusha looked at the twin sisters, who had fallen to the ground obediently. The two of them were being pointed at by Sun Kuen with a shotgun. They honestly did not dare to move. And their two pairs of eyes looked at Jian Lusha fearfully. They have already heard that this, brother Jian, is the boss of this team. Judging from his young age, he can lead such a powerful team. And the shot he just fired was fast and accurate. Jian Lusher still has too little information about the Mad Wars Alliance. After all, Yang Tian Zhao is just a young man who is mining and has a very superficial understanding of the inside of the Mad Wars Alliance. Jian Lusher needs more information. After all, going up to look for Ranya Shaw is taking risks. Having more information means reducing risks. Captain, what are we going to do with these two? Are we going to kill them directly? Sun Kun asked when he saw Jian Lusher coming. Upon hearing Sun Kun's murderous words, De Shuang and Xiao Shuang trembled with fear. I, we too are superpowers. We will definitely be useful to you. Don't kill me. We can surrender to you. We are superpowers who have awakened the ability of spider silk. No matter what terrain it is, it doesn't matter to us. Get off. Da Swan said quickly. In this troubled world, people with superpowers are a rare force wherever they are. Sometimes there are battles between elite teams and after a force is defeated. It is normal for the superpowers inside to surrender and be included. No need. Jian Lusher shook his head simply. There is no need for two people in his car. And this ability is of little use to him. Then, we... De Shuang and Xiao Shuang looked at each other. Their expressions flattering. Their tone became softer. And their faces revealed a coquettish look. Captain, we are twins. You punk can't live without us every night. Do you want to try? As long as you try once. We guarantee that you will never forget us in your life. They said delicately, as if they had no bones in their bodies. The graceful figure kept approaching Jian Lusher, and his voice kept getting lower. They looked at Jian Lusher with fiery eyes. After all, Jian Lusher has undergone several genetic fluid modifications and evolutions, and he still looks very good, with a mysterious aura about him. Big Shuang and Xiao Shuang are still satisfied with Jian Lusher, who is a hundred times and a thousand times better than the Yupeng. Three black lines appeared on Jian Liuxia's forehead, and he understood what they were going to do. This method of seduction is too naked. However, he really doesn't like such a beautiful woman. Jian Liuxia dodged, and the bodies of the big and small pairs coming from both sides were thrown into the air. The two women were stunned. They saw a hint of disgust in Jian Liuxia's eyes. This person clearly looked down upon them. You still want to seduce our brother Jiang? He <laughs> he. Among the girls in our car. Which one is not prettier than you? Sun Kuen couldn't help but talk nonsense next to him. He was telling the truth. The faces of women like Ran Shiyu and Li Yusin were both disaster-worthy and stunning. The older couple and the younger couple couldn't help but feel a little frustrated. A woman who wanted to dedicate her body was rejected by others. This was undoubtedly a major blow to them. This also made them panic. The body has always been an important capital they rely on. Tell me all the information you know about the Mad War Alliance. 
Jiang Lusher said at this time. News about the Mad War Alliance. We know this. The elder pair and the younger pair were overjoyed when they heard this. In order to show off, they told everything they knew about the Mad War Alliance in detail. Unlike people like Yang Tian Zhao, who only know how to work in the mines and come out to trade once in a while. De Shuang and Xiao Shuang are survivors, who have made a name for themselves and often do some transactions and tasks in the Mad War League. They know much more about the inside of the Mad War Alliance than Yang Tian Zhao. Jiang Lusher listened very carefully and recorded every word firmly in his mind. After the nerves in his brain were strengthened, he gained many benefits, including extraordinary memory. As long as he has heard something, he can listen to it once and never forget it. The twin girls' mouths went dry as they talked, and finally they couldn't say anything anymore. So Jiang Lusher gave up. In his mind, he had roughly integrated the information given by the twins and the information about the Mad War Alliance provided by Yang Tian Zhao, slowly sorting out many details and general structure about the Mad War Alliance. Apart from being busy fighting for territory with the Falling Star Society every day and snatching food and resources such as supermarkets and surrounding gas stations, the Mad Fighting Alliance is actually no different from the Shanghai Jiang People's Front. Moreover, because of the war, they consume a lot of materials and they very much welcome superpowers from all sides to trade within the Mad War Alliance. It's just that their management is relatively lax and not as strict as that of the Shanghai People's Front. Even some survivors, who are wanted by other forces, can fish in troubled waters. Only strength and wealth are valued here. Do you know someone named Ren Yu Shao? Jiang Lusher asked abruptly. Ren Yu Shao? Da Suang and Xiao Shuang thought for a while, shook their heads and said, I don't know. We are usually only familiar with some parts of the Madness Alliance. And we only come here for business. As for the internal organizational members of the Madness Alliance, many of us, I don't even know them. Jian Lusher couldn't help but be a little disappointed. It seemed that if he wanted to find Ran Yusha, he had to rely on himself. At this time, Sun Kuan suddenly raised the butt of his gun and hit De Shuang and Xiao Shuang hard on the back of their heads. The big pair and the little pair groaned and fell to the ground. Boss! What should we do now? Over there. Zhang Hai and Yang Tian Zhao were both burned by the fat man who used the power of explosive oil grease. At this moment, they were treated by Li Yusin. And their faces and bodies were wrapped with thick bandages. Jiang Lusher was happy when he saw it. He happened to have an idea in his mind. And the only one who was worried was Yang Tian Zhao. Yang Tian Zhao is now covered in bandages on most parts of his face. Which is a good way to disguise himself. What should we do? Let's go up directly, Jian Lusher said calmly. Originally, they planned to sneak up and search slowly in a low-key manner. But now the exchanges and underground black markets mentioned by the twin sisters gave Jian Lusher an idea. Go up directly, Zhang Hai and the others were startled. Brother Jiang, wouldn't it be too high profile to go up directly? Sun Kuan felt that he had heard wrong. You must know that they are still wanted by the Mad War Alliance. Except for Yang Tian Zhao. We are strangers here. If we change our clothes a little, who can recognize us? The nether poison team who were chasing us, as well as Wang Shifu and Old Man Qin, were all killed by us. Jian Lusher shrugged. When everyone heard this, no one refuted anything. As long as we can attract Chang Shinkai's attention. Are we afraid that we won't be able to find Ren Yu Sha? Jian Lusher said. Jian Liusher's plan is a bit risky. But there is no doubt that this is the fastest way to find Ren Yu Sha. But our minibus is wanted. People from the Mad Fighting Alliance will definitely doubt us when they see this thing. John High thought for a while, and another doubt popped up in his mind. There is no doubt that minibuses are their greatest safety guarantee. But this thing is so big that it will arouse people's suspicion when it shows its head. That's not a problem. John Lusher smiled faintly. When John Lusher said this, everyone had no objections. Anyway, they believe that the captain definitely had a solution. Then study the map carefully now. This is the end of the abandoned subway. There were no people there before. But now I don't know why. Ran Shiyu just detected that there are a lot of people on it. We need to change the location to infiltrate. Jiang Lusher spread out the map and told Yang Tian Zhao discuss it. Number 8 High School in Panju City. The once bustling campus is now in ruins. Apart from some bones and corpses. There are only weeds as tall as one person on the playground. The trees around the campus are towering. And the entire campus is extremely eerie with vines and weeds crawling into the classrooms. Most of the cafeteria was in ruins, and the decaying bricks were covered with thick moss. In the sky, a few lonely stars hung, 
under the quiet playground. There was a rustling sound, like something digging. Finally, a pair of mechanical arms were drilled out of a place on the playground, and a big hole quickly appeared in the flying dust. A minibus got out quietly. After the minibus appeared, it quickly changed amidst the buzzing sound, and in a moment it turned into a giant mining truck. Chapter 406, So Arrogant. Hey, the evolution crystal was successfully synthesized. Following star seeds crisp prompt. Jian Lusher had four more red and translucent first-level evolutionary crystals in his hand. He put the three first-level mutant crystal nuclei obtained from old man Sheen. The mutant crystal nuclei obtained from the mutated dog he just killed. And a small portion of the mutated dogs meet into the energy laboratory. These three first-level evolutionary crystals have pure energy. The remaining mutated dog meat was stored in the storage space. Done! Jian Lusher snapped his fingers. Compared with mutant crystal nuclei that cannot be directly absorbed by superpowers. Evolutionary crystals bring real benefits to superpowers. For this kind of thing. The more the better. Set off! After preparing everything that should be prepared. Jian Lusher said calmly. At this time. Yang Tian Zhao. Zhang Hai. And San Kun, who were under the car, had already filled the large hole in the playground with soil, briefly covering up the traces of their exit, and then climbed onto the roof of the mining truck. No one knows if anyone has come to this place. If so, they will inevitably be shocked when they see this big hole, and it may arouse some suspicions and alerts from the Mad Wars Alliance. Yang Tianzhou was holding a Type 95 automatic rifle. Sun Kun and Zhang Hai were holding a shotgun, wearing leather boots and black clothing. They looked majestic standing on the giant mining truck. Rumble. Mining trucks rolled over and made a slight shuddering sound. By this time it was getting dark. The Mad War Alliance is already a noisy and lively scene. From time to time, armed off-road vehicles rumble into urban streets, unloading items ranging from compressed biscuits to large meat and animal meat. Compared with the tight security at the Shanghai People's Front, the security here at the Mad Fighting Alliance is relatively lax. But on the high-rise buildings in the surrounding CDD areas, if you look carefully, you can see that some of them have been made into hidden sentry towers, with black holes on them and the muzzles of guns pointed downwards. Between the buildings, in some places where the vines are tightly entangled, the space above actually becomes a bridge of entangled trees and vines. There are also people doing business up there. It is obviously a high-end area, and there are guards with guns guarding it. Various motorcycles, off-road vehicles, and trucks are everywhere on the streets, and people are coming and going. The former shops have been occupied and turned into places for street stalls. In the display cabinets of some shops, there are naked sexy women standing, posing and tempting the passing teams and passers-by. But the busiest place here is the Zhongming Market. The market is located in the middle of the street, with armored vehicles, off-road vehicles, and trucks lined up in front of the huge street. Teams are constantly coming to move down various materials looted or collected and trade them in the market. Boom! A fleet of modified motorcycles drove through the streets in an arrogant manner, their engines blaring. After they entered the street, their speed did not slow down at all, and everything was going crazy. Many survivors rolled and crawled in a hurry and fled to both sides. On the motorcycle headed by the leader, there sat a bald man with lip nails, sunglasses, a black leather coat, and two rows of rifle bullet chains tied crosswise to his body. Behind him was a large flag branded with a vulture. Seeing these pedestrians who were knocked to the ground and fell to the ground, screaming in pain, a cruel smile appeared on his lips. The motorcyclists following him held machetes in their hands, howling and arrogantly. But the four motorcycles at the back were all dragging a huge mutant beast. There was blood dripping all the way here. The ordinary survivors, who had been driven away in a panic became much quieter when they saw the mutated beast and the flags behind the motorcycle. Vulture Squad! Let's see how arrogant you can get! A young man hid in the corner and gritted his teeth. Shuh! Keep your voice down! These guys are very vindictive! Last time, someone secretly spoke ill of them. He was chased on the outskirts of the city, and even a whole team of survivors were killed. The young man who spoke quickly opened his mouth and said something bad to them. The companion covered him. This arrogant convoy drove all the way to the gate of the Mad Fighting Alliance. Wait, Lizy! Don't be so arrogant every time you come in! Be careful of being shot outside! At the entrance of the market, a greasy-faced middle-aged man rushed out. He cursed the bald man, but came closer with a greedy smile in his eyes. Who dares to shoot me? I'll kill his whole team. The bald man sat on the motorcycle with a grin and patted the middle-aged man on the shoulder. Yuzuishin. 
I brought you good stuff today. There are four mutant beasts. I have been working hard for these bitches for more than half a month. And I have lost several people in the team. You have to give me a good price. Yuzwishin's eyes lit up. And he looked at the four mutant beasts behind the motorcycle team. And the smile on his face became even brighter. It's easy to say. Easy to say. Wade Lizy. What a big deal. For mutant beasts at once. In the trading market of the Mad War Alliance. I'm afraid you will occupy the second position on the trading list this week. Wade Lizy narrowed his eyes slightly. And a trace of contented pride appeared on his face. Being complimented by Yuzuishin. The steward of the Kazen Alliance trading market. He felt very happy. Especially on the trading list. Being in the top three means having full trading rights and being able to trade any item on the market. Now that all kinds of materials are in short supply, many things are priceless. Obtaining full trading rights will allow them to get more good brothers, enrich the equipment team, and the team will be stronger, thereby attracting stronger survivors to join the team. The only fly in the ointment is that he is not number one. Who is number one on the transaction list? Wei Zizi frowned slightly, and the alloy prosthetic leg of his left leg that was straddling the ground was tapping loudly on the ground. It's the Python squad. They found the equipment warehouse of the Jiaxian Anti-Riot Brigade and got a lot of good stuff. Yuzuishin leaned close to Wei Lizi's ear and whispered, The shadow of the famous tree. When he heard the words, Crazy Python squad. Wei Lizi's frown returned to normal. Consider them lucky. Suddenly, at the corner of the street, there was another burst of chickens and dogs. Some screams were heard. Many survivors rushed out from the corner and hurriedly got into the shops on both sides. Wei Zizi then heard a rumbling sound, as well as the sound of something tearing and collapsing. Damn. Which team? There's more noise than what I'm doing here. Wei Lizi muttered to himself. Yuzuishin frowned. Although the management of the Mad War Alliance is not as strict as that of the Shanghai Jiang People's Front. If everyone does it, there is no need to open the trading market. Thinking of this, his face turned slightly gloomy. If it was a small group of ignorant foreigners, he was determined to scare the monkeys. At this time, a huge silhouette appeared at the corner of the street. As soon as it appeared, a car parked in front of the street was ruthlessly pushed away, like a toy. This mining truck? After Yuzuishin saw the appearance of the thing clearly, he felt like he had an egg stuffed in his mouth. As a person from Panju City, he has heard about mining trucks. Besides, even if you have never seen it before, you can still relate to it when you see such a big car. However, among the mining trucks he had heard of, there was no mining truck this big. This is simply a giant among mining trucks. Damn. How on earth did such a big mining truck get in? Why didn't any guard give me a message? Using such a big thing as a means of transportation is crazy. Yuzuishin was very annoyed. This truck came in and caused everything everyone was shocked. It seems that the guard team of the Mad Battle Alliance needs to be reorganized. Rumble. When the Shuring team's mining truck squeezed into the street, the ground seemed to be shaking slightly. Some of the locomotives on display were pushed to both sides by their wheels. Compared with its huge size, the off-road vehicle on the roadside looks like a child's toy. So small, Yang Tian Zhao stood on the roof of the mining truck and felt his legs trembling. It's so exciting, but also so scary. They were wanted by the members of the Mad War Alliance. And now they were so arrogant that they entered here so unscrupulously. Some of the shop owners, who used to bow down when he came and were now hiding in abandoned shops on the street, looking at him with their heads shrunken. Fortunately, he had a medical bandage wrapped around his head, making it difficult to see his true appearance. In comparison, John Hai and Sun Kuan in front looked very awkward. They held shotguns in their hands and were commanding, intimidating the people on both sides. John Hai just fired a shot, turning a store sign into a hornet's nest. The shop owner, who wanted to curse them, immediately shut up. On the front of the mining truck, there are some plaques and torn banners hanging. Obviously some signboards. There is also a lot of lime plaster on the bodywork on both sides. These are all traces left by friction on the corners of narrow corners when turning. After passing the corner, the mining truck suddenly accelerated on the straight street. A motor with a power of up to 1743k is deafening. The mining truck of more than 100 tons crushed the concrete road so much that the concrete road was shaking. And with an incomparable sense of shock and oppression, it flew all the way to the Zhongming market. Bang bang. Several modified motorcycles with vulture flags were unfortunately hit by mining trucks and flew away. The entire nose of the motorcycle was knocked off and some mechanical parts were scattered on the floor. Fortunately, 
several motorcycle pilots reacted quickly and escaped by rolling and crawling. I'll do it! Wei Lizey got angry on the spot. Each of these modified motorcycles cost him a lot of resources and efforts. And it was just like this. But he didn't really have an attack right away. Such a huge mining truck was too tall and too long. Right? Looking at the Big Mac in front of him. He suppressed the anger in his heart. Moreover, there were three people on the roof of the car holding shotguns and Type 95 automatic rifles. They were all dressed strangely and looked quite untouchable. Apart from anything else. A shotgun. A powerful weapon at close range. Is not easy to obtain. And there are probably not many in the Mad Fighting Alliance. Owning such a gun and such a mining truck is a symbol of strength. Which great god is this? Wade Lizey's memories rolled over in his mind. But he didn't find any right force. At this time, there was a clicking sound. And several people jumped out of the mining truck. The leader, Jian Lusher, carried a 5-style 5.8mm micro flush on his shoulders. Standing behind him was a figure with a cold temperament. Wearing a black outfit and leather pants. And Ling, who looked very indifferent. The dagger in Ling's hand moved back and forth flexibly on his fingertips. Sun Kuen, Zhang Hai, and Yang Tian Zhao all jumped down and stood behind Jiang Lusher with guns in hand. The few of them standing together naturally had a stern air of being invincible in a hundred battles. This kind of momentum was cultivated through victory in bloody battles. In comparison, although Wei Lizi and his group were arrogant and violent, their momentum was a bit weak. At least Wei Zizi didn't say anything for a while. I... I am Jean Shan, the person in charge here. Others also call me Yuzuishan. Where do you guys come from? I'm sorry. I didn't recognize them at first. Jean Shan had a smile on his face and kept looking carefully. Looked at Jian Lusher. As the person in charge of Jianming Market, he can be said to have read countless people and has vicious eyes. He could see that the Shuring team in front of him had a special iron-blooded aura. This kind of momentum can only be possessed by a very strong elite survivor team. It's just that such a team should have already gained a great reputation in Panju City. But he has never seen the team in front of him. And I have never heard of this giant mining truck. Come from a very far away place. Jian Lusher said calmly. A place far away? How far is it? Everything was unknown. And Jian Lusher didn't seem to have anything to say. Zhang Shan felt a little embarrassed. His face was a little embarrassed. And he was secretly annoyed. The bunch of strangers in front of me seemed to be dragging them along. You must know that he has the final say in this market. Which elite survivor team usually doesn't give him some face. But before Jiang Lusher and others found out their trump cards, Zhang Shan could only suppress his anger and smile. Didn't you see that the very arrogant way Lizy didn't even say anything? Several of his modified motorcycles were smashed into pieces without making a sound. His little face is nothing. And the more arrogant the team, the more arrogant the capital. Not to mention anything else. This huge mining truck and the guns carried by this group of people are all good items that some teams will never be able to get their hands on. Thinking this way, Zhang Shan felt a little calmer. Jian Lusha raised his eyelids and glanced at Zhang Shan. Is this a trading market? We want to come in and do some trading. Zhang Shan was refreshed. Of course. Of course. Welcome. What kind of deal do you want to do? Hey, you just come to our Mad War Alliance. We have all kinds of weapons. Mutated crystal cores. Mutated beast meat. Beautiful women. As long as you want anything. You can get it all here. I wonder what you are trading with. John Chan smiled all over his face. He was looking forward to it. And quickly led Jian Lusher and others into the market. Jian Lusher glanced at John Chan, but said nothing. Are you the boss of the Mad War Alliance? What are you talking about? Who is the boss here? Only he is qualified to negotiate a deal with our brother Jiang. Sun Kuen said coldly from the side. Jian Lusher glanced at Sun Kuen and saw that this kid was quite clever. Jiang Hai felt a little regretful. Damn. Sun Kuen said such arrogant words before he could. Jiang Shan was so angry that he almost vomited blood. What an arrogant bunch of strangers. What do you have? Our boss is very busy and cannot interfere with every step of the transaction. If it is a small transaction, then I can make the decision. Jiang Shan said while holding back his anger. Wei Lizy followed him and did not move away, listening with his ears propped up. He was also curious about what kind of resources this team of arrogant strangers had, and they wanted to see Chong Shunkai as soon as they opened their mouths. Is Chong Shunkai so easy to meet? We have 20 guns, Zhang Hai said at this time. 20 guns, no matter where they are mentioned, are a huge asset. Some elite survivor teams with 5 
or six rifles can be so arrogant that they can walk away sideways. Twenty guns? Zhang Shan's eyelids twitched. Sure enough, he had some capital. But could he be so arrogant just because of this? Twenty guns are indeed powerful. However, the Mad War Alliance is not a cat or a dog. There are more than twenty guns traded in the Alliance market. You want to see Mr. Kai like this? It's a joke. Wei Lizy was beside him. He couldn't help but sarcastically said. There was a lot of fire in his stomach. Zhang Shan's face also turned cold. If he wanted to ask their boss, Chong Shankai, to deal with them in person if they only had 20 guns, this would be underestimating the Mad War Alliance. Not to mention that this group of people is so arrogant, which makes it even more difficult for them to achieve their ideas easily. When you meet someone who is three points short, you must kill him first with enough energy. Chapter 407 Crazy Jiang Lusher said nothing. He opened his palm, revealing four bright red crystal stones. The crystal stone is constantly lingering with a faint red light. Ruby? Wei Lizy was slightly stunned, not recognizing what Jian Lusher was holding. Suddenly his brows froze. This feeling? There is a flow of energy on this thing? As a person with supernatural powers, Wei Zizi quickly discovered something unusual. At this time, he noticed that Zhang Shan next to him was breathing heavily. Enter, evolutionary crystals. Or four. Zhang Shan stared at the thing in Jian Liuzhi's hand. His eyes almost popped out. And he said with a trembling voice, It's quite knowledgeable. Jian Liuzhi glanced at Zhang Shan indifferently. If Jian Liuzhi's words had been spoken a few seconds ago, Zhang Shan would have cursed at his heart again. Zhang Shan sounded very different at this moment. I don't dare. I just followed our boss and heard something. Zhang Shan looked at Jian Liuzhi with surprise and a professional smile on his face. His heart was in turmoil. The crystallization of evolution. He heard Chong Shinkai mention it more than once. Every time I mentioned it, it was with a tone of envy and emotion. There used to be a very strong outside team that passed by Panju City and made a deal with Chong Shinkai and showed off an evolutionary crystal. But that evolutionary crystal is far from the feeling of energy flowing like the evolutionary crystal in front of me. Moreover, the crystal stone of evolutionary crystal is not only rare, and the meaning behind it is shocking to Zhang Shan. In this apocalyptic world, this is something that only human armies and governments with abundant technology and resources can create. No matter how strong Chong Shankai is, he can't compare with those armies that have established safe islands and base cities. To be able to possess an evolutionary crystal, and such a pure evolutionary crystal, Jiang Lusher and others had invisibly gained a dazzling aura in Zhang Shan's eyes. Everyone, please come in. I, I will ask our boss to come out now. Zhang Shan did not dare to neglect. And his attitude towards Jian Lusher and others became more and more respectful. As he spoke, he looked at a red-haired young man not far away. Ao Quan, why are you still standing there? Hurry and invite these distinguished guests to the Overlord Hall. The red-haired young man Ao Quan was stunned. He had never seen Zhang Shan be so respectful to outsiders. But when he came back to his senses, he quickly nodded and bowed over, inviting Jian Lusher and others to the innermost part of the trading market. Seeing this scene, Wei Lizy was shocked beside him. Damn it. Are you really going to invite Chong Chung Kai? What is the evolutionary crystal? It seems to be more valuable than mutated beast meat and guns. Staring at Jian Liuzhi's back, Wei Lizy muttered to himself. Only the top 10 teams in the weekly trading list can enter the Overlord Hall of the Alliance market. Being able to enter it represents an honor and status in the Mad War Alliance. When Jian Lusher was led in by the red-haired young man, six groups of people were already sitting in the hall. One group sat closest to the chairman's table. Although the young man at the head was short in stature, his eyes were like an eagle's. Although his hands were resting lazily on the table, he looked like a crouching tiger. The tendons on his body seemed to contain explosive power. When he saw Ao Quan leading Jian Lusher and others in, the young man was slightly startled. Which team is this? His eyes finally rested on Ying's body and he felt his mouth go dry for a while. The figure is wearing a black tights and a black short skirt. The clothes are pushed up high on the chest. Her graceful and tall figure has black hair like a waterfall. She is definitely a disaster-level stunner. This woman is so nice! The short young man murmured to himself. The team that can enter the Overlord Hall naturally has a high status in Panju City. But no one knows Jian Liuzhi's team. Other teams also look to scans at Shuring team. You're a bad guy from Yuzuishin. He must have taken bribes again and brought a low-quality team into the Overlord Hall. Can ordinary survivors enter here? A fat, 
bald middle-aged man in the northeast corner curled his lips in displeasure. Although Jian Lusher and Ng had an awe-inspiring aura, they were immediately noticed by the superpower users in the Overlord Hall. There was no big fluctuation in their superpowers at all. People in the Overlord Hall can obtain sequential trading rights and trade various commodities in advance. Their trading rights were obtained through hard work. Now suddenly a strange team came in that was not popular. And they were not superpowers. Naturally, the team originally sitting in the Overlord Hall felt a little unhappy. After entering the hall, Jian Lusher chose a nearby iron table and sat down, completely turning a blind eye to the scrutiny of other teams. It didn't matter where he sat. Meeting Chong Shunkai and then Ran Yinsha was the most important thing. This kid is quite sensible. Seeing Jian Lusher and his group sitting at the iron table closest to the door, the short young man snorted coldly. Wei Lizi, what is the origin of these people? Sure Shiran. A member of Wei Lizi's group sat next to them. The short young man pursed his lips at Jian Lusher and others and asked, You can't afford to offend him anyway. Wei Lizi rolled his eyes at the short young man and sneered secretly in his heart. This short young man in Panju City, except for the people from the Mad Fighting Alliance and the Falling Star Society, has always set his sights on others. He always feels that his Python team is the strongest team among the free elite survivor teams. He has long been defeated by the vultures. Wei Zizi from the team was unhappy. Can't you afford to provoke me? Are you provoking me? The short young man is Guicheng Chun, the captain of the Python squad. He has always been petty. He couldn't understand what Wei Lizi was saying and wanted to provoke the general. However, his eyes lingered on Ying's body for a while, and he had already made up his mind. Wei Lizi, who have I been afraid of? These people are at most related to the district chief of the Kazen Alliance. Guicheng Chun sneered very sure of his judgment. Wei Lizi still sneered repeatedly, looking at Guicheng Chun like he was looking at an idiot. Guicheng Chun was so aroused by Wei Lizi's gaze that he felt secretly angry. Go over and tell the man carrying the microcharge that I want to by the woman wearing leather pants next to him. A Type 95 automatic rifle. And two grenades. Guicheng Chun snorted, ignored Wei Zizi, and turned to he said to a young man with many pockmarks following him. In his guess, entering the Overlord Hall, was simply to obtain better trading rights. And the best things here are guns, mutated animal meat and so on. In the last days, beautiful women are rare. But how can they be compared to guns? Even though he is a beautiful woman, throwing a Type 95 automatic rifle and two grenades at her was enough to show his sincerity. The pockmarked young man immediately stood up. He could help the boss Guichun Chun, but he had to behave well. He walked quickly towards Jian Lusher and others. Jian Lusher sat patiently in his seat. When he saw the pockmarked young man walking over carelessly, an inexplicable smile appeared on his face. Here, our boss wants to make a deal with you. Our boss is interested in this woman. The pockmarked young man looked at Jian Lusher and pointed at the shadow beside him. At close range, he could see Ying's appearance more clearly, with her hot body and cold temperament. Such a woman was really amazing. Even the pockmarked face secretly swallowed saliva. But a beauty of this level was not something he could covet. Ying remained unmoved as if he had not heard what the pockmarked young man said, and did not look angry at all. She only had Jian Lusher in her eyes. Jian Lusher didn't say anything, and didn't even bother to look at the pockmarked young man. When he reached out with his hand, he saw that the black barrel of the gun was suddenly pressed against the head of the young man with a pockmarked face. The young man with a pockmarked face was so frightened that his anus tightened. Guicheng Chun was shocked over there. Why did he draw his gun when he disagreed? He stood up and shouted at Jian Lusher, who was holding a gun. What are you doing? Here is... Before he could finish his threatening words, there was a snap, and the pockmarked young man's head was crushed, and he fell to the ground. Everyone was shocked. Guicheng Chun couldn't believe his eyes, staring blankly at the bloodied body lying on the ground. Shocked, angry, and suspicious. How can it be? How could there be such a crazy person who dared to kill people in the Overlord Hall? And the people they killed were members of his Python squad. What bothers me the most is people trying to trick my team members. Jian Lusher held a 54 pistol, glanced at Guicheng Chun, and said calmly, The arrogance and arrogance revealed in a simple sentence is shocking. Wei Lizi was stunned. He guessed that Guicheng Chun would be in trouble if he provoked this group of strangers. But he did not expect that these people would dare to kill people on the spot. This arrogance. This courage. He was completely confused. What are the origins of these great gods? The other teams looked at Jian Lusher and others as if they were looking at a group of monsters. Guicheng Chun didn't come back to his senses for a long time. At this time, 
Zhang Shan walked in in a hurry. When he saw the body lying next to Jiang Lusher in the hall, he was startled and his heart tightened. What? What's going on? Why is someone dead? He saw the gun in Jiang Lusher's hand and recognized the dead person as the pockmarked member of the Python team. His questioning eyes couldn't help but look at Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher said nothing, but looked at Guichun Chun opposite him with indifferent eyes. What happened? At this time, a gloomy voice suddenly came from outside. The man who walked in was very handsome, with an evil aura about him, and his blood-red eyes swept across the faces of everyone in the hall. As soon as he came in, the hearts of many teams in the hall shrank Chong Sheng Kai. As soon as the shadow of the famous tree, Chong Sheng Kai, the boss of the Mad Fighting Alliance, came in, many people felt an inexplicable sense of oppression. Seeing the visitor, Gua Chung Chun was ecstatic. This time he found the weapons depot, but he didn't expect to alert boss Chong Sheng Kai. Gua Chung Chun glared at Jian Lu Shi fiercely. It seemed that there was no need for him to take action. These strangers were going to suffer. Boss Chang, you came at the right time. I don't know whose connections these people got in, but they killed our people as soon as they came. Gua Chung Chun said indignantly. Chong Sheng Kai frowned slightly after hearing this, but didn't express anything. His sharp gaze focused on Jian Lu Shi's face. Although Jian Lu Shi didn't sense any supernatural powers, his intuition told him that this young man who looked harmless to humans and animals was the leader. Seeing Chong Sheng Kai, Jian Lu Shi had a smile on his face. He finally met the real owner. Are you Chong Sheng Kai of the Mad Fighting Alliance? I think these people don't give you any face at all. They are also domineering in this overlord hall and are as noisy as flies. I stepped in to teach you a lesson. Jian Lu Shi said calmly. Puff. Zhang Shan almost vomited blood. This. Are these people still so arrogant in front of the boss? Chang Shinkai's pupils shrank slightly, with a little bit of light emitting from them. But a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. He still didn't speak and looked at the red-haired young man Ao Kwan next to him. Ao Kwan's heart shrank. What happened just now happened too fast. By the time he came to his senses, everything was irreversible. He licked his mouth, leaned into Chang Shinkai's ear, whispered a few words, and carefully told the whole process and ins and outs of Jiang Liuzhi's murder. Waste! Chong Shunkai suddenly kicked him out, and Ao Kwan screamed. He was kicked out more than 10 meters and hit the wall hard. A bloody hole was kicked out of his chest. He vomited blood and died. You are a waste too! He suddenly turned around, raised his palm, and made a swaying gesture towards the sinister face with Chung Chun from afar. It was obviously a few meters away, but the crisp sound made people scalp numb and teeth sore. The strong with Chung Chun had no idea where the power came from. His face was twisted and a row of teeth rolled out, flying several meters away and smashing several chairs in succession. As the number one team in the Overlord Hall's weekly rankings, you can't even save your own little brother's life? What is it if it's not trash? You can't see the mountain. If you mess with people you shouldn't mess with. What is it if it's not trash? You still want to be beaten? It's up to me. Chong Shenkai. To save face. It's a complete waste. Chong Shenkai's eyes were cold and he stared at Gu Chung Chun, who was sent flying out, and said slowly, Take your people, and get out of here. You are not allowed to enter the Mad War Alliance to trade within three months. Gu Chung Chun groaned and trembled all over. This was the first time he saw Chong Sheng Kai with such a tough look. What made him feel palpitated the most was that Chong Sheng Kai actually said that he had offended someone he shouldn't have. Gu Chung Chun simply couldn't imagine it anymore. The background of these strangers must be amazing. Damn way lies Gu Chung Chun got up from lying on the ground and glared at Wei Lizi fiercely. The hatred in his heart unbearable. Naturally, he did not dare to seek revenge from Jian Lusher and others. But Gu Chung Chun remembered Wei Lizi's provocation to provoke him to provoke these strangers. Over there, Wei Lizi sat on the iron table and didn't notice Gu Chung Chun's gaze at all. His hands and feet were trembling. And he was afraid. What he was thinking in his heart was the same thing as Gu Chung Chun. He had provoked Gu Chung Chun to cause trouble. Wouldn't these strangers also want to settle accounts with him? At this time, Chong Shunkai sat opposite Jiang Lu Shi. There was a faint smile on his lips. When we first met, I am Chong Shunkai from the Mad Battle Alliance. I am a person who is in a hurry. I heard from Zhang Shan that some distinguished guests wanted to trade with me. So I came over. We are the Shuring team. And I am the Captain Jiang Lu Shi. We do have some good things dash. Jiang Lu Shi also had a smile on his face. He paused and looked around Chong Shunkai calmly. He couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Chong Shunkai only brought in a few big men who looked like guards. And there were no women. 
When Jiang Lusher spoke, he spread his palms. Four red crystal stones with flowing energy are exposed. Seeing these four red crystals, the smile on Chang Shinkai's face disappeared, and there was a hint of greed in his eyes. Let everyone else get out. He suddenly told Zhang Shan beside him. His words were not loud, but just enough for everyone in the hall to hear. Before Zhang Shan could say anything, Guo Chung Chun, Wei Zizi and others rushed out in a hurry. The other teams also hurried out. They could see that the deal that could alarm Chang Shunkai was definitely an unimaginably big deal. Chang Shunkai didn't even want the deal to be exposed to others. Where did you get the evolutionary crystal? As soon as the other members of the elite survivor team left, Chang Shunkai stared into Jiang Liuxiu's eyes and said word by word. Chapter 408, No Agreement. You are a smart man. You should know where we come from. Jiang Liuxiu smiled faintly. Which safe island are you from? Zhonghai or Star City? Chong Shunkai was silent for a while before speaking. Just now, Chong Shunkai was in the Mad Battle Alliance with his eyes closed and concentrating, thinking about the battle with the Luo Xing Society. But after hearing Zhang Shan's report, a group of strangers came to trade with four evolutionary crystals, and they also stated that they wanted to trade with him face to face. Chong Shunkai's heart trembled, and he rushed over immediately. The crystallization of evolution is the thing he dreams of most besides rights and the great significance behind this thing made him have to pay attention to it. Even in the last days, human cities are divided like isolated islands by zombies, mutant beasts, and various unknown dangers. But the huge military power represented by the human government is still something that people dare not ignore. Among the many forces in Panju City, if he can establish a relationship with the government army, then he can not only completely crush the Falling Star Society, but even unify the entire Panju City and become the real overlord of Panju City. Zhong Ha. Jian Lusher said calmly. Chang Shinkai's pupils shrank. These strangers were indeed members of the human government. No wonder he is so arrogant. No wonder he has the crystallization of evolution. Shonghai Safety Island was attacked by underground mutant monsters not long ago. It is said that an old general named Zhang almost died, and his vitality was severely damaged. How did you come out at such a critical time? Chang Shinkai said. He spoke calmly, but his eyes were secretly observing Jiang Liuxiu's expression. Jiang Liuxiu's heart surged. What's going on? Of course, he knew that the Zhonghai Safety Island was attacked by underground mutated monsters. There was a beast's nest near the Zhonghai Safety Island. General Zhang was indeed seriously injured. But Panju City was so far away from Zhonghai Safety Island. How did Chang Shinkai know? You know a lot of news. Jiang Liuxiu was a little surprised. Chang Shinkai felt slightly proud when he saw this kind of surprise in Jiang Liuxiu's expression for the first time. In the verbal confrontation with Jiang Liuxiu, he finally managed to win back the victory, so that Jiang Liuxiu would no longer be so condescending and despise him as if he were a countryman. Several communication signal towers in Panju City are still in good condition. The broadcast signals here still exist. There is a woman here who often listens to the information on the radio and sorts out some useful information about the outside world. She will tell me. Chan Shunkai smiled and said, After all, I have such a big force in the Mad War Alliance. So I can't close my eyes and listen. If you want to develop and grow, it is necessary to communicate with the outside world. Seeing the flash of anger on Chan Shunkai's face, John Hai and San Kuan looked at each other, and their expressions became a little strange. The faces of the two suddenly turned the color of pig liver, and they suppressed their inner smiles. It seems that Chong Shunkai completely regards Shuring Team as a safe island in Zhonghai. Without any doubt. We have mutated crystal nuclei here. But how do you want to trade them? How about three first level mutated crystal nuclei in exchange for one evolutionary crystal? Chong Shunkai solemnly raised three fingers. Chong Shunkai once heard that it seems that two mutant crystal nuclei of the human government can create an evolutionary crystal. He is now giving out three first level mutant crystal nuclei in exchange for one evolutionary crystal. He feels that he has shown a lot of sincerity. Jiang Lusher smiled faintly and did not answer. At this time, Zhang Haicheng said angrily to Chang Shunkai. Three first-level mutant crystal nuclei? Chang Shunkai, you look down on our group of scientists on Zhonghai Safety Island. The energy contained in one of our latest evolutionary crystals is the previous evolution has crystallized three times more. The muscles on Chang Shunkai's face twitched. Zhang Hai was just a follower around Jiang Lusher but he dared to mock him for his lack of knowledge. Too arrogant. He felt a little unhappy, but he couldn't get angry easily. Chang Shunkai looked at Jian Lusher. Then I wonder how Captain Jian wants to exchange it. 
Let's make a price. Two secondary mutation crystal nuclei. Exchange for one evolution crystal. Jian Luzhir said calmly. What? Hearing Jian Luzhir's words, Chong Shenkai almost jumped up. Zhang Shan next to him opened his mouth and couldn't believe his ears. My dear, these people from Zhonghai are too cruel. What is the concept of secondary mutated crystal nuclei? The combat power of a second level mutant beast is definitely comparable to five or six first level mutant beasts. And this kind of combat power is not a simple superposition. How much sacrifice and price must be paid to kill the second level mutant beast and obtain its crystal core? At least so far. No team in the alliance market has hunted down the second level mutant beasts and sold the meat and crystal cores of the second level mutant beasts. Captain Jiang, are you cutting the price too hard? Don't think I don't know that one second level mutant crystal core can be exchanged for at least three evolutionary crystals. This is the price announced on the radio by a foreign safe island. Chong Shinkai's expression changed and his voice became much louder. He is a veteran. So of course, he knows this kind of negotiation. And it is not enough to just back down. Two secondary mutation crystal nuclei. Exchange for one evolutionary crystal. Jian Lusher was unmoved. Absolutely not. To tell you the truth, we only have two second level mutant crystal nuclei here. This thing is very rare. At least one second level mutant crystal core will exchange you for one evolution crystal. After hearing what Chong Shankai said, Jian Lusher was slightly surprised. In fact, he said that he would exchange the evolutionary crystal for the secondary mutant crystal core. To some extent, it was a test of Chong Shinkai's strength. Unexpectedly, Chong Shinkai had two levels of mutated crystal nuclei. What is the concept of a force that can kill two level two mutant beasts? Cannot be ignored. Then we can't reach an agreement? Jian Lusher suddenly stood up and said to Zhang Hai and others, Let's go! In Jian Lusher's heart, he had no real intention to trade the evolutionary crystals. He just wanted to use his contact with Chong Shunkai to be able to act openly in the Mad War Alliance and look for Ran Yusha openly. So he came here with the intention of delaying time from the beginning. He could see Chong Shunkai's greed for evolutionary crystals. And this guy would never let him leave like this. Sure enough, as soon as he turned around, Chong Shunkai's voice sounded behind him. Etc. Chong Shunkai tapped his fingers on the table with a gloomy expression. You have come a long way. So there is no need to leave in a hurry. How about letting me think about the price you offered and consider it? Okay. Jian Lusher turned around and smiled lightly at Chong Shinkai. Seeing the smile on Jian Lusher's face, Chong Shinkai's eyes flashed with a trace of unnoticeable evil. Although he wanted to build a relationship with the government troops, this group was too ruthless. Chong Shinkai, who has a ruthless personality, couldn't help but have some bloody thoughts. Mr. Chong. I see that several distinguished guests are very interested in the second level mutant crystal core. In fact, we can consider another transaction method. At this time, a gentle voice came from outside. Hearing this voice, Jian Liosher's heart moved. This voice was somewhat similar to Ran Shiyu. He followed the sound and saw a girl with a white gauze covering her face. A white gauze cover on her hands. And a white skirt walking in at the door. Although this woman was covered in white gauze, Jian Lusher could distinguish a lot of traces of Ran Shiyu from the outline of her face and the small and straight nose. Especially those slightly gray pupils are exactly the same as Ran Shiyu. Shiyu, I found your sister? Jian Lusher said in his heart. Chapter 409 I'll take you away. The girl in the white dress is like a deer in the forest. She looks so weak. And her eyes are as deep as a pool of water with a lively brilliance. Looking at the girl in the white dress walking over. Chong Shunkai had a look of pride in his eyes. He was proud that such an outstanding woman was taken under his wing. Outside the Alliance Market, inside the cabin of a mining truck, Ran Shiyu's delicate body trembled slightly, and her eyes were instantly covered with mist. Have you found your sister? Her spiritual power searched among those spiritual light spots, and then locked on the girl in the white dress. Although he did not see the appearance of the girl in the white dress. At this moment, the mental energy fluctuations of the girl in the white dress made Ran Shiyu feel a strong sense of familiarity. Just a small spiritual light made Ran Shiyu shed tears unconsciously. Sister, I'm here to pick you up. Ran Shiyu's soft voice sounded in Ran Yunch's mind. The girl in the white dress originally had a smile on her face. But suddenly, she heard a familiar voice in her mind. Her delicate body trembled slightly. And she had a look of disbelief on her face. Elder sister? This voice, this tone of voice, indeed belongs to Ran Shiyu. But immediately, Ran Yunch's expression returned to her gentle look and there was a hint of splendor in her eyes 
that calmly glanced at Jian Lusher and others. What suggestions do you have? Chong Shunkai asked Ran Yun Sha in a deep voice. My suggestion is, didn't we discover a special plant not long ago? Ran Yun Sha calmed down and said slowly. No need to say anything. Before Ran Yun Sha finished speaking, she was interrupted by Chong Shunkai raising his hand. Although he has a special feeling for Ran Yun Sha, Chong Shunkai is a hero and his decisions on major matters will not be influenced by personal emotions. He was a little surprised in his heart. Ren Yusha had always acted calmly. Why was she so careless today? That thing is so important. Can it be easily revealed to others? How could she suddenly propose such an idea and let this group of strangers hear it? Absurd. Sorry. I didn't think well. Ren Yusha lowered her head. A hint of weakness appeared on her face. But her gaze looking at the ground seemed very calm. Special plant? Jian Lusher caught Ran Yunsha's words with his ears and was shocked. His intuition told him that the special plant Ran Yusha mentioned must be a heterogeneous plant that can secrete active metals. While Jian Lusher was thinking in his mind, his eyes were fixed on Ran Yusha. This Ran Yunsha has a different temperament from Ran Shiyu. Although both of them are delicate, Ran Shiyu's expression looks more indifferent. If you are not familiar with her, you will feel that she is a person who is thousands of miles away, cold and aloof. Ran Yusha on the other hand, is extremely weak, which may arouse a strong desire for protection in many people's hearts. Judging from Ran Yunsha's expression, she probably knew Ran Shiyu's existence and the purpose of their visit. The girl can still maintain absolute composure under such circumstances. This girl is not easy. As the princess of the Ran group, Ran Yunsha is obviously similar to Ran Shiyu and is also a very outstanding girl. Jiang Liosher's actions were clearly seen by Chang Shenkai. Chang Shenkai's eyes darkened. This man dared to stare at Ran Yusha in front of him. Who is this beauty? Why don't you introduce her? Jian Lusher seemed a little curious, glanced at Ran Yusha, and asked Chang Shunkai directly. Her name is Ran Yusha. She is the staff officer of our Mad War Alliance. And she has been with me for a long time. Chang Shunkai said in a deep voice, trying his best to suppress the anger in his heart. Chang Shunkai is a very possessive person. And Jian Lusher's slight interest in Ran Yusha has been regarded as a great disrespect for him in his heart. If it were his men or other survivors, he would even immediately order the other party's eyes to be dug out. Ran Yun Sha? It was indeed her. After hearing the words Ran Yun Sha from Chang Shinkai's mouth, Jian Lusher was sure that he had finally found it. Zhang Hai and San Kuan looked at each other and couldn't help but tighten their grip on the shotgun. For a moment, several thoughts flashed through Jian Lusher's mind, including transactions, negotiations, and even the idea of robbing people on the spot. But he suddenly saw that Ran Yun's hand wrapped in the white gauze made a small movement and waved gently towards him. This is telling me not to act rashly? Jian Lusher secretly guessed. He took a deep breath and calmed down. Guys, why don't you take a rest today? I couldn't get the second level mutant crystal core by myself. I have to discuss the deal with you with several other district chiefs. Chong Shanghai had already appeared on the surface at this time. After regaining his composure, he stared at Jian Lusher and said slowly, Okay. Jian Lusher had a smile on his face and understood Ran Yunsha's hint. He was not in a hurry. Jian Shan, clean up the best room in Lingtian restaurant and bring a few distinguished guests to check in. Chang Shunkai said to Jian Shan in a deep voice. Distinguished guests, please follow me. Jian Shan walked up to Jian Lusher and others in a flattering manner and led them out. Not long after Jian Lusher and the others walked out of the Overlord Hall. Boom! Chong Shunkai suddenly slammed his hands on the iron table. The hard iron table sank directly into a dent as deep as a finger under his slap. Are you from Zhonghai Safety Island? I don't know how high the sky is. Chong Shunkai's blood red eyes were now covered with bloodshot eyes, and his face was terrifyingly hideous. He stared at the direction where Jian Lusher and others were leaving, and snorted coldly. Ren Yusha stood aside, lowering her head and not saying much. At this time, Chong Shunkai suddenly covered his head, with a hint of pain in his eyes. Mr. Chong, you have a headache again? I'll get you some herbs. Ran Yunsha looked at Chong Shunkai and said softly, Yunsha, thank you for knowing herbal medicine. Go ahead and increase the dose this time. I guess I am on the verge of evolving my powers again. So I often have headaches. Chong Shunkai gritted his teeth and said, Yes. The interior decoration of Ling Tian restaurant is extremely luxurious. In the last days, this was the most luxurious place in Panju City. After Zhang Shan led Jian Lusher and others into the best suite, he respectfully withdrew. Shi Yu, 
Is there anyone watching outside? As soon as he entered the room, Jian Lusher asked Ran Shiyu in a deep voice. There are three people in the building to the northeast. And there is one person in the building behind us. Directly to the north. Ran Shiyu accurately reported the locations of several monitors. Jian Lusher nodded. Knowing what he was doing. Jian Hai. Sun Kun. Close all the curtains. Each of you will guard a window and rotate 20 hours a day. The others will rest. Jian Lusher gave the order in an orderly manner. Now that he was in the hinterland of the Mad War Alliance. And Chang Shenkai was not a good person. Jian Lusher was already 120% cautious. He didn't want anything to happen to his team members. There were only a few people in the room at the moment. Ng and Liusen were all staying in the mining truck. And the mining truck was driven to the front entrance of the restaurant. If anything happens, it can provide support at any time. After the curtains were drawn, the surrounding light dimmed. Brother Jiang, I want to take my sister away. That Chang Shankai is not a good person. Ran Shiyu said firmly. Her mental power covers this area. And she has an idea of the state of the survivors here. Ran Yisha. A girl. Could not imagine being next to a cold-blooded killer like Chang Shankai. She once fell into the hands of powerful survivors and was slaughtered. Without Jian Lusher. Her end would have been extremely miserable. Now, as her sister, she will rescue her sister Ran Yisha. Don't worry. I'm here. Jian Lusher said calmly, holding Wei Chong in his hand and sitting down against the wall. He was facing the door. If there is any unusual movement at the gate, he can shoot immediately. Jian Liosher's words seemed to have a magical power. And Ran Shiyu's anxious heart actually calmed down a lot. Well, I believe you. She nodded. Both men were leaning against the wall. Their shoulders only a few fingers apart. Feeling Jian Lusher beside her. Ran Shiyu felt an unusual warmth in her heart. Thanks. A voice full of gratitude sounded in Jian Liosher's mind. The girl tilted her head slightly and leaned gently on Jian Liosher's shoulder. I'll calm down for a while, Ran Shiyu said. Jian Liosher said nothing. Sitting in the darkness with a mini submachine gun in his hand. On his shoulder, the girl's breathing was soft. With a touch of warmth. We must take Ran Yunsha away, Jian Liosher thought to himself. I don't know how much time passed. But it was already dark outside. Suddenly, Jian Lusher opened his eyes. Someone is coming outside. Ran Shiyu woke up at some point and reminded Jian Lusher. In the mental vision shared by Ran Shiyu, Jian Lusher saw a red dot coming to the restaurant. Jian Hai and Sun Kuen suddenly woke up. Zero grabbed the dagger in his hand and stared coldly in the direction of the door. Dong dong dong. Suddenly there were several crisp sounds at the door. Who? Jian Lusher asked in a condensed voice. Raising his voice, there was silence for a while outside the door. And then a soft voice came. Sister. Ren Yun Sha? Jian Lusha reacted instantly. He opened the door and saw a pretty girl in a white dress standing outside. Like a lilac blooming at night. Ran Shiyu stood behind him. Oh Jian Lusha. When she saw the girl in the white dress. She burst into tears. The sisters hugged each other instantly. Jian Lusha walked out of the door silently. Seeing the two of them holding their heads and crying. Jiang Hai's eyes were a little red. At this time. Sun Kun gave him a look. And Zhang Hai was stunned. What? Didn't you see that brother Jiang has gone out? Sun Kun glared at Zhang Hai. Only then did Zhang Hai react. Hurriedly grabbed the shotgun and walked out. Taking it with him to the room. Everyone was waiting silently outside the door. And low sobbing could be heard from inside. In this apocalyptic world. There are really too few relatives. Friends. And lovers who can be reunited alive. After waiting for a while. The door of the room was opened by Ran Shiyu. Brother Jiang. I'm sorry. Ran Shiyu looked at Jian Lusher outside and smiled apologetically. Her eyes red. It doesn't matter. Of course Jian Lusher understands Ran Shiyu's situation. Isn't his feelings for his sister Jiang Juing the same? Captain Jiang. My sister told me just now. Thank you for taking care of my sister these days. Ran Yunsha had wiped away her tears and bowed seriously to Jian Lusher. You're welcome. Your sister is a member of our Shuring team. And I should do these things. Jian Lusher waved his hand. Jian Lusher didn't know how to express his gratitude to a beautiful girl so solemnly. Yun Sha, come with us. We're leaving right away. The people in the team are all good people. If you stay with all of us, you won't have to worry anymore. Ran Shiyu stepped forward and took Ran Yunsha's hand. No, I can't leave now. Ran Yun Sha was silent for a while and shook her head. Jian Lusher was stunned. Following Chang Shankai. For a weak girl like Ran Yun Sha. 
was the same as keeping company with a tiger and wolf? Now that her biological sister is here, she still doesn't want to leave. Are you afraid of Chong Shinkai's pursuit? Don't worry. We had already planned it when we came. We can stay away before he reacts. Ran Shiyu said calmly. But after hearing this, Ran Yunsha still shook her head. I'm not worried about this. But I really can't leave. Why? Why is this? Ran Shiyu finally became anxious. They had gone through so much trouble to get here. But Yunsha didn't want to leave. This is a result that Ran Shiyu never expected. Sister, please stay. I don't want to be separated from you anymore. You can all stay here. With your strength. You can quickly establish yourself. Ran Yunsha turned to Jian Lusher and said, Jian Lusher was slightly startled. What was Ran Yunsha talking about? How come she was the one who persuaded her group to stay? Be careful. There is murderous intent. Suddenly, Ran Shiyu's expression changed drastically, and she shouted a warning to everyone in Shuring's team. As soon as she finished speaking, there was a loud bang. The window on the north side had been smashed open. A man rushed in as fiercely as a cannonball. The broken glass was like a sword, tearing in all directions. John Hai reacted quickly and shouted, raising the sandalwood table in front of Jiang Lusher and others. Fighting and fighting, countless sharp pieces of glass penetrated deeply into the wooden table. Only then did Jiang Lusher see the appearance of the intruder clearly. The person who broke and had red eyes and dense red hair like steel needles growing out of his body. He was more than two meters tall, and his whole body was filled with a bloody aura. Although his face was unfamiliar, the strange and familiar bloody pupil still reminded Jian Lusher of a person. Chang Shinkai, hand over the evolution crystal, and I'll keep your whole body. Chapter 410 Never Expected Chang Shinkai was filled with murderous intent, and his eyes were directly fixed on Jian Lusher. He couldn't stand the humiliation of the Stone Shadow team, and he was not willing to pay a high price in exchange for the evolutionary crystal. Therefore, he started killing people and robbing goods in the middle of the night. However, Jiang Lusher was not surprised by this. He had been carefully guarding against all possible crises. Just as Jiang Lusher raised his hand and made a slight dash, he was suddenly stunned. The barrel of his slightly fired gun creaked as if it was not controlled by his arm and was pulled by an invisible force. Aiming at the ceiling, both Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan's expressions changed drastically, as did their shotguns. However, Zhang Hai's arms were incredibly strong and could hold a metal shotgun in front of him. But the black barrel was creaking and bending. What? You think I am overestimating my capabilities by coming here alone? Since I dare to come, I am not afraid that I will not be able to keep you. The cells in my body are magnetic and can completely magnetize the guns and knives in your hands, thereby controlling your weapons. Chan Shinkai's voice was cold, with a smile on his lips. He was very confident in his own abilities, and he was very satisfied when he saw the shocked reactions of Jiang Lusher and others. The power of cell magnetization? Jiang Lusher frowned. This ability was even more bizarre than Yang Feng's ability to control plants. Chang Shinkai. Stop. When the situation was tense, a soft voice suddenly sounded. When he was so nervous, this voice seemed extremely abrupt. Everyone was stunned. Yun Sha, why are you here? Chang Shinkai was shocked. Only then did he see Ran Yusha here. He didn't expect Ran Yun Sha to appear here at all. And when he took action, he didn't care at all what the two girls standing together in this dim room looked like. At this moment, Ran Yun Sha still looked so charming, but her eyes were very different, extremely indifferent, giving Chang Shinkai an inexplicable sense of strangeness. He glanced at Ran Yun Sha's side. The delicate and charming girl was somewhat similar to Ran Yun Sha. Especially the pupils of the two people are somewhat gray. Chang Shinkai's heart suddenly pounded, and his eyes suddenly widened. It turns out that this group of people came here for another purpose, and their purpose was Ran Yusha. You want to kidnap Yusha? Yunsha, come here. Chang Shinkai shouted angrily. To him, Ran Yusha was his private property, and he would never allow these people to set their sights on her. If these people dare to do this, they will all pay the price with blood and die. This is my sister, Ran Yusha said. At this time, Jian Lusher had already called Ying in his mind, and Ying quietly started the engine of the mining truck. Sister? Chang Shinkai's face suddenly turned the color of pig liver, and he looked at Ran Yunsha with a sharp look. Yunsha, do you want to go with them? Impossible. You have to ask me first. Chang Shinkai's murderous aura surged, and the metal objects in the room were shaking and vibrating. There is no need to ask you whether Yunsha is going or staying. If you must stop us, 
We can communicate with bullets, Ren Shiyu said coldly. Her temperament was very cold, although there was no anger or harsh tone when she spoke. She still there is no doubt about her determination. Sister, I'm coming. Ren Yunshan moved her steps and stood up from behind Ren Shiyu. She looked at Chong Shunkai with a faint look. Chong Shunkai, you really disappoint me. Ren Yunshan sighed. Why are you still so stupid and short-sighted? You only know how to fight and kill. Originally, Panju City would have become better. And like other safe islands, it would have established a truly safe area and returned to the life before the apocalypse. But it is because of you. This kind of murderous maniac who doesn't understand anything has led to the current situation. Ren Yunshan's words were very soft. But every word that fell into Chang Shinkai's ears was so harsh that it made his scalp explode. How dare this woman, who had never disobeyed him, speak to him like this? Chang Shinkai's breathing became heavy, and his lungs were about to explode. Ren Yusha, you want to betray me? Chang Shinkai yelled. You know my methods. You will die miserably. Don't think that I won't do it if it's you. If you betray me, I'll kill you too. I have never used force on you. Do you think it's because of how special you are? It's just that I think highly of you. Originally, I planned to wait for your consent. But now I don't think so. I want you to become my woman today. Then kill you. I want you to understand that your body and life are all under my control. Chong Shunkai was already talking crazy. He couldn't stand Ran Yunsha's betrayal. He wanted to really get Ran Yusha. And then destroy this damn woman. You still don't understand. Ran Yunsha looked at Chong Shunkai and shook her head slowly. What don't you understand? What nonsense are you talking about? Chong Shunkai was slightly stunned. At this time, he suddenly had a severe headache, and the pain was overwhelming. Oops! Why do you have this headache? He felt his nose itching again. Chong Shunkai opened his mouth involuntarily and sneezed heavily. Then, he was shocked a pink mushroom as thick as a finger emerged from his nose. Not only that, but every pore in his ears, eyes, and even skin, wherever there were holes, were filled with pink mushrooms and moss. Chong Shinkai was in excruciating pain all of a sudden, and dense pink flesh balls like blisters sprouted on his skin. Snapped. Ren Yusha snapped her fingers calmly, and a small meat ball on Chong Shinkai's face suddenly exploded, causing blood and flesh to fly. Chong Shinkai screamed, and a small mushroom grew out of the wound at a speed visible to the naked eye. Stranger? Seeing this scene, Jian Lusher was shocked. It was obvious that the strange behavior on Chong Shunkai was caused by Ren Yusha. She is a superpower, and the ability is very strange. However, the fluctuations in her powers are not particularly obvious. But now it seems that her powers are not weak. Moreover, Ren Yunsha's indifferent eyes made them feel strange, as if they were a different person. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen were even more stunned. Darling, this soft and frail girl moved her hands without hesitation or even blinked. Yun Sha? Ren Shi was equally shocked. What did you do to me? You betrayed me. I want to kill you. Chong Shunkai endured the severe pain and reached towards Ren Yu Sha with difficulty with his hands. The metal pendant around her neck trembled. Ren Yu Sha remained unmoved and raised the two fingers of her right hand together. Snapped. Another snap of fingers. Chong Shunkai howled miserably again, and the joints of a pair of arms exploded, leaving blood and flesh. His hands dropped instantly. Then Chong Shunkai hit his legs and chest. Keep exploding. After a while, he fell to the ground in a bloody state. How is this possible? When did you do anything to me? Wasn't your superpower implanted? Chong Shunkai fell to the ground in pain and looked at Ran Yusha unwillingly. Don't you often drink my herbal medicine? Ran Yusha said lightly. Herbal medicine? Chong Shunkai was stunned. No. I've checked all the herbs and there are no other substances in them. Chong Shunkai said unwillingly. My superpower is spores, Ren Yusha said lightly. She suddenly stretched out her palm and blew a breath in the direction of Chong Shunkai. Many spores suddenly appeared in the air, some as big as a finger, some as fine as dust, or even smaller, invisible to the naked eye, only a faint shimmer. They took root on Chong Shunkai one after another, and soon more mushrooms and mosses bloomed. As early as when you brought me to Panju City, I started planting spores on you. You are very capable. It is not easy for this little thing to survive in your body. But fortunately, I have enough time. I have already a network of spore plants has been woven around you. Now your body is full of spores. And your life is in my hands. So, you can never control me. And I will never be controlled by anyone. Do you understand? 
Ren Yunsha slowly walked up to Chong Shunkai. Her eyes were cold and indifferent, and the weak temperament in her body was completely gone. Zhang Hai, Sun Kun and others were all shocked. Ren Yunsha, who was so delicate just now, suddenly seemed to have changed into a different person. Able to kill Chong Sheng Kai Sheng. What a trick! Chong Sheng Kai woke up from the shock, laughed to the sky, was crazy, and kept coughing up pink foamy blood. His blood was indeed full of spore plants. Kill me! Ran Yun Sha! I am blind! I admit defeat! Looking at the crazy looking Chong Sheng Kai, Ran Yun Sha's eyes instantly became strange, with a hint of ridicule. I won't kill you! You are still useful! No! Chang Jiashan is still useful! Chang Jiashan! Come out! I know you are in Chang Shinkai's body! This body is going to die soon! Do you really want to die? Ran Yu Sha squatted down and whispered in Chang Shinkai's ear. Chang Jiashan? Jian Lusher didn't understand Ran Yunsha's words at all. What did she mean by calling Chang Shinkai another name? He, there is another person in his body. That person's mental fluctuations are getting stronger and stronger. Ren Shiyu suddenly pointed at Chang Shenkai on the ground and said with a trembling voice, Chang Shenkai, who was on the ground, suddenly struggled violently and scratched the ground in vain with his hands. The scarlet color in his eyes suddenly receded, and the frame of his body was shrinking. At this time, the flame-like aura extinguished and was replaced by a faint black aura. Chang Shenkai returned to his normal appearance, but his pupils turned completely black. He looked at Ren Yusha. His eyes were dodging and shrinking. A look of horror appeared on his face, and his lips trembled. No, don't kill me. I don't want to die. Ran Yusha, since you know my existence, you should know that I am not someone who likes killing, and I am also very afraid of death. Chong Shankai, who was arrogant and arrogant just now, now has a soft and soft voice, which is extremely strange. Dual personality? This is another personality in Chong Shankai's body. Jiang Lusher understood instantly. No wonder Ran Shiyu just sensed another mental wave in Chang Shinkai's body. This mental fluctuation is the personality hidden in Chang Shinkai's body. But it is usually covered up by Chang Shinkai's arrogant and wild personality and is hidden very deep. Chang Jieshan, don't worry. I won't kill you. When I discovered your existence when I was on the verge of death after a battle with Chang Shinkai, I knew you were the ally I was looking for. Otherwise, I would have stopped long ago. I will keep Chang Shinkai. He is too disobedient and difficult to control, and is not an ally worth investing in. Ran Yun Sha looked at Chang Jieshan in front of her, with a hint of brilliance in her eyes. Ally? You, you really don't want to kill me. Chang Jieshan was shocked and doubtful, his eyes still shrinking like a bereaved dog. Ran Yun Sha blew a breath at Chang Jieshan, and the pink mushrooms, moss and other spore plants on Chang Jieshan fell one after another. In an instant, Except for the wounds that still existed on Chang Jieshan's body. There were no plants on Chang Jieshan's body. I will not kill people like you. You have stronger powers than Chang Shankai. But you don't like killing. I need people like you. As long as you obey. I will let you continue to be the boss of the Mad Fighting Alliance. Ran Yuncha's voice seemed to have a strange kind of bewitchment. Chang Jieshan nodded happily like a child. I, I will definitely listen to you. Sister Yu Sha. Okay. Just remember. Don't let Chang Shankai come out. I will never kill you. Ren Yusha said softly. Yeah. The Chang family hilltop was like pounding garlic. There was silence in the hall. Ha. Huh? Chang Shankai is one of our own now. Zhang Hai was heartlessly happy over there. Sun Kun glared at him fiercely. Zhang Hai now knew that being glared at by Sun Kun meant that he must have done or said something wrong again. He glanced at the faces of Jian Lu Shi and others and shut up obediently. Sister. Captain Jiang, what did you all see just now? What do you think of my abilities and methods? I have now controlled Chang Shankai, and even the entire Mad Wars Alliance is under my control. In the near future, the Falling Star Society, the Shanghai People's Front, and even the nearby cities of Northern Jiangsu and Huanggang will be controlled by me. I want to build a huge human safety zone where everyone can live equally and happily. You have also seen that whether it is the Mad Fighting Alliance, the Falling Star Society, or the survivor teams, they are all killing and fighting each other like crazy in the apocalypse. It is naturally impossible for these people to give up fighting because of some of my words. Yes, this is their nature. But after they are all eliminated, the remaining people can naturally coexist as equals. And my existence can speed up their elimination. 
the war between the Mad Fighting Alliance and the Falling Star Society is a successful example. Ran Yuncha's eyes seemed to be burning with two flames. And there was a special kind of fanaticism. Northern Zhang Su? Jian Lusher frowned slightly when he heard this place name. A moving and beautiful image floated in his mind. Xiang Xuahai was in northern Jiangsu. There was no doubt that Ran Yunch's proposal was huge and beautiful. But Jiang Lusher instinctively felt inexplicably disgusted. He never expected that the Ran Yun Shah he wanted to save turned out to be a completely different woman from Ran Shiyu. This woman looks weak on the outside. But inside, she has strong ambition and determination. Obviously, she is the kind of woman who will do whatever it takes to achieve her goals. Being able to stay with a tiger and wolf like Chong Shunkai for so long without having an attack shows that he is deep-minded and tolerant. Ren Shi was silent on the side. The sister in front of her felt strange to her. So, the war between the Mad Fighting Alliance and the Falling Star Society was all caused by you? Ren Shi asked. Facilitate? No. Even without me. They will fight to the death. Chong Shinkai's character is like this. And the people of the Falling Star Society are not good. They can sacrifice dozens of lives for a supermarket. But if they have to in terms of facilitating it, I did play some role. I just used some information and means to make their war break out more diligently. Ren Yucha said lightly. Sister, Captain Jiang, I really hope you can stay and help me. You have the resources of Zhonghai Safety Island. With your help, I will be able to achieve this goal faster. Ren Yucha stretched out her hand and held it gently. He took Ran Shiyu's hand. Don't you want the second level mutant crystal core? As long as you promise me, I can give you both now. Ran Shiyu's gray eyes shone with a complex light. She had no idea why Ran Yun Sha had such a huge plan. After the end of the world, the two of them were completely separated. And Ran Yuncha's temperament and thoughts were already unknowingly incomprehensible to her. I refuse, Jian Lusher said calmly. Why? Ran Yuncha's delicate body trembled. When she looked at Jian Lusher, the enthusiasm in her eyes had disappeared. And her expression of indifference returned. Your goal is good. But if you want to implement it, it will turn into a river of blood. Jian Lusher said slowly. So what if blood flows like a river? This is a necessary sacrifice in any era. Ren Yunsha said lightly. Even if tens of thousands of people die now, it will be a good deal in exchange for peace in the future. By then, you can also gain benefits from it. Gain status, rights, and a stable life. Those ordinary people, they're going to live in a more orderly environment. And that's good for them. You may think that I don't have the ability to control such a large territory. Even if I let more murderous and aggressive survivors be eliminated, there will always be someone who is disobedient. Right. At that time, what can I do if I am a girl? Can we convince all the opponents to establish a safe zone? Jian Lusher said nothing. Ren Yunsha showed a smile in her eyes and looked at Chang Shankai. It should be called Chang Jishan. Although he is the only person with split personality, there are many people who can be controlled by spores. The experiment on him has been proved. Hearing this, Jian Lusher frowned slightly. This was the source of his disgust. When he just saw Ran Yunch's methods, he had already thought that this was Ran Yunch's true thoughts. Use your own powers to build a huge spore empire. I don't understand business, Jian Lusher said solemnly. But what is the difference between what you call peace and making countless dolls and living in your own fairy tale world? Ran Yunsha smiled slightly, but had no intention of refuting. What's wrong with this? At least, you can live in peace. Chapter 411 Entering the Restricted Area Jian Lusher said nothing. Facing such a fanatical Ran Yun Shah, it is useless to say more. He looked at Ran Shiyu beside him. Yun Shah, looking at her ambitious sister beside her. Ran Shiyu's eyes were complicated. She had woken up from the initial shock and knew clearly that Ran Yunsha's thoughts would never be changed by a few words from her sister. As sisters, she certainly understands each other's personalities. People in the Ran family are very paranoid in some aspects. And they will keep walking on a certain path. I came to Panju City originally to find you and take you away. But now it seems that you will definitely not come with me. I only hope that you will be well in the future. Ran Shiyu's voice trembled slightly, and she breathed out softly. Take a breath. Sister, are you leaving now? Are you really not going to help me? Ran Yu Sha heard what Ran Shiyu meant, and her delicate body trembled slightly. If it were someone else, she could also plan to use some powerful means, such as spores or something. But facing her biological sister, Ran Yun Sha certainly wouldn't do that. We still have to deal with some things here. And we will leave after the things are done. Jian Lusher answered from the side. Handling things? 
Do you want plants that can secrete active metals? Ran Yunsha turned to look at him and said. Jian Lusher was slightly shocked. How did she know her purpose? Don't be surprised. When Chang Shunkai used his magnetic power on you just now, the small piece of active metal on your body flew out. Although you recovered it quickly, I still saw it. That thing came from did Wang Shifu get it? Ren Yun asked. Yes, we killed Wang Shifu. Jian Lusher said calmly. No wonder. I was thinking about who is so bold. Why do you want to fight against the district chief of the alliance? And kill him as easily as killing a chicken? It turns out it was you who did it. Anyway, this Wang Shifu is a loyal dog of Chang Shankai. And he often if you go against me, you can kill me. Ren Yunsha said, as she gently took off the dusty white gauze gloves on her hands, and threw them aside. Since you want that special plant, then I am willing to provide you with shelter. Tomorrow morning, you will follow my team into the restricted area. That plant grows in the restricted area. As for how much you can collect, this is it depends on your own abilities. I can only help you so far. When Ran Yunsha spoke, she looked at Ran Shiyu. Ran Shiyu was also looking at her, but her eyes were calm. Provide shelter? This suggestion is interesting. Jian Lusher showed a vague smile. He didn't care whether he was protected or not. It would be great if he could save the trouble and go directly into the restricted area to collect exotic plants. John Hai and Sun Kuan looked at each other and smiled. Ran Yun Shah probably didn't know how good the Shuring team was. In her opinion, they were a relatively powerful team of survivors. Then you will rest here tonight. I will ask John Shan to help you change a room. And we will enter the restricted area early in the morning. Ran Yun Shah stood next to the window that was knocked open and said calmly with her back to Jian Lusher and others. She spread her white palms and blew gently into them. Countless spores of different colors, like colorful bubbles, drifted into the dark urban area with the breeze. The next day, it was dawn. The entire Mad War Alliance was already in a commotion. At the same time, the usually bustling Xiangming Market was completely silent. The streets were deserted. Because Chang Shantai has issued an order not to allow any idlers to enter the Mad War Alliance within two days. The strangest thing is that there is actually no movement from the Falling Star Club. And the explosions that can be heard every day have disappeared. Chengfu Road, which originally belonged to the Falling Star Society, is now firmly occupied by the Mad War Alliance. Long barbed wire fences, two meter deep trenches, and simple defensive walls piled up completely turn the streets into a war zone. Potholes and corpses caused by explosions can be seen everywhere on the ground. At this moment, Six heavy-duty trucks equipped with thick steel plates, 13 off-road vehicles, and some modified motorcycles were gathered behind a high city wall. Behind the city wall is the restricted area. Inside it is the former CBD area of Panju City, an extremely prosperous place. Looking through the city wall at this moment, one building after another is covered with dense vines. Many of the glass walls were peeled off, and green moss was clinging to them. It gives people a gloomy and depressing feeling. A large hole had been opened in the city wall. But the hole was reclosed by steel debris and other things. Just by getting close to the city wall, you can hear the faint howling of zombies coming from inside, which is chilling. At this moment, in front of the city wall, there was a dark mass of human heads. There were seven district chiefs, hundreds of people with powers, and a group of powerful ordinary survivor warriors, all lined up in a densely packed formation. In front of them, Chong Shunkai and Ran Yun Sha stood side by side. Do all the district chiefs understand their missions? The collection tasks are handed over to those with fast abilities, while the others are responsible for guarding and defense. Ran Yunch's voice was as gentle and weak as ever, but it was just enough to reach everyone's ears without missing a word. The morning wind blew her white dress and swayed like a little flower. Du Shur stood closest to Ran Yunsha, looking at Ran Yunsha with a hint of fanaticism in his eyes. Chang Shankai, who was next to her, rarely said a word and even glanced at Ran Yun Sha from time to time. With a hint of fear, faced with Ran Yunsha's act of transgression, the seven district chiefs and a group of superpowers had no doubts. But occasionally some doubtful eyes would drift towards Chang Shankai. But at this moment, Chang Shankai had changed into another person, and he said nothing. In addition, the first district chief, Du Shur, completely supported Ran Yun Sha, and no one said anything. Jian Lusher and the others were standing behind Ran Yun Sha and others. When he saw the scene in front of him from the side, he already had some ideas in his mind. I'm afraid that Ran Yun infiltration into the Mad War Alliance has reached a terrifying level. At this time, Ran Yun Sha glanced at Chang Shengkai next to her. Chang Shengkai waved his hand hurriedly. 
Let's go. Let's go. Sister, be careful. I sent an off-road vehicle and several soldiers to follow your car. Before leaving, Ren Yunsha quickly approached Ran Shiyu and whispered quickly in her ear. Ren Shiyu nodded silently. Boom. The heavy truck at the front heavily smashed open the hole in the city wall that was simply repaired. Trucks and off-road vehicles were heading inside one after another. Duh duh duh. Soon there was a crisp sound of gunfire and the roar of zombies. Shiyu, be careful. After entering the restricted area, Jian Lusher looked at the gloomy environment around him and said to Ran Shiyu. John Hai and Sun Kuen were both cautious and looked around vigilantly. Because it's so eerie in here, compared to the city outside the high wall, there are still survivors living there, and many big trees have been cut down. Although it still looks like a forest, it still looks like a place where survivors can live. But inside the restricted area, each sycamore tree is almost tens of meters high, filtering the large swaths of sunlight into mottled shadows. Thick branches extend unexpectedly from some shops. The cement floor of the street was stubbornly broken open by some plant roots and weeds, and it was covered with thatch that was as tall as a person. Fortunately, there are traces of burning everywhere, and some roads can still be seen. Apparently the Berserk Alliance set a fire here not long ago. What's this mining truck doing after this? Aren't they a group of outsiders? Do we still have to protect them? An off-road vehicle carried a dozen Berserker Alliance soldiers. Following the mining truck of Jian Lusher and others, walking at the back of the team, obviously complaining in his words. The heavy body of the mining truck left clearly visible wheel marks on the ground. But such a car lacks maneuverability on narrow streets. If you encounter any situation, it is the most difficult to escape. That's right. I protected them so well and followed the team at the end. If something happens later, I won't be stupid enough to shoulder it. The sound of the mining truck coming down reached the ears of Jian Lusher and others word for word. It was obvious that the people in the crazy fighting alliance below were very unscrupulous, and they deliberately told them. Although Ran Yunsha controlled the top management, not everyone was completely obedient. These bastards are so courageous that they dare to trick us. Zhang Hai geared up and was very unhappy. Don't worry about them, Jian Lusher said calmly. He had some doubts in his heart. Jian Lusher had observed that the several waves of zombies encountered by the heavy truck in front were all small groups of zombies. Not many in number. Some superpowers rush forward and crush them. This is not consistent with the situation in the restricted area. This is the largest zombie gathering place in Panju City. It can be said that it was divided into three directions by the Mad War Alliance, the Falling Star Society, and the Huyang People's Front. And a large number of zombies were driven here. How could it be so little? Okay, a lot of zombies. On the tall buildings on both sides. Ren Shiyu suddenly noticed something unusual. Her voice trembled slightly and she quickly shared the mental vision of the detection with Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher was immediately startled. In the shared mental vision, several tall buildings on the left and right were covered with dense red dots. These red dots stand evenly on the third, fourth, and fifth floors, and there are still red dots rapidly moving towards these floors. All this happened inside the building. Nothing unusual could be seen outside. Only a few sporadic zombies walking around. If it weren't for Ran Shiyu's mental vision, Jian Lusher would not be able to see these situations at all. The mental intensity of three of the red dots is obviously much stronger than the red dots next to them. Three mutated zombies? It's an ambush! Jian Lusher instantly understood why the zombies in these buildings were so well behaved. There were obviously mutant zombies controlling them. Jian Lusher did not dare to be careless about these mutated zombies. They are equivalent to the brains of zombies. They have the most basic fighting instincts and can command zombies. They are very difficult opponents. Jian Lusher quickly observed the surrounding terrain and found that their mining truck had broken into the ambush site. Back up and activate the first form of the base vehicle. Exit the temporary convoy. Let's go somewhere else. Jian Lusher quickly gave an order. He had no nostalgia for following behind the Mad Battle Alliance convoy. Buzz. The mining truck quickly deformed and returned to the form of a minibus. Then the sprint function was turned on. The car's engine made a deafening sound. The tires rubbed against the ground crazily, and it retreated rapidly back. Um, the mining truck turned into a minibus? Several soldiers from the Berserk Alliance were stunned when they saw this scene in the off-road vehicle following the mining truck. The minibus had just started its sprint function when a roar came from the tall buildings on both sides. Bang, bang, bang. There were constant sounds of windows breaking, and like dumplings falling from the sky. Countless zombies jumped down with broken glass all over the sky. Oh my god! Zombies! 
The soldier in the off-road vehicle screamed and picked up the knife in his hand. There were also soldiers from the Berserk Alliance who raised their guns and opened fire wildly. On the off-road vehicle, the person with the superpower who was holding the battle turned pale, and his scalp felt numb when he saw the densely packed zombies falling. He instinctively wanted to run, but when he thought of Chong Shinkai's iron-blooded methods, he had no choice but to stretch out his arms and roll towards the nearest zombie. Boom! The minibus almost sprinted backwards for a hundred meters, its tires leaving clear tire marks on the road. Even so, a few zombies still fell on the roof of the car. One of the zombie girls, wearing a shabby princess dress with gray eyes hanging from her eye sockets, crazily crawled along the roof of the car towards the cab. Before her fingers even touched the cab window, Zero appeared behind her like a ghost. The dagger stabbed the zombie's head hard. After a while, after Zero had eliminated all the zombies, the minibus had turned through several streets and arrived in front of a large square. In this area of the square, where the flagpole was originally, a huge gap is opened, forming the appearance of a cave. Dense weeds grew around the square, a row of abandoned cars neatly arranged. There were bones and corpses everywhere on the ground. It was obvious that a massacre had occurred here. Um. After the mining truck deformed, it went into sprint mode again, and the body of the truck was very bumpy for a while. When Ran Shiyu's body was jolted, she always felt a dull pain from a hard object on her waist. It's just that I have been nervously using my mental power to detect the surrounding situation, and I didn't have time to react. Now that she had relaxed a little, she couldn't help but touch her waist and was immediately stunned. Two crystal nuclei shining with energy lay quietly in her hands. Staring at the crystal core in her hand, Ran Shiyu's eyes flickered. She remembered when the sister approached her before leaving. She felt something moving in her waist at that time. It seems that Ran Yunsha secretly left this thing at that time. Give. Ran Shiyu silently handed the crystal core in his hand to Jian Lusher. Second level mutant crystal core? Jian Lusher could tell at a glance the energy level of the mutated crystal core in his hand. He glanced at Ran Shiyu with questioning eyes. A helpless smile appeared on Ran Shiyu's lips. Seeing her expression, Jian Lusher couldn't understand what was going on. Although they had rejected Ran Yunsha's invitation to stay, Ran Yunsha still found the two secondary mutant crystal nuclei and handed them over. Drip scan the energy fluctuations of exotic plants. Suddenly, Starseed's notification sound echoed in Jian Lusher's mind. Jian Lusher couldn't help but his eyes lit up and he became happy. He had no intention of joining Ran Yunsha's team from the beginning. After all, he has Starseeds, which gives him an advantage in finding exotic plants. And when it comes to exotic plants, the more Jian Lusher, the better. It would be somewhat inconvenient to go with Ran Yun Sha and the others in the convoy. Where did the mining truck go? Half an hour later, one of the superpowers died in a fierce battle, and two off-road vehicles were damaged. Finally, a large-scale sneak attack by zombies was repelled. Zombies and some scattered corpses of Berserker Alliance warriors have piled up on the ground. Ran Yun Sha noticed that the mining truck in the last column had disappeared. One of the supernatural beings who had just followed Jiang Yosher's off-road vehicle had lost an arm and was dripping with blood. Facing Ran Yuncha's gloomy look, even though the injury was in severe pain, he still did not dare to neglect it. The mining truck turned into a minibus. When the zombies swarmed down, it broke away from the convoy and went to who knows where. Have you left the convoy? Ran Yuncha was stunned and her eyebrows condensed. Why did they leave the convoy? Such a move is very dangerous. There are zombies here. Will my sister be okay? A hint of worry appeared in Ran Yuncha's eyes. After all, that is her only relative in the world. Ran Yuncha's face darkened, and her sharp eyes were fixed on the face of the superpower in front of her. You call a few people right now. Bring five guns, and go quickly to find the group of people driving the minibus you must find them. Chapter 412 Future Evolutionary Direction The direction of the Star Seed Reminder, the alien plant is inside this big gap. Jian Lusher stared at the cave-like gap carefully, his heart pounding. The cave was only over one meter wide, and it was so pitch black that there was no end in sight. So one had to crawl to get in. If there is anything weird inside, the risk will be very high. Brother Jian, no fluctuations in mental power were found. After Ran Shiyu's mental power probed into the cracks of the cave for a while, he shook his head at Jian Lusher. Ling, who came down with Jian Lusher, and several rabbits killed the scattered zombies in the grass. They separated into three directions with John Hai and Sun Kuan and stood guard on the side. Only then did Jian Lusher get into the cave with peace of mind. Although the cave was dark, it could not block Jian Lusher's vision. 
The cave turned out to be very large. Like a mutant beast's den. The ground was covered in thick soil with obvious fangs protruding from it. His eyes suddenly shrank. And he clearly saw a pile of huge corpses deep in the cave. This is the corpse of a mutated beast. More than three meters long and one meter high. The corpse had completely shriveled up. Leaving only a layer of skin and some internal organs. A huge wound appeared on the body's abdominal cavity. A crystal nucleus as small as a pigeon egg lay quietly at the wound. First level mutant crystal core? Jian Lusher couldn't help but smile. Although I don't know how this mutated beast died. It actually left behind a first level mutated crystal core. It was just a free pick. On top of the corpse, a small bush of thorny thorns was found. In addition, he did not see any plants that secreted active metals. Exotic plant energy fluctuations detected. Alien energy fluctuations detected. Strangely, the star seed in his mind kept reminding him. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. Where were the exotic plants? No matter what. Get the first level mutant crystal core. He just took a step forward and reached out to the crystal core in the corpse's abdomen. A sudden change occurred. There was a sudden movement under the corpse. And thorns surged out. Turning up the dust in the sky. Under the thorns that looked ordinary just now. The parts buried in the soil were actually countless barbed needles that shone like metal. Not only that, the thorn's body secreted a fishy mucus and flew towards Jian Lusher. But the moment the thorns burst into the sky, Jian Liosher's brain reacted. He quickly retreated and avoided most of the metal barbs. But there were still some needle pricks and mucus stuck to his body. And several holes were instantly burned out of his clothes. Fortunately, Jian Liosher's body had strengthened his defenses and the corrosive mucus only left a few white marks on his skin, which caused some burning sensation. Brother Jiang, what's wrong? Hearing the noise, Zhang Hai, Ling and others rushed over quickly, and happened to meet Jian Lusher, who was running out of the cave in a panic. Looking behind Jian Lusher, a monster-like giant thorn bush rushed to the entrance of the cave with lust all over it. It seemed to feel that it had not caught the prey, and slowly retreated. Change, mutated plant? Seeing this scene, Zhang Hai was shocked and dumbfounded. Jian Lusher nodded. The star seed in his mind was still reminding him. He could confirm that the mutated thorns in front of him were the alien plants reminded by the star seed. Unexpectedly, there was more than one exotic plant in it. Not only are there alien plants that can secrete active metals, but there are also mutated thorns that can hide and camouflage and hunt meat. Shadow, bring the base vehicle over and use the robotic arm to dig out the mutated thorns inside. Jian Lusher was a little scared. This kind of plant was so dangerous that even Ran Shi's mental detection couldn't detect it. But since even he feels it is dangerous, if this kind of thing is excavated and the Exotic Plant Cultivation Research Laboratory is opened, it will definitely be a great weapon to study and cultivate this kind of thing. Jian Lusher gave an order, and the two long mechanical arms of the base vehicle came out and rushed into the cave. Under Shadow's control, the robotic arm is like an extension of her life able to accurately grasp the situation in the cave. After a while, a struggling mutated thorn plant was carefully dug out by its roots. The first level mutant crystal core also fell into Jian Liusher's hands. However, many of the roots and stems of this mutated thorn have penetrated into the corpse of the mutated beast. At this time, the star seed notification sound in Jian Liusher's mind appeared again. Discovered a heterogeneous plant mutated thorn. A metamorphosis of the Verbenaceae family. It is carnivorous and prefers acidic soil environments lacking nitrogen. Capture mutated thorns and trigger the conditions for opening the heterogeneous plant cultivation laboratory. Opening the laboratory requires more than two types of heterogeneous plants. Two secondary mutant crystal nuclei. And the required metals are as follows. Tip. The activation of the hidden project will affect the future evolution direction of the base vehicle. Jian Lusher was surprised when he saw clearly the prompt information given by Xingzhong. It is indeed a hidden evolution project. To activate it, you actually need two mutant crystal cores and a bunch of rare metals. To open the energy research room, you only need one secondary mutation crystal core. It can be seen that the level of this exotic plant cultivation laboratory is higher than that of the energy laboratory. However, Jian Lusher now needs three secondary mutant crystal nuclei to start the further evolution of the base vehicle. If you spend the secondary mutation cores to open the research room, Jian Lusher smiled bitterly. He now had few first-level mutant nuclei, let alone second-level mutant nuclei. But he made a decision in his mind to open the Exotic Plant Cultivation Research Institute first, through the Star Sea prompts. He also knew how important the hidden projects were. 
which could affect the future evolution direction of the base vehicle. Moreover, the hidden items are not evolutionary items that can appear as the base vehicle is upgraded. They need to be triggered by the star seed host itself. And there are certain random conditions. After passing this village, there is no such shop for long-term planning. And in order to keep the exotic plants he obtained alive, Jian Lusher had to open a research institute for cultivating exotic plants. With a decision in his mind, Jian Lusher threw the mutated thorns into the storage space of the base vehicle. Although this thing has special requirements for cultivating soil, it has a strong vitality and will not die for a while. Star Seed continued to scan the energy fluctuations of the surrounding alien plants, Jian Lusher said in his mind. A few hours later, the sun was blazing. There was a loud bang and a 100-meter-tall high-rise building collapsed. The ground shook a few times. For a time, the sky was filled with dust and gravel flying, making the surroundings even more eerie. Most of the hundreds of zombies flying over across the street were crushed into flesh by the collapsed high-rise buildings. Some zombies who managed to escape had their heads smashed with hammers by the Berserker Alliance soldiers who rushed over. Report The 6th District successfully prevented a large group of zombies from attacking. 16 ordinary soldiers died and two people with superpowers died. Report The Qianxiang building was blasted in the first area. Seven ordinary soldiers were killed in the blast. Three people with powers were injured. And two first-level mutant zombies were killed. One by one, the district chiefs reported to Ran Yun Sha the surrounding fighting situation. They had gone deep into the hinterland of the restricted area. And when they arrived, they were finally attacked by several large zombies. Fortunately, the Mad Fighting Alliance was well prepared, carrying a lot of explosives and other weapons, and dispatching elite troops, and was able to barely withstand the waves of attacks. But Ran Yusha knew very well that the Alliance could not afford such casualties. Every warrior here is a force that will fight for her ideal country in the future. She wants to get out of here as soon as possible. However, those with powers who went out to look for their sister Ran Shiyu and others did not come back at this time. She didn't see the minibus either. Ran Yunsha couldn't help but feel a little uneasy. The only thing that gave her some comfort was that there were seven extremely coquettish golden flowers in a cultivation tank in front of her. The rhizomes of the flowers were embedded in the dark soil, which was mixed with the flesh of mutated beasts and some iron filings, copper filings and other metals. The stamens of these flowers secrete golden metallic liquid. This thing is exactly the target of her trip active metal. Last time we marked 11 plants. There are still four left. As soon as we have found all the Mad Wars Alliance. We will leave here. She couldn't help but worry a little. Why hasn't the Shuring team come back yet? Boom. A shattering sound sounded crisply. Looking around, Ran Yun Sha saw a tall figure smashing a lone zombie into pieces. The corpses of the zombies had become pieces of broken flesh on the ground. The Berserker Alliance soldiers next to them were so frightened that they almost peed. The district chiefs of several major districts were also frightened when they saw this scene. Why has the boss's powers changed now? It has become so terrifying. The former Chong Shenkai. Now Chong Jieshen. After killing a zombie that rushed out of the building, he walked cautiously into the dark basement of a high-rise building with a layer of cold air on his body. After he came out after a while, he was already holding a golden flower in his hand. Got it. Chong Jieshen held the flowers in his hands and whispered to Ran Yun Sha from a distance. Although Ran Yun Sha said she would not kill him, he was naturally afraid of this woman. Suddenly, he screamed. The tiny roots of the flower in his hand just now broke open his skin tenaciously. And he sucked it crazily. Please bear with me. This kind of thing just likes to suck blood and eat meat. Give me the things quickly, and don't use your powers. Ran Yusha said in a deep voice to Chong Jieshen. Chong Jieshen did not dare to act rashly after hearing this. He could only endure the pain of being sucked, and threw the golden flower in his hand into the cultivation trough in front of Ran Yusha. Be careful in the future. Ran Yusha warned lightly after pulling the tiny roots of the golden flower out of Chang Jieshen's hands. Yes! Chang Jieshen whispered. A thin layer of sweat broke out all over his body. And he felt mentally exhausted. This time, Chang Jieshen became Ran Yunsha's main force. Whenever you encounter powerful mutated zombies or dig up those golden flowers, Chang Jieshen always takes action. Chang Jieshen's powerful freezing ability also ensures that risks can be minimized. However, Chong Jiashan is no better than Chong Shung Kai. He always does things sloppily. Every time he takes out a golden flower, it is inevitable that the flower's rhizome will penetrate into the skin and be sucked. He's been hacked seven or eight times. Suddenly, Chong Jiashan's body trembled. 
and the muscles on his face twitched for a while. At this time, Ran Yun Sha happened to pick up a map and carefully observe the location information about the golden flower marked by the Mad War Alliance before, but did not notice any changes in Chang Jiaishan. Now, to Holly Street. After determining the location of the next plant, Ran Yun Sha said calmly, the engines of the heavy-duty trucks of the Mad Fighting Alliance roared, and they immediately headed towards Holly Street. Ouch. Just as the motorcade was about to enter the intersection of Holly Street, a shrill roar suddenly came from the depths of Holly Street. Hearing this roar, everyone felt as if they had been punched in the chest and were suffocated. Level 2? Level 2 mutated zombies? A person with superpowers in the Mad War Alliance couldn't help but turn pale. The sound was so powerful that once you heard it, you knew that it must have been produced by a very powerful mutated zombie. Even the first level mutated zombies, although very strong, are not enough to have such an impact on their spiritual will. Level 2 mutated zombie? Ren Yuncha's face darkened slightly. She knew very well that there were level 2 mutated zombies in the restricted area. And there was more than one. Mutated zombies, like some powerful animals, have a strong sense of territory and will hunt each other to keep themselves evolving. These second level mutated zombies are the ones that the Mad War Alliance focuses on. After paying the price in blood, they roughly mapped out the areas of influence of these second level mutant zombies. Therefore, their course of action this time does not involve the area where these second level mutated zombies are located. However, the actions of zombies are uncertain, and accidents may happen at any time. When you hear the roar now, it means that the accident happened at this time, and a second level mutated zombie came to this street. This can only be said to be bad luck. After the roar ended, there was a loud bang. A tall figure fell from the roof of a high-rise building like a cannonball, hitting a mountain of abandoned cars with a bang, staring at the people of the Mad Fighting Alliance expressionlessly. This figure was tall and mighty, with wounds all over his naked upper body. In his pupils, dense bloodshot threads were crawling like earthworms. He was carrying a thick metal baseball bat. He stood there solemnly, exuding a coercion like a prairie lion, his eyes dry and cold. Beside him, there were seven or eight first-level mutant zombies. Immediately, zombies jumped out from the tall buildings on both sides and gathered around the tall figure. From several other streets, densely packed zombies emerged from the basements and shops of nearby high-rise buildings. These zombies actually divided into two directions, blocking the people from the Mad War Alliance. Roar! The second-level mutated zombie roared into the sky and suddenly lifted an old car with one hand. It hit the heavy truck where Ren Yun Sha was sitting hard. Chapter 413 Shocking Change The same loud roar came from beside Ren Yun Sha. A figure shot up, jumped seven or eight meters high, and kicked the abandoned car in the air. Boom! A powerful and heavy kick, carrying a huge force of more than 1,000 kilograms. The front of the old car was kicked and collapsed, and flew dozens of meters away. The muscles all over the body of the lonely lion swelled. Fangs protruded from the corners of its mouth and thick golden hair grew all over its body. His superpower is the blood of the lion. He is infinitely powerful, and his ability ranks first among the eight district chiefs. Boom! The second level mutated zombie stomped heavily on the ruins of the car. A gust of wind swept up the whole person as he ran wildly, and punched lone lion. Chang Jiaishan, you and Dusher can drag down the second level mutated zombies. The others retreat with me. Ren Yusha rushed to the Chang Jiaishan road not far away standing next to a heavy truck. The second-level mutant zombies are very terrifying existences, and they have stronger combat intelligence than the second-level mutant beasts. Moreover, he has the ability to command, allowing the zombies to exert several times their normal combat effectiveness. Although the Mad Fighting Alliance works together and can kill the second-level mutated zombies with the guns, ammunition, and these superpowers in hand, Ren Yusha cherishes the vitality of the Mad Fighting Alliance and does not want to lose too many people here. I, I'm afraid. Chong Jieshan stood there, looking at the second level mutated zombies that exuded a terrifying force, with a look of horror in his eyes, and turned to beg Ren Yunsha. I don't want to go. Ren Yunsha frowned slightly. Her eyes turned cold when she looked at Chong Jieshan, and the two white fingers of her right hand came together. No. Chong Jieshan's legs trembled. Don't be afraid of her. Let me come out. Chong Jieshan's pupils suddenly turned red and another voice came from his throat Chong Shinkai's voice. Ren Yuncha's eyes narrowed, and she snapped her fingers. Unexpectedly, the spore explosion did not occur. Chong Jieshan only had a bean sprout-like mushroom growing between his fingernails. It was immediately wiped away by a big hand. Ha ha! Chong Jieshan, did you see it? 
The spores this woman planted in our bodies were all devoured by the roots of those golden flowers when they suck blood. We don't have to be afraid of him now. Come, follow me fight together, and I will protect you. Otherwise, sooner or later, we will both die at her hands. Chong Jiashen muttered to himself loudly, with a crazy attitude. Boss, the other district chiefs were a little overwhelmed when they noticed Chong Jiashen's crazy appearance. Jiashen, give me your body back. After a loud shout, Chong Jiashen's pupils suddenly turned scarlet, and the violent and arrogant aura on his body reappeared. Oops. Chong Shunkai has taken over the body. Seeing this scene, Ran Yunsha was shocked. Chong Jiashan was originally a weak-tempered person, and he and Chong Shunkai had different personalities. Now that Chong Jiashan's body is without the spore plant, there is no need to worry about his life. Chong Shunkai's pressure instantly gained the upper hand in his personality and suppressed Chong Jiashan's personality into his body. As a last resort, Ran Yusha blew a breath towards where Chong Shunkai was. Colorful spores all over the sky flew towards Chang Shinkai's body. Just when the spores were about to approach Chang Jiashin, Chang Jiashin waved his hand, and a strong wind swept across, blowing away the spores. Ran Yusha, you still want to use this little trick against me? It won't work. Chang Shinkai looked at Ran Yusha with overwhelming hatred. As much as he liked Ran Yusha before, he hated her now. Ran Yusha's heart sank. She had spent a lot of time with Chang Shinkai. And of course she knew how terrifying Chong Shunkai was. She couldn't help but glance at someone. Behind Chong Shunkai, a gunshot suddenly sounded. But there seemed to be some kind of weird force field around Chong Shunkai. And the bullet was deflected hard before it even got close to him. Chong Shunkai turned around suddenly and saw Zhang Shan holding a rifle with a pale face. At some point, a small pink mushroom ball appeared on Zhang Shan's arm. I, sir, listen to me. Before Zhang Shan finished speaking, Chang Shunkai waved his hand coldly. Whoosh! A piece of construction steel bar more than 10 meters away emerged from the ruins of the collapsed building and severely pierced Zhang Shan. He spit out some blood bubbles from his throat and collapsed to the ground. Sir, you, what's wrong with you? The district chief of the 6th district was a bald man. He approached Chang Shunkai and asked carefully, with a look of confusion on his face, that bitch Ran Yun Sha is a traitor. She used her powers to control Zhang Shan. Chang Shunkai said coldly. Before he finished speaking, the head of the 6th district suddenly hugged Chang Shunkai. Boss, I'm sorry. A ball of flame instantly burned from the head of the 6th district and swept towards Chang Shunkai crazily. It was the bald man's firepower. Chang Jiashan, listen to me. Chang Shunkai suddenly roared, and one of his scarlet pupils instantly turned into pitch black. Got it. Chang Shunkai's voice softened in his throat and a cold, icy breath suddenly surged out of his right arm. The fire that was raging just now disappeared as soon as it encountered the freezing breath. The district chief of the 6th district was horrified. Before he could react, an overwhelming cold air enveloped him. In a few breaths, he turned into an ice sculpture covered with frost. Boom! Chan Shanghai kicked the 6th district chief in front of him into pieces, and a small piece of frozen moss rolled down from the broken body. The district chief has someone under your control? You must die today. Chan Shinkai's dong dong dong. Suddenly that sprint. His body rushed towards Ran Yun Sha like a gust of wind. Ran Yun Sha, who was originally on the heavy truck, felt her heart sink. Her only two trump cards are Zhang Shan and the District 6 District Chief who are controlled by her. These two people are completely loyal to her. Now he was actually killed by Chang Shinkai. Chang Shinkai. He has gone crazy. He killed the District 6 District Chief and Zhang Shan. Everyone opened fire on him. He is no longer your boss. Ran Yun Sha suddenly raised her voice and shouted to everyone in the surrounding Berserk Alliance. But the people around him, including the district chiefs, were just in shock and uncertainty. No one dared to shoot Chang Shankai, who was covered in blood. Du Shi, who was over there, also crashed into the building during a fierce battle with the second level mutated zombies that rushed over. Unable to escape. Seeing this scene, Ran Yunsha's face darkened. I'll drive it! Ran Yunsha pushed aside the bewildered Berserker Alliance warrior in the cab. She still has a backup plan. But it will take time. So she can only retreat temporarily. Unexpectedly, just as she was about to ignite the heavy truck, she felt a blast of freezing cold air. Click! Click! The glass window in front of me and some metal fittings on the front of the car were all frozen. Even the door handle was frozen. 
Ran Yunshao finally panicked. What to do? Boom! Suddenly a figure rushed over and kicked the cab hard. With a powerful and heavy kick, the car door and Ran Yunshao were kicked out together. There were a few crisp sounds, and Ran Yunshao's face suddenly turned ugly. She groaned. A layer of fine sweat broke out on her forehead, and she fell to the ground unable to exert herself. Oops. A few ribs were broken by the kick. Bitch! Thanks to your help! Now even Chang Jieshen listens to me! And his powers can be used by me! Chang Shangkai stood in front of Ran Yun Sha with a gloomy expression. Looking down at Ran Yun Sha. Tell me! Why did you betray me? If you convince me of your reasons, I might make your death less painful! Chang Shangkai still couldn't understand Ran Yun Sha's betrayal. Facing the fierce Chang Shankai, Ran Yu Sha did not beg for mercy, and there was a hint of coldness in her eyes. Betrayal? You will never understand. I just clean up the trash. It's a pity that I don't have enough time. Otherwise, I can create a large safe zone of equality and peace. Forces like the Mad War Alliance fall into the hands of people like you who only know how to destroy. What a pity! What can you do? Just continue killing. Ran Yun Sha shook her head and sneered. I'm rubbish? Chong Shunkai laughed angrily and pointed his right hand at Ran Yun Shaw. A freezing cold air lingered, and countless tiny spores fluttered and fell in the air. Am I going to die here? The last little trick was blocked by Chong Shunkai, and Ran Yun Shaw's eyes finally became desperate. Chapter 414 The Mouse Chases the Cat. Looking at Ran Yun Shaw's calm face, the muscles on Chong Shunkai's face were twisted. What he most wanted to see was the woman in front of him hugging his feet and begging him to spare her life. Instead of this calm and stubborn face, if he kills such a woman, he will not feel the strong sense of satisfaction and pleasure of revenge. No, I can't kill you like this. Yes, why did I forget that you have a sister? Chong Shunkai seemed to have remembered something. He covered his face and laughed ferociously, with a fierce look in his eyes. I'm going to catch her and kill all the people in Zhonghai. You are all together. I believe you heard them. The screams will definitely be very satisfying. And I will be very happy too. I'm going to find them now. And you should go with me. Ran Yuncha's calm face finally showed a trace of emotion. No. We can't let him go find his sister. Chong Shankai is crazy now. Ran Yuncha knew Chong Shankai's character very well. This guy is crazy now. And will only be more cruel than usual. But now she couldn't move. And her spore powers were useless. Because of Chong Shankai's defense. What to do? She suddenly turned her head to look at where the superpowers and the district chief were, and blew a breath from her mouth. At the entrance of Holly Street, the soldiers of the Mad Fighting Alliance were already using guns, machetes, hammers, and other tools to fight against the zombies that were charging towards them. At this juncture, Chong Shankai, as the boss of the Mad War Alliance, was full of thoughts of torturing Ren Yusha. Many people have already thought about running away. Who cares about others' lives at this time? They are all here for resources not to die. Third district chief, kill Chong Shunkai quickly. Ran Yusha, who was lying on the ground, suddenly shouted to the third district chief over there. The third district chief and his people were hiding behind, trying to sneak away. In this situation, if they escape back, they can still control the situation in the Mad War Alliance. Even if they can't, they can still take away the resources. As for the life and death of ordinary people in the Mad War Alliance, they don't care. But unexpectedly, at this time, he was suddenly called by Ran Yun Shaw. Yeah! The third district chief's heart skipped a beat. Chong Shunkai was stunned, and stared at the third district chief not far away with a pair of fierce eyes. The third district chief was a young man with oily hair and a pink face. When he saw Chong Shunkai's scarlet eyes staring over at him, his heart was in his throat. You want to betray me too? Chong Shunkai said with strong murderous intent. I... I didn't... Ran Yun Shaw is talking nonsense. The third district chief waved his hand quickly. But he suddenly saw a small pink mushroom growing out of his hand. Spore plants. Seeing the mushroom, the smile on Chong Shinkai's face faded. And his eyes looked at the third district chief with a faint cold light. Immediately, his pupils shrank. And the superpowers behind the third district chief, as well as those under him, actually had pink mushrooms growing on their bodies. You're all controlled? Okay. Then you'll all die. Chong Shinkai's eyes were as bloodshot as earthworms. The dual personalities are now awake. He was already unconscious. After experiencing the betrayal between Zhang Shan and the 6th district chief, he knew one thing. Anyone with spore plants growing on his body is controlled by Ran Shah. Traitor. He reached out with his right hand and grabbed the nearest person. 
Click. Click. The freezing aura spread over. And the warrior with mushrooms growing on his head instantly turned into an ice sculpture. When killing this soldier, Chong Shunkai was still staring at the third district chief gloomily. The third district chief was so frightened that he trembled all over. He knew very well that of course, he was not controlled by the spore plant. But it was obvious that Chong Shunkai couldn't listen to the explanation. Run! A thought flashed across his mind. A pair of wings grew out of the third district chief's back. And he flew into the distance with a whoosh. Chong Shunkai narrowed his eyes slightly. Waved his hand. And powerful magnetic force was activated and dozens of steel bars were shot out from the construction waste pile next to him. He pierced the third district chief in the air and smashed him down with a scream. Click. Click. Chong Shunkai rushed into the crowd of frantic alliance warriors. His eyes red, like a bloodthirsty wolf. His targets were all the berserker alliance warriors with mushrooms growing on their bodies. Not only can he control magnetism, but he is also wrapped in a freezing aura. He was like a god of death. And the mad fighting alliance was instantly in chaos. Boss Chong is crazy. Can't sit still and wait for death. Kill him. Kill Chong Shunkai. The zombies are coming. The scene suddenly became chaotic. Many alliance fighters who were holding guns, machetes, and setting up barbed wire defense lines became chaotic because of the chaos behind them. In this chaos, a mutated zombie who was leading the charge immediately saw the opportunity and pounced over. The huge force knocked over the off-road vehicles blocking the front and then bit the neck of a member of the Wild Fighting Alliance. And blood suddenly flowed out, sputtering in screams. The zombie swarm was like a torrent, and the collapse of the Mad War Alliance instantly triggered a collapse in other places. As soon as the Crazy Alliance's defense line was broken, a large group of zombies rushed in like a tide of excitement. Many soldiers were knocked down and bitten. There were screams, gunshots, and the loud cries of zombies. With large amounts of blood flowing, it was like H. L. Sister! Where are you? Seeing the H. Lish situation in front of her, Ran Yuncha's eyes were gray, and her originally gray eyes were filled with a hint of deep sadness. At the same time, in the deep streets, an off-road vehicle is speeding. Captain Liu, why does Ran Yusha value those outsiders so much? She wants us to protect them. I really don't understand. If a bunch of outsiders die, they will die. I think they are probably dead. There are quite a few zombies here. Isn't it a big deal that a crispy minibus is still running around? I told Captain Liu. Let's just look for it, and then go back and deal with Ran Yu Sha. The few soldiers sitting on the off-road vehicle were muttering all the way. They searched a few streets, but they didn't come across the group of foreigners' minibuses at all. Captain Liu's face was gloomy. He had broken an arm, and blood was still flowing. He came out to find someone. Of course, he had the deepest complaint in his heart. But he didn't dare to offend Ran Yu Sha. This woman's influence in the Mad Fighting Alliance is bottomless. And now she has become the spokesperson of Chong Shankai. Meow. Suddenly, a shrill cat meow made people's eardrums buzz and hurt. Mutant beast? Hearing the power of this voice, Captain Lu knew immediately that a mutant beast was coming. Captain Lu broke out in a cold sweat. If it was in his heyday, he would still have the confidence to face mutant beasts. But now that he has a broken arm, his confidence is much weaker. Moreover, he recently encountered a battle with a group of zombies, which consumed a lot of supernatural energy in his body. Almost as soon as the thought flashed through their minds, a huge mutated wildcat rushed out from the street opposite them, charging towards them on the narrow street. Run! Turn around! Captain Liu's scalp felt numb, and his heart was beating wildly. This damn thing is killing me. This mutated wildcat can probably kill them all in one face-to-face -face encounter. All I can do now is run. Just as they were about to turn around, they heard the deafening roar of an engine coming from the end of the mutant wildcat. Immediately they opened their eyes wide and saw an incredible scene. Behind the mutated wildcat, a crispy minibus followed closely. It was obvious that the minibus was chasing and the mutated wildcat was escaping. The mutated wildcat was not only running away, but was also screaming heartbreakingly and running away like crazy. This is simply like a mouse chasing a cat. This scene really made Captain Lou and the other's eyes widen in disbelief. They have seen the sharp claws of mutated wild cats and torn the iron sheets of modified off-road vehicles. Captain, it's the minibus belonging to that group of foreigners. It's so fast. The lively berserker alliance warrior had not yet finished speaking. I saw the minibus suddenly sprinting and the body of the bus, which was originally like a gust of wind, accelerated again. With a loud bang, the wild cat was immediately knocked into the street wall. Dust filled the sky. Immediately, 
a pair of mechanical arms reached out and dragged out the mutated wild cat's body from the wall. Finally, we defeated this beast. The seeds of the mutated plant are in its stomach. Jiang Lusher jumped out of the car and said to Ling Dao who was following him. Zero nodded and pulled the wild cat aside for dissection. They had been searching for mutant plants just now and finally found four mutant plants that could secrete active metals. And they discovered that these mutant plants, without exception, would have the corpses of mutant beasts wherever they lived, or they would grow from the stomachs of mutant beasts. Finally, they detected that a mutated wild cat that was alarmed also had mutated plants in its body. And it was still in a seed state. And they chased it all the way here. Finally, this vicious beast was taken care of. Great! We finally found you! Ran! Miss Ren asked us to come out and look for you back. On the off-road vehicle next to him, Captain Lu woke up at this time and hurriedly rushed to Jian Lusher and others. His eyes wandered around the minibus. And he was very shocked. The speed at which this thing sprinted just now, as well as the mechanical arm that was drilled out, proved that this minibus was extremely complicated. Minibuses that can kill mutated wild cats must not be underestimated. Ren Yu Sha? Jian Lusher was stunned. Yes, it's Ren Yu Sha. Captain Lu nodded repeatedly. Well, let her worry about it, Jian Lusher said calmly. In such a dangerous restricted area, Ran Yunsha sent people to search for herself. Of course, what she really wanted to find was Ran Shiyu. But even so, it's still rare. Jian Lusher was in the restricted area. He had obtained what he should get and was satisfied. Moreover, Ran Yusha detected strong mental fluctuations in some places. And it was obvious that there were powerful mutant zombies dormant. He had no intention of continuing the search. Safety was the most important thing. Okay, I will turn on the walkie-talkie now and tell Miss Ren the news that you are still alive. She will be very happy. Captain Lu did not dare to neglect and quickly took out the walkie-talkie on his body. But as soon as the intercom turned on, he was startled. There were screams from inside. Chong Shinkai is crazy. Kill him. Run quickly. There are more and more zombies. Ren Yun Sha. I'm going to kill all the people you control and then torture you slowly. The last voice made Jiang Liushu's expression change drastically. Chang Shinkai? Brother Jiang? It's terrible. Chang Shinkai's personality must have taken back his body. My sister is in danger. Ran Shiyu bit her lips and breathed rapidly. Although she and Ran Yunsha have different ideas, it doesn't mean that Ran Shiyu doesn't care about her. On the contrary, the two were unable to act together, which made Ran Shiyu feel very sad inside. But she never showed it. Now suddenly hearing that Ren Yun Sha was in crisis. Ren Shiyu could no longer calm down and her expression suddenly became panicked. She looked at Jian Lusher. At this time, she could only rely on Jian Lusher. Get in the car right away and go back. Jian Lusher made a decisive decision. And then grabbed Ren Shiyu's hand. Holding Ren Shiyu slightly trembling. Cold and weak hand with his warm and strong hand. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Jian Lusher said in a deep voice. From the screams and biting sounds on the walkie-talkie, he could tell that the Mad War Alliance was in chaos. It was probably due to encountering a large group of zombies, and with Chong Shinkai's rampage, the defense line had been breached. The atmosphere became tense for a moment. Boom! The engine of the minibus suddenly roared again, and it rushed towards Holly Street. Captain Liu and the others did not dare to neglect, and quickly started the off-road vehicle and followed behind the minibus. When they arrived at the outskirts of Dongqing Street, Captain Lu's heart sank to the bottom. In front of him was a world like bloody purgatory. I saw a large number of zombies blocking the streets. And further away, a large number of zombies had broken through the defense line of the Mad War Alliance and were biting the soldiers inside. Frenzied Alliance warriors continued to fall on the ground. Captain Jiang, I, let's take a detour. Captain Lu was frightened by the huge number of zombies in front of him. So he suggested to Jiang Lusher in the minibus. He knew the consequences of rushing into the zombie swarm which was no different than seeking death. Even with a tank, he didn't dare rush in. At this time, he heard the engine sound of the minibus next to him getting even louder. A V-shaped collision angle with flashing metallic light appeared on the front face of the minibus. The minibus sprinted again, and unexpectedly plunged into the dense group of zombies in front of it. Captain Lu, this, they are looking for death. The Berserker Alliance soldier beside Captain Lu couldn't help but say, before the Berserker Alliance warrior finished speaking, he suddenly saw the minibus rushing into the zombie group, looking like an ancient Tyrannosaurus. Under the violent bombardment, the zombies blocking the road were either crushed or knocked away. It was just crushed all the way. 
on the off-road vehicle. Captain Lou was stunned. This, such a powerful impact, such a fast speed, and the body of the car is so hard. There are no scars from the collision at all. Ran Yusha, are you desperate? Did you see that? The trash you control will hide when they see me. Chong Shankai killed dozens of warriors from the Berserk Alliance along the way, and no one dared to get close to his body. Some zombies without eyes rushed over and were frozen into ice sculptures by him. Ran Yun Sha, who was lying on the ground, had her legs frozen firmly to the ground, unable to move. She was completely desperate. Faced with Chong Shinkai's showy words, Ran Yun Sha said nothing. Speak to me. Speak. Speak. Seeing that Ran Yun Sha still didn't speak, Chong Shinkai became furious and strangled her neck with his right hand, trying to lift her up. At this moment, he suddenly heard the sound of screeching tires sharply rubbing against the ground. Chapter 415 Didn't you expect this kind of operation? Before Chong Shankai turned around, a layer of fine goosebumps appeared all over his body. This is the instinctive intuition of a strong man who has experienced countless life and death battles when danger comes. But Kai always wins without fear. He now has dual powers and is extremely confident in his own strength. Chong Shankai turned his head sharply and stared coldly at the minibus that was sprinting over. The magnetic power in his body was activated crazily, and even the air seemed to be distorted like water waves. Chong Shunkai raised his arm to the ground, and there was a rumble in the ruins of a car not far away. Under the interference of the magnetic force, the abandoned car shook off the dust covering them, soared into the air grasped by countless big hands, and violently impacted the minibuses. At this time, Ren Yun Sha also recognized the minibus that rushed towards her. It was the minibus belonging to her sister and her gang. Her heart suddenly trembled, and her heart clenched fiercely. Elder sister! Ran Yun Sha couldn't help but close her eyes, and couldn't bear to watch any more. The crispy minibus rushed over at such a high speed, and violently collided with these abandoned cars. Even the tanks would be scrapped. The people inside will definitely not survive. Some of the Berserker Alliance superpowers, who gathered around Chong Shinkai were also frightened and fled away, fearing that they would be affected. Such a violent impact. Even if some iron filings and skin are hit on the body, it will be unbearable. Boom, boom, boom. A deafening crash sounded, and the sky was filled with broken metal debris. Several car tires bumped into Ran Yunch's side and stopped with a bang. But the sound of the engine became louder and louder, and the screeching sound caused by the friction between the tires and the ground irritated the eardrums. Um, Ran Yunsha couldn't help but open her eyes wide, and immediately showed a look of surprise. She was shocked to see that the minibus was still sprinting, except for a slight crack in the windshield. There was no major damage. Like a wild beast, the V-shaped collision angle on the front face of the minibus arrived in front of Chong Shunkai in an instant with a majestic momentum that could tear everything apart. The whole process actually only takes a few breaths. Chong Shunkai's pupils widened and he couldn't believe what he saw. How come there is such a sturdy minibus? He quickly raised his right hand, and the countless iron blocks and metal debris around him instantly levitated, and a violent magnetic force crashed towards the minibus. After all, minibuses contain a lot of metal such as steel. He wants to turn the internal parts of the minibus into a pile of messy scrap metal. As soon as the magnetic force reached the body of the minibus, his heart sank. Why wasn't it magnetized immediately? A thought flashed through Chong Shinkai's mind. A trace of panic finally flashed in his eyes. He was confident just now. The body of the minibus has a lot of steel and metal, which can definitely be easily magnetized. I never expected that this was not a simple minibus. Its car body contains a large amount of rare metal alloys, which are not easily magnetized. There are many alloy components inside that are not magnetic. The minibus didn't pause at all and continued to rush over like crazy. Boom! Chong Shankai screamed, and his whole body was hit by a huge force. He flew dozens of meters, smashed the outer wall of the building heavily, and fell into the dark building. Jian Lusher glanced at the gap in the building, and then the minibus stopped next to Ran Yun Sha. Get in the car quickly! He quickly opened the car door and pulled Ran Yun Sha up. Thank you! Ran Yun Sha escaped from death and looked up at Jian Lusher. This person. His team and his car all gave Ran Yun Sha a huge shock. She originally thought she would die, but unexpectedly, the person who died was Chong Shankai. Jian Lusher naturally didn't think much about it. But he promised Ran Shiyu that he would save Ran Yusha. Now that he did it, he felt relieved. Now as long as you leave the restricted area, you are truly safe. However, at this moment, he suddenly heard a painful roar. 
The roar came from the building where Chong Shunkai was knocked into just now. Jian Lusher followed the sound and saw a man staggering out of the building with his head in his hands, as if he was drunk. Chong Shunkai looked in pain and was covered in blood. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to disappear. He was wailing and shouting in terror. Sometimes it was Chong Jishan's voice. And sometimes it was his own voice. Both of them were wailing, which sounded very poignant. You won't die in this way. Seeing this scene, Jian Lusher on the minibus was startled. He just activated the collision function. And the mutated wild cats were killed and shattered into pieces. Is Chong Shinkai's physical strength stronger than that of a mutated beast? Some of the superpowers from the anti-Japanese war alliance next to them were even more depressed. Is this lunatic Chong Shinkai not dead yet? What's his condition now? Who is he now? Jian Lusher suddenly felt something bad when he saw Chong Shinkai rolling on the ground. And looked at Ran Shiyu with a solemn expression. Chong Shinkai's mental will is unstable. The impact just now seems to have shattered his personality and will. Now he is not Chong Shinkai or Chong Jishan. He, he gave birth to a new mental will. This mental fluctuation. So strong. Ran Shiyu shook her head, suddenly feeling a strong sense of uneasiness in her heart. Through the spiritual vision shared by Ran Shiyu, Jian Lusher suddenly saw that the spiritual power representing Chong Shinkai was extremely strong. Jian Lusher saw at this time that Chong Shinkai who was lying on the ground, suddenly had black mist filling his mouth, nose, and ears. But when he looked carefully, the mist turned out to be countless dark spores. These spores quickly spread to weeds and sycamore trees in all directions and merged into the plants. On Chong Shinkai's body, the muscles bulged one after another, like steel, and the blood vessels bulged one by one, with dark blood flowing inside. Then, Chong Shinkai suddenly opened his eyes, and stared coldly at Jiang Lusher. His pupils were unspeakably strange at this time. Inside the dark pupils were smaller. More evil red pupils. Double pupils. Seeing this change, Jiang Lusher frowned slightly. Suddenly there was a loud bang on the roof of the car, and a huge tree trunk smashed down like a whip. The minibuses shook violently and made a rolling sound. Warning! The Aoi SH! Ala the minibus roof is damaged. The damage degree is 2%. Warning! The bulletproof wheels of the minibus are damaged. The holographic image of the minibus appeared in Jiang Liusher's mind. And he could see it clearly. The weeds on the ground seemed to come alive. Like extremely tough steel whips. Wrapping around all his car tires. Although the wheels crushed the vines driven by the huge kinetic energy. The tires were damaged in the crushing. Moreover. The surrounding sycamore trees came to life. And could actually swing their trunks to hit people. It is a completely indiscriminate attack. Bang bang bang. There were people from the Mad Fighting Alliance who couldn't dodge and were smashed into a pile of flesh and blood. But compared to humans, zombies with low intelligence naturally react more slowly. Although they have strong fighting instincts, they cannot anticipate plant attacks. Many zombies had their heads smashed open by the riot of the surrounding sycamore trees. Not only that, many unknown vines hung down and penetrated into the bodies of some Berserker Alliance soldiers, sucking blood desperately, triggering a series of screams. The originally chaotic situation suddenly became even more chaotic. Control plants? No. This ability is stronger than Yang Feng's. Jian Lusher suddenly understood that the black spores could actually control plants. No wonder they blended into the surrounding plants. And the plants went berserk. And after the black spores were integrated into the plants, the plants' bodies clearly became tougher. And to a certain extent, stronger. Is this Chang Shinkai's current ability? Ran Yunsha looked at Chang Shinkai outside the car in shock and at the rampaging phoenix trees and blood-sucking vines. She had a shocked look on her face and warned Team Stone Shadow. Let's go! Chong Shunkai should have merged my ability with that of the metal plant now. This ability is stronger than mine. It can control plants and mutate them. He has turned into a monster. Jian Lusher didn't speak. He stared at Chong Shunkai closely, secretly guessing that Chong Shunkai had evolved. Chong Shunkai was originally a very powerful person. But this time it was clear that his two personalities merged and evolved again. How powerful will this be? One of Chong Shinkai's abilities was originally related to metals. But now it's integrated with exotic plants. When Jian Lusher looked at Chong Shinkai, Chong Shinkai's enchanting eyes shone with an evil light as he stared at the minibus. TSK! TSK! There are a lot of beauties! What a pity! You people from Zhonghai have to stay here today! His voice was sharp as if it was ringing in Jian Liusher's ears, vibrating his eardrums. 
Can he see clearly what's inside the minibus? Jiang Liuxia's heart moved and his face darkened. Chong Shengkai has indeed evolved. And his eyesight is different from ordinary people. The energy of heterogeneous active metals has been detected and can be used for cultivating heterogeneous seeds. Xing Zhong's voice suddenly sounded in Jiang Liuxia's mind. Um? Jiang Liuxia saw that the source of this alien active metal energy was Chong Shengkai in front of him. Boom! The huge rhizomes of several French plane trees in the surrounding area were pulled out from the ground. They swung their trunks again and hit Jiang Liuxia's minibus hard. Jiang Liuxia's eyes instantly turned cold. Sprint! The minibus no longer backed up, but instead sprinted forward, dodging the slamming of the sycamore tree above like a fish, and crashed violently towards Chong Shengkai with a roar. Ran Yisha, who was in the minibus, felt her heart tremble and couldn't help but look at Jiang Liuxia. Why didn't Jian Lusha immediately give the order to escape, but instead launched an attack? It's okay. Ran Shiyu's hand was already holding Ran Yunsha's. There was no fear in her eyes, and she obviously had great trust in Jian Liuxia's decision. Ran Yusha noticed that not only her sister, but also other members of the Shuring team in the carriage were like this. Jian Liuxia stared closely at Chang Shengkai. Chang Shengkai wanted to kill him, but he also wanted Chang Shengkai's life. The members of the Mad Fighting Alliance were in a mess on Holly Street, all trying to avoid the blood-sucking vines and tall plane trees. But they were immediately attracted by the deafening sound of the engine, and saw the minibus rushing towards Chong Shankai. Many people were completely shaken by the wind. That's the evolved Chong Shankai. If the minibus doesn't run away, why does it fight? But they soon discovered that this minibus was really powerful. The heavy body of the minibus actually made dodge movements flexibly on the street to avoid being hit by thick tree trunks. Wherever the minibus passed, it left a series of potholes behind it. In this case, it actually hit Chong Shengkai all the way. Chong Shengkai's expression changed. Although his personality merged and formed a new will, the physical pain from being hit by the minibus not long ago still existed. With a thought in his mind, a large number of tree roots burst out of the ground and condensed into a wall of wet tree roots in front of him, blocking the entire street. Not only that, these tree roots are freezing rapidly condensing into steel-like frozen tree walls. Seeing this scene, many people from the Mad Fighting Alliance took a breath of cold air. The tree wall is already strong and tough enough. And after being frozen, it is no less than steel. But the minibus still rushed through such a wall of trees without hesitation. However, at the moment of collision, the minibus actually continued to stretch and become huge amidst the buzzing sound. It instantly transforms into a heavy-duty mining truck. Ran Yunsha was stunned in the carriage and her mind recalled the Marvel animation called Transformers that she had watched when she was a child. Ha ha! I didn't expect that! Jian Lusha looked at Chang Shinkai's face from behind the windshield, which instantly became extremely shocked. Boom! The violent body of the mining truck rushed in violently, and with a deafening sound, deep cracks were plowed out of the street walls on both sides. The frozen tree wall shattered instantly. Amidst the flying tree debris, Chong Shengkai was hit hard by a mining truck and flew into the sky. The moment they hit each other, the sound of bones cracking was particularly heartbreaking. Everyone felt a chill in their bodies, as if they had been hit, and their hearts palpitated. Chong Shengkai has been knocked down like rubbish. Although after evolution, his body defense is comparable to steel. The steel will be shattered by the impact of the mining truck. After Chong Shengkai fell to the ground, he was covered in blood and knocked unconscious. His arms and ribs were smashed but he was still not dead. There was a buzzing sound. The mining truck quickly transformed into a minibus, and a pair of huge mechanical arms tightly hugged Chong Shengkai. Immediately, like a toy, Chong Shengkai's body was thrown hard against the wall, the ground, a metal frame, or any other solid place. Every time it was thrown, the dull impact sound made those who heard it shudder. Then a black metal nozzle poked out from under the front face of the minibus, aiming at Chong Shengkai who was thrown into the sky. Suddenly a burst of hot flames spurted out. Chong Shengkai in the sky was instantly enveloped in flames. The vine instantly burned to ashes. And Chong Shengkai turned into a ball of flame and rolled down. Died? Seeing Chong Shengkai reduced to coke, Ran Yu Sha breathed a sigh of relief. Roar. Suddenly, a bloody man was violently thrown out of the building on the right. It hit the front of the minibus with a loud bang. Lone lion? Seeing the bloody man on the ground. Ren Yun Sha exclaimed, Let's go! At this time, Jiang Lusher had already seen the second level mutant zombie with cold eyes on the high building. He had achieved his goal, obtained all the mutated plants, 
and eliminated the big threat of Chong Shankai. There was no need to continue to entangle here. At this time, a notification sound came from the Star Sea. Absorbed alien active metal energy. The energy has been stored. Chapter 416 Something happened to Jiang Zhuing. After Chong Shankai died, the alien active metal energy he carried had been absorbed and stored by the minibus. At this moment, the second level mutated zombie had already rushed into the middle of a group of Berserker Alliance warriors. It was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, his steel-like body matching his speed as fast as the wind, killing them wantonly. The situation became one-sided. A large number of Berserker Alliance warriors were exhausted and were chased by a group of zombies. Some soldiers had fallen down and were surrounded by a group of zombies, gnawing at them crazily. Many people jumped on off-road vehicles and heavy trucks rushed past minibuses and minibuses, and rushed toward the gap in the high wall. Seeing this scene, Shi Ying's team and the minibus all knew one thing after this battle. The mad fight alliance is over. Ren Yusha moved her eyes away from the dead body of Du Shur on the ground and remained silent. Can you help stop the zombie wave? I'll give you all the golden flowers I got that can secrete active metals. Ren Yusha suddenly looked at Jian Lu Shur and bit her lower lip. Jian Liu Shur's eyes flashed, and he instantly understood what Ren Yusha meant. This woman had not given up her ambition yet. Her spore power has probably controlled many people in the Mad War Alliance. Now every death of a person is a waste of Ren Yunsha's efforts. I can help you, but you keep those golden flowers for yourself. You have already paid me, Jian Lusher said lightly. Ren Yunsha was slightly stunned. Of course, she knew that the reward Jian Lusher was referring to was the two secondary mutated crystal nuclei. But Ren Yusha was a little surprised that he agreed so readily. She just wanted to give it a try. After all, she was facing level 2 mutant zombies, and 7 or 8 level 1 mutant zombies. Even with such a powerful car, she didn't expect Jian Lusher to agree so quickly. Those are the gifts to thank you for sending my sister. I still have to give the flowers to you. Ren Yun Sha shook her head and insisted. Jian Lusher stopped talking. He only did it for Ran Shiyu's sake. Captain Lu, why don't these outsiders run away? An off-road vehicle drove past Jian Lusher and others' minibus. Everyone was trying to escape by car. But a minibus suddenly stopped in the middle of the road. These guys are crazy! Captain Liu, who had a broken arm, looked at the minibus and was speechless for a while. The scene where the minibus crashed into the zombie horde just now was probably something he would never forget for the rest of his life. But then, his body trembled and he looked at the front of the minibus. There was something like a gun barrel coming out of the front of the minibus. Boom! With a deafening sound. A white turbulence penetrated the air. The zombies surging in front were quickly swept away by the cannonball-like air turbulence. Even the second-level mutant zombie that swooped over was directly hit by the air cannon, and half of its body collapsed. Although the zombie horde was not completely defeated, it was really stopped. At this time, Zhang Hai's rough face came out of the car window. Grandma is so stupid! Give me a shot! Zhang Hai yelled arrogantly, holding an explosive bag that quickly burned the fuse. He tensed his fingers and threw it several hundred meters with a loud shout, hitting a group of zombies without hesitation. In the roaring smoke, large areas of ruins collapsed, and more than a dozen zombies were blown into pieces. Oh my god! What's going on with these people? Are they really driving minibuses? Seeing this scene, several people on the off-road vehicle were stunned and forgot to escape. This minibus was motionless, like a rock in the torrent, blocking the direction in which the zombies were coming. Jian Lusher also picked up the sniper rifle and climbed into the small war room. In Ren Yunch's shocked eyes, every bullet he fired accurately hit the heads of zombies, coupled with the explosive packets continuously thrown by Yang Tian Zhao and Zhang Hai. The firepower pouring out of the seemingly crispy minibus is heart-stopping. The second-level mutated zombie was hiding in a building, looking at the minibus, and was completely angry and crazy. But it had been seriously injured by the air cannon. Although it was not dead, it was greatly inconvenient to move. Jiang Liosher's sniper rifle completely suppressed it. After almost all the fighters from the Mad Fighting Alliance had exited, the minibus crashed out of the restricted area. Ren Yunsha in the carriage was in the most shocking mood. The powerful firepower of the minibus and Jiang Liosher's extraordinary sniping ability made her unable to calm down for a long time. Her face was slightly red. Before entering the restricted area, she mentioned to the Shuring team that she would provide shelter to this group of people. Unexpectedly, it turned out that her crazy fighting alliance would need to rely on this minibus to survive some people. Otherwise the whole army would be annihilated here. The minibus parked right at the door of the broken high wall. 
which seemed to have a special intimidating effect. The second level mutated zombies in the restricted area only roared a few times and did not chase them out. Brother Jiang, you better take these things. I don't know anything about cultivation. I just want some active metals. Ren Yusha handed the golden flowers in the cultivation trough to Jiang Lusher. On a total of four golden flowers, tiny particles of active metal liquid were rolling continuously. These flowers are extremely valuable in Panju City. There was a subtle change in her name for Jiang Lusher. Not long ago, she was very polite to Shuring team because of Ran Shiyu. But now, she is truly convinced. Jian Lusher groaned and nodded. Okay then, I'll accept it. After all, this exotic plant that can secrete active metals is indeed very useful to him, including the four golden flowers he has already obtained. He already has eight golden flowers that secrete active metals. In addition, he was very satisfied with the harvest of the mutant seeds in the mutant wild cat's stomach and the mutant thorns. Outside the minibus, there were many shock members of the Mad Fighting Alliance. They stared at the minibus in awe. Although they were curious, they did not dare to get close. It wasn't until Ren Yusha got out of the car that the people from the Mad Fighting Alliance gathered around. I don't know what she said, but the members of the Mad War Alliance, who were still panicked just now calmed down a lot, and looked at Ren Yusha with a bit of awe. Jiang Liosher's eyes flashed. He didn't know what Ren Yusha said, but this woman was really not simple. Ren Shiyu sighed slightly. She didn't know whether to be happy or worried about having such a sister. Brother Jiang, there is something wrong with Zhu Ying's body. Jiang Lusher had just put away his sniper rifle and was about to check the damage to the base vehicle when Li Yusin walked over from the other end of the carriage. What happened? Jiang Liosher's heart sank. Why did something happen at this point? Li Yusin has medical powers and she can handle common injuries and diseases. This was the first time Jiang Lusher heard such an uneasy tone from her which made Jiang Lusher extremely nervous. Jiang Lusher rushed to Jiang Zhuying's side in a few steps. Jiang Zhuying was lying on the soft bed. Her beautiful face was a bit pale, and her hands, legs, and even some muscles on her body were twitching slightly. Jiang Lusher grabbed Jiang Zhuying's hand with concern. His sister's hand was cold and wet. He couldn't help but remember that when he was a child, there was a heavy rainstorm outside and his sister had a high fever. He carried his sister on his back and ran to the hospital in the rainstorm with the help of a small raincoat. At that time, my sister's hands were as cold as they are now. Brother Jiang, Zhu Ying's body has undergone some changes just now. It's just that she was in critical condition at that time and her body didn't change much. I didn't have time to tell you. There was a trace of self-blame in Li Yuzin's tone. I have checked with my superpowers. The superpowers in Zhu Ying's body are extremely unstable. Some mutant cells are much stronger than before but other mutant cells are very weak. Moreover, there are polar opposites between the strength and weakness of these mutant cells. The differentiation is getting more and more serious, which has caused serious signs of discomfort in her body. And I estimate that she will not wake up in a short time, Li Yusin explained. Jian Lusher was silent for a while and did not blame Li Yusin. It was really dangerous when we were in the penalty area just now. What Li Yusin said at that time would only make things more troublesome. Is it just a mutation in the cells? Jian Lusher thought about Li Yusin's words. His mind was spinning. And he couldn't help but think of the scene where Chang Shinkai's power evolved. His younger sister, Jian Zhuying, has been mutating beast flesh with him these days. And her supernatural abilities have become much stronger. And she has reached the edge of evolution. After eating the evolution crystal not long ago, my body began to have problems and has been in a deep sleep state. However, after Li Yusin checked, she thought Jian Zhuying should be evolving. So she did not disturb Jiang Zhuying and just waited silently for her to wake up. But she didn't expect that while she was sleeping, she would have a new situation. Now Jiang Zhuying's body has another change in mutated cells. Jiang Lusher speculates that the mutated cells may have evolved. And now is the key point in the evolution of superpower cells. Brother Jiang, in this case, I think we should continue to add more energy. Li Yusin said, Jiang Zhuying is at a critical point in her evolution. No matter what changes occur to her, replenishing her energy is a must. Jian Lusher nodded. And something that could quickly replenish the energy of a superpower was undoubtedly the crystallization of evolution. Not long ago, Jian Lusher obtained three first-level mutant crystal nuclei from the old man Qin he killed. And the conditions for making evolutionary crystals were complete. Without further ado, Jian Lusher sat in the cab. He skillfully opened the metal groove next to the dashboard and stuffed three first-level mutant crystal nuclei inside. Open the energy laboratory. 
configure the first level evolutionary crystal. Hey, a first level mutant crystal nucleus has been detected. In the first level evolutionary crystal configuration, Starseed's voice echoed coldly in Jian Liuxia's mind. Not long after, three evolutionary crystals appeared in Jian Liuxia's palm. He carefully stuffed one of the evolutionary crystals into Jian Zhuing's mouth, under Ran Yuncha's arrangement. The minibus drove into a safe area of the Mad War Alliance. Throughout the whole day and night, Jian Liuxia carefully stayed by Jian Zhuing's side. To his relief, after Jian Zhuing ate an evolutionary crystal, Li Yusin's examination showed that those weak cells had become full of energy again. But Jiang Zhuing still didn't wake up. The crescent moon is like a hook. In the quiet courtyard where Ran Yunshao lived, a bonfire was lit. Ling and Zhang Hai were grilling the fragrant mutated beast meat. After simply eating some mutated beast meat, Jiang Lusha saw Li Yusin getting out of the minibus with a tired look on her face. Not long ago, Li Yusin specially gave Jiang Zhuing a full body examination. It is not convenient for Jian Lusher to stay in the car for this kind of inspection. How's it going? You Xian? Jian Lusher couldn't help but ask. I gave Zhuing a full body examination this time. There is nothing wrong with her organs, nervous system, etc. Li Yusin's voice was hoarse, and she looked a little guilty. She didn't sleep much that whole day and night. She used her medical powers several times, and was actually very tired. But as the only team doctor of the Shuring team, she was helpless to deal with the illnesses of her team members, which frustrated her. Now that her energy has been replenished, she really doesn't know what's wrong with Jiang Zhuing. It would be great if Chan Shanghai hadn't died. Jiang Lusher suddenly remembered and gritted his teeth. If this is the case, you must ask the second evolved superpower. As for the second evolved superpower, he has only met one Chan Shanghai so far, and he is still a dead man. If you are looking for a second evolved superpower, I suggest you go to Kixie Win Safety Island. Under the cover of vines, Ran Yunshao walked over calmly. Behind her were two district heads of the Mad War Alliance with respectful expressions. Presumably in just one day, she used some methods to completely surrender these district chiefs. Ran Yunshao was holding a radio in her hand. Amidst the murmur inside, Jian Lusher heard the very familiar sound of radio news. I have heard a lot of information on the radio. Although they communicate in some military code words, I have deciphered this information through repeated comparisons by some soldiers and myself. Xiaoyuan Safety Island is a large human safety zone. Several times larger than Zhonghai Safety Island. It's just that the distance is very long. There must be strong human superpowers there. And there is a large hospital there. And some of humanity's top medical experts and professors are there. It should be helpful to your sister's condition. Ran Yusha said. Chapter 417 A Ray of Light in the Darkness Xiaoyuan Safety Island? Jian Lusher was slightly startled. This was the first time he had heard of this safe island. Although he owns a base vehicle, when the apocalypse comes, he has no communication facilities and is basically blind to many movements from the outside world. He only knew of a few sporadic human safety islands. That's why in the last days, some elite teams will also do things to sell information. Information is an important resource in the last days. Is it Xiaoyuan Safety Island? I heard my grandpa say that he has several professor friends there. It is indeed a large human safety zone. When the end of the world began, government agencies and military agencies in several nearby cities all the forces gathered there. The former affiliated hospital of Xiaoyuan Medical University was very famous, ranking among the top 10 tertiary hospitals in the country. And Xiaoyuan Medical University also had the most authoritative human disease genetic research center in the country. If you go there, Juying's chances of being rescued should be very high. Li Yusin thought of something about Xiaoyuan's safety island and said slowly. Li Yusin's words completely dispelled some of Jiang Liuxia's doubts. Li Yusin's grandfather and mother were both scientists from the former Zhonghai safe island and had access to many high-level personnel and a large amount of secret information. Moreover, Xiaoyuan's safety island gathers the military and political forces of several cities, which means that there must be a large number of powerful superpowers in it, and the best among them have a high chance of becoming a second evolved superpower. But if you really want to go there, I would like to remind you. The environment of Xiaoyuan Safety Island is very complicated. I will write down some useful information I know in a notebook and give it to you later. Ran Yun Shao listened quietly. Li Yusin said in a deep voice while looking at Ran Shiyu. Ran Shiyu's expression darkened. And she understood that this was her sister's last affection for her. The two sisters have different ideas. And Ran Yun Shao is destined not to leave them. While Jiang Lusher and the others were talking. The black radio in Ran Yuncha's hand kept buzzing. The radio in her hand was a palm-sized, 
very ordinary FM radio. There was a lot of noise inside. Some of the news I heard was intermittent. And there were some signal issues. Gee. Suddenly there was a scream-like noise. Ran Yun Sha frowned slightly and fiddled with the radio a few times before the sound finally stabilized. A female voice with a clear and affectionate accent sounded. Now here is an important piece of news, dear listeners. It is now 10.30 on December 25th. The first heavy armored truck full of scientists from the occupied Zhonghai area has safely arrived at Xiaoyuan Safety Island. We pay tribute to the soldiers and civilians who fought on the Zhonghai Safety Island in the past. It was their persistence and efforts that allowed our scientist comrades to safely evacuate the Zhonghai Safety Island when it was attacked by a tide of beasts. Although Zhonghai Safety Island has fallen, we humans will not be conquered by mutant beasts and zombies. We must unite. The Safety Island in the Middle Sea fell? Scientists have moved Xiaoyu on Safety Island? When did it happen? Hearing this message, Jian Lusher had an incredible look on his face. He only now knows this information. And the amount of information was too large, which had a great impact on him. He couldn't help but flash in his mind the concrete city wall that snaked like a black dragon, as well as the cannon howitzers and super heavy machine guns mounted on the city wall. With such a city wall, such firepower, and so many soldiers, the Shonghai Safety Island, which was defended like an iron wall, was captured by a beast tide? Jiang Lusher suddenly felt horrified and couldn't imagine what kind of beast tide it was. When he first entered the Zhonghai Safety Island, even with a base vehicle, he was deeply wary of weapons such as cannons and howitzers. John Hai held a skewer of barbecued meat in his mouth and stood there as if petrified. Humanity's safe island is a collection of the last powerful force of mankind and is a symbol of absolute safety in the hearts of the majority of human survivors. Even a place like that was attacked and fell by the bee's tide. What safe place is there in this world? He couldn't help but look at the minibus. This thing parked quietly in the yard was probably the safest place in the world for him right now. Zhang Hai was also secretly glad that Brother Jian could take him in. When did Zhang Hai Safety Island fall? A voice came from behind Jian Lusher. Li Yusin's lips trembled slightly. Although she was calm on the surface, everyone could tell that she was holding on. After all, her whole family is in Zhang Hai. I don't know. I haven't heard of it beforehand. The information from the radio station is intermittent. And sometimes the signal is not good. Some broadcasts are sent out through secret FM. So you can't hear them immediately. Ran Yun Yasha also looked shocked and explained. Li Yusin nodded and did not continue to ask. But her face turned extremely pale. Yusin, don't worry too much. Didn't it say on the radio news? The scientists on Zhonghai Safety Island have all been transferred. Your parents and grandpa should be fine. Jian Lusher consoled him. Besides, we happen to be going to Xiaoyuan Safety Island. You can also see them. Yeah. The radio news said so. They should be fine. Li Yusin's voice was trembling. Although she said this, before she saw her grandfather and parents in person, the worry in her heart was like a haze that lingered. Don't worry. Jian Lusher patted Li Yusin's shoulder gently. We will rush to Xiaoyuan as soon as possible. Jian Lusher only comforted him. But Li Yusin felt the warmth of Jiang Liusher's palm on his bare shoulders. And his heart gradually calmed down. He looked at Jiang Liusher with soft eyes. This male classmate, who seemed a little immature in the past, is now a tall man with a determined look. The whole journey in the minibus always gave her a sense of security. Now Jiang Liusher's comfort also gave her a lot of confidence. He said he would rush there as soon as possible. So he would. Jiang Liusher's eyes were already staring at the thing in Ran Yunch's hand with great interest. Do you have any extra radios? Although he has the star seed, the outside world is still vast and dark to Jian Lusher at this moment. And there is very little information. In order to develop and evolve the base vehicle in the future, it is necessary to collect more materials and obtain massive resources. He's definitely going to a lot of places. It is undoubtedly very dangerous if you know nothing about external forces. However, ordinary radios cannot accept too much information. A lot of information is only those exchanged between safety islands and base cities. In fact, in addition to the radio, Jian Lusher also needed the decrypted information that Ren Yunsha had. Ren Yunsha smiled faintly. The Mad War Alliance currently only has one radio, but we have maintenance technicians. Some secondhand radios can be repaired and should be usable. You can take it. However, this thing needs to listen to the audio signal emitted by the radio station. It is estimated that only some radios have signals. The local signal source in the tower is better. Ran Yunsha reminded Jian Lusher without hesitation as she handed the radio to Jian Lusher. 
I will write some decrypted information in a notebook for you, as well as several secret FM channels, as well as some reception patterns and times. The two district chiefs behind him couldn't help but become a little anxious when they saw Ran Yuncha's actions and hesitated to speak. Before the end of the world, such radios were of course worthless, and a large number of people even threw them away. But after the end of the world, it will be very important to be able to receive broadcast information, especially those radios that can receive secret FM. Moreover, repairing and modifying this thing is a technical job, and it is not that easy. Ran Yunsha just modified this one to be able to receive those secret channels. Thanks! Although Ran Yunsha spoke calmly, Jiang Lusher knew the value of the radio in his hand. He was also a little moved. If you hadn't insisted on your idea, maybe we could have become very good partners. Jiang Lusher took a deep look at Ran Yunsha. He didn't hate the woman in front of him. But this woman's ambition and her ideas were too terrifying. She was a fanatical idealist. Why are you talking so much? I'll leave my sister to you. Ran Yusha gave Ran Shiyu a meaningful look. The ambiguous information revealed in her words made Ran Shiyu blush slightly. Then, it won't be too late. Can you write down the information about Xiaoyuan and the radio now? We will probably leave soon. Jian Lusher looked a little embarrassed and quickly changed the subject. Well, wait a minute. Ran Yunsha nodded. Immediately, a soldier brought a pen and paper. And Ran Yunsha carefully wrote down all the information she knew about Xiaoyuan Safety Island on the paper. And it wasn't just Xiaoyuan. All the information she knew about the urban forces that passed by Xiaoyuan was laid out in detail on paper. Naturally, she also wrote down all the news about the broadcast. After obtaining the information he wanted and replenishing the water supply, Jian Lusher asked Ran Shiyu and Ran Yunsha to say goodbye for a while before getting on the base vehicle. He couldn't waste any time now. The sooner we reach Xiaoyuan Safety Island, the greater the hope that my sister will wake up. Yang Tian Zhao stayed in the Mad War Alliance. Now that Jian Lusher was there, he could get some care from Ran Yusha. For this, Yang Tian Zhao was also very grateful to Jian Lusher. He was just leading the way, but he didn't expect such a big change. After waiting for a while, Ran Shi walked onto the base vehicle with red eyes. Outside the car window, only Ran Yusha stood quietly in the courtyard late at night, waving gently to the base car. For some reason, Ran Shiyu saw Jiang Liosher's eyes looking a little strange after getting in the car. She immediately turned red and looked away. Boom! The base vehicle roared and ran quickly into the night. Ran Yunsha looked at the direction in which the base vehicle was leaving. Her lips pursed slightly. And there was a trace of reluctance in her eyes. Um! Suddenly, she noticed that there seemed to be something extra in her pocket. When I took it out, I saw it was a ruby-like thing that shimmered with energy. Evolutionary crystal? Ran Yunsha was stunned when she saw this thing. Not long ago, she used the same method to secretly stuff mutant crystal nuclei into her sister's pocket. Suddenly, her expression became a little excited. Of course she understands the preciousness of this thing better than anyone else. Chong Shunkai tried to use violence but failed. Of course, she knew very well that such a precious thing must have been given to her by Jiang Liosher's sister. What a man with clear grudges. Ran Yuncha's eyes were slightly red. And soon a smile appeared on her lips. I feel relieved following a man like this. I hope to hear news from you on the radio in the future. In the dark night, everyone else has fallen asleep. Jian Lusher was also a little tired. The energy of the evolutionary crystal he had taken not long ago was almost exhausted in his body. He hadn't slept much these days. However, he still kept his spirits up and carefully looked at the information provided by Ran Yusha. Ran Yusha didn't know the specific path to Xiaoyuan City. But Jiang Liusher's tablet contained a map of the whole country. And he roughly knew the current location of Xiaoyuan City. It is about a thousand kilometers away from Xiaoyuan City in Panju City. Before the end of the world, if you took a train or something, it would take about 10 hours. But in the last days, this means at least half a month's journey. After memorizing all the information on the note, Jiang Liusher looked at the radio given by Ran Yusha. This is good stuff. Start independent transformation and transform the content car radio. Jian Lusher shouted to the star seed in his mind, and without hesitation placed a first-level mutant crystal core into the emerging metal groove. After waiting for an hour, sizzling, suddenly there was an electromagnetic interference sound in the car, and a palm-sized square box with red light appeared near the dashboard of the driver's station. It's the car radio. Opening the virtual panel on star seed, some evolutionary projects for the car radio appeared in Jian Lusher's mind. Vehicle radio, satellite signal receiver, Secret FM channel stored. Signal boosted. 
Jian Lusher was immediately happy. It's done. This thing is like a ray of light in the darkness. And as the base car evolves, this very primitive car radio can also get evolution projects, while still retaining the special features of this radio. In the future, he will get a lot of information about the outside world. This thing was of great significance and gave him a sense of security. In the last days, everyone is like an island surviving. Being able to obtain external information and even contact the outside world will give you a sense of social belonging. It's like going back to the past, when there were huge crowds of people and a large collective society. Boom! Suddenly, the base vehicle trembled, and Jian Lusher suddenly woke up from his joy. Immediately, he saw a huge pothole appearing on the dark national highway ahead. There was a rustling sound coming from the pit, like countless crawlers squirming. Where is this? Jian Lusher was shocked. It was Ng who had been driving just now. He looked around in the dark. Suddenly, I saw a huge billboard across the road above the provincial road. The people of Jining welcome you. Chapter 418 Special Mutated Beast Arrived in Jining? Jian Lusha remembered that Ren Yun Sha had a special explanation about this city. This is a dead city with no living people in it. It is a paradise for zombies. The Mad War Alliance once sent people here to search for supplies. But after the search team went in, no one came out alive. According to the mark on Ran Yunsha's paper, Jining City is an extremely dangerous area. This place belongs to the new district of Jining City. It was a very lively place in the past. But now it is extremely desolate. Looking into the city from the window, one can only see towering trees in the dark night, covering many tall buildings. The roads leading to the city are also covered with grass. On some big trees, green eyes appeared. Jian Lusha frowned. For such a city, he had no intention of stopping to search for resources. Just as he was about to continue driving, the sound of rustling in the big hole in the road ahead became louder. Clearly, there's something in there. Whoosh. Suddenly something rushed out of the big hole. This thing is not big. Like a red panda. Chubby and round. With a pair of long rabbit-like ears drooping. And it is sprinting out quickly. It is extremely fast and can sprint faster than a cheetah. There was sticky liquid all over its body and it was still chewing heavily in its mouth. While chewing, it looked back in panic. Mutated beast? Jian Lusher looked wary. After the end of the world began, under the attack of the mysterious virus, not only a large number of infected humans turned into zombies, a large number of beasts are also infected. The beasts Jian Lusher has seen have either become mutant beasts, or they have evolved into stronger mutant beasts after mutation. Of course, there are also those in the process of mutation. Those half-baked beasts are more ferocious than ordinary beasts. But compared to mutant beasts, the beast is much weaker. Some of the wild dogs he saw in Wishue County were mutating. Ling, who was behind Jian Lusher, had woken up and had a dagger in his hand. Suddenly, the soil under the belly of the sprinting beast flew up. Boom! A mollusk that was as thick as an oil barrel and seven or eight meters long broke through the soil and rushed out. It has countless fine fleshy tendrils all over its body. Like countless long legs. It moves very fast while squirming. And it looks like a giant earthworm. Seeing these things, Jian Lusher's skin suddenly went numb. He suddenly remembered that before Zhonghai Seiki Island fell, he had experienced a beast tide. At that time, General Zhang of Zhonghai Seiki Island also mentioned to him that a large number of giant earthworms suddenly emerged from the underground of the Seiki Island. Although I don't know if these giant earthworms were the culprits that ultimately caused the fall of Zhonghai Seiki Island, there is no doubt that they are terrifying. At that time, on Zhonghai Safety Island, even the army had to pay a heavy price to repel the first wave of beasts. Why do these monsters appear here? As soon as the giant earthworm appeared, it opened its big mouth and bit the little beast in the sky. The little beast was so frightened that its tail froze, not knowing where the power came from. The little beast stepped on a piece of gravel that was thrown into the air. It vibrated violently in the air, and its twisted body moved at an incredible angle. Set off a parabola. The moment it was about to be swallowed by the mollusk, it jumped three meters in the air and landed safely on the ground. Then the little beast saw Jiang Lusher's base vehicle and rushed towards the base vehicle. Before Jiang Lusher could react, the little beast jumped onto the glass of the front window of the car with a clicking sound, and then jumped onto the roof of the car. Through the hologram of the base vehicle, Jiang Lusher could see that after the little beast jumped up, its fair and fat belly was pressed against the roof of the vehicle, and it also burped. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. What a flexible mutant beast. It would be safe if it jumped up. But the base vehicle would be in trouble. 
The giant earthworms were seen rushing towards Jianliushu's base vehicle crazily. And there were more than one. From the large hole drilled, eight or nine giant earthworms rushed over. Without exception, they all opened their mouths at the base vehicle, revealing the densely packed sharp teeth inside. These giant earthworms can not only break through the soil, but their teeth can tear steel and concrete into pieces. Nima! Did you take the blame? Jian Lusher looked depressed. However, he was not completely panicked. The base vehicle reversed rapidly on the national highway. Amidst the violent tire friction sound, a huge metal hole stretched out from the bottom of the minibus. Boom! A scorching flame swept forward. The seven or eight giant earthworms that chased them instantly were completely surrounded by the scorching fire snakes. In the extremely high temperature, the concrete floor was cracking. Those giant earthworms screamed again and again, and their bodies jumped on the ground desperately, causing holes in the ground. Amazing brute strength. But in the end, they struggled a few times and then stopped moving. When the flames extinguished, there were only seven or eight giant earthworm corpses left on the ground in front of them. What shocked him was that these giant earthworms were not burned. They were still huge, but their skin was a dark golden color, shimmering with metallic luster, and they were motionless. Fortunately, the fuel-type flamethrower still works on them. Jian Lusher was secretly grateful. Such giant soft-bodied earthworms are strong, round bodies that can withstand pressure. Impacts will certainly not cause much damage to them. But fortunately, they are still afraid of high-temperature flames. Brother Jiang, this thing is dead, without any signs of life. At this time, Zero had gotten off the roof of the car, holding a chubby little beast in his hand. Looking carefully, Jiang Lusha realized that this thing looked like a kitten or a bear, but it had a pair of rabbit ears and was full of flesh and fur. It was not as ferocious as ordinary mutant beasts, but it felt quite cute. However, there are all kinds of mutant beasts, and their appearance is somewhat deceptive. There are also beasts that reveal terrifying fangs when they open their mouths. Its ears were drooped, and its four little hooves hung limply in the air. Motionless. Jiang Lusher frowned slightly. Weren't you still jumping around just now? Isn't it a mutated beast? Why don't you feel the fluctuations of mutated energy? He didn't sense any energy fluctuations in this little thing. If it were not a mutated beast and a mutated crystal core, he would have been a little distressed by the flame spray just now which would have consumed a lot of gasoline. As for the gasoline reserves, there are not many in the base vehicle. It's not a mutant beast. Zero shook her head firmly. As a superpower, she was even more sensitive to the fluctuations of mutant energy. It's bad luck. Throw it away. Jian Lusher said solemnly. Now! For the Shuring team! Except for mutated beast meat. Other meats are no longer in their sight. And eating them will not increase their energy. The little thing in front of him couldn't arouse Jiang Liusher's appetite. No, this thing, it, it's not dead. It still has mental fluctuations. Ren Shiyu said suddenly. In an instant, Jiang Liusher saw a very faint red spot through the mental vision shared by Ren Shiyu. Sure enough, he's not dead. Mental fluctuations cannot fool anyone. Immediately, the mental fluctuations quickly became stronger. Zero. It's pretending to be dead. Jiang Liusher suddenly warned. As soon as he finished speaking, the little beast that was motionless just now suddenly bounced heavily with its four hooves. The force of this bullet was so great that it instantly broke away from the unsuspecting Zero's control. Then, the little beast hit the window hard with great agility. There was only a muffled sound as the little beast stretched out and slid slowly against the glass window. Hit the reinforced bulletproof glass? Jian Lusher couldn't help but grab the tail with his little hands on the ground and hang him up. He was shocked. The intelligence of the little beast in front of me was far beyond imagination. And it actually pretended to be dead. In fact, in the animal kingdom, some animals will pretend to be dead. Such as foxes. But the little beast in front of him looked too much like he was pretending to be dead. Not only was he pretending to be dead, he was also able to suppress all body functions and stop breathing in heartbeat. This is incredible! Jian Lusher discovered that an egg as big as a beer bottle cap was exposed from the corner of the little beast's mouth. This egg clearly has weak mutated energy fluctuations. It's the eggs of those giant earthworms. Jian Lusha remembered the scene when the little beast crawled out of the dark ground just now. It must have been these eggs that it had been chewing in its mouth at that time. No wonder giant earthworms are so furious. I'm afraid that there is a huge giant earthworm nest in the dark cave. This guy is really brave. In order to eat the eggs of giant earthworms, crawl into the nests of giant earthworms and eat their eggs. Jian Lusha stared at the little beast in front of him. 
feeling very complicated and ridiculous. The little bee stopped pretending to be dead at this moment. Probably because he knew that Jian Lusher and the others had discovered through his pretending to be dead. He stared at Jian Lusher with flashing eyes. And his long ears stood up. Looking a little panicked. Brother Jian, this thing is very special. It should still be a mutant beast. But the mutant energy is not obvious. Instead, its mental intensity is very high. Somewhat similar to a person with superpowers. Ran Shi walked over and stared at the thing in Jian Liosher's hand. His eyes were a little curious. This was the first time she had seen this kind of mutated beast. And it seemed that the mutated beast had no offensive power. Only agility and high IQ. Brother Jiang, those giant earthworms are not dead. They are moving. The people in Shuring's team had all woken up at this time. Through the car window, Zhang Hai suddenly saw not far ahead. Those giant earthworms that had just been burned into dark gold. Starting to squirm again. The dark golden material on their body sh. LS is fading away. As if they are shedding their skin. But the movement is very slow. Get out of here quickly. Jian Lusher said solemnly. This giant earthworm is indeed very powerful. And it doesn't even die. And there is a nest underground. This place is definitely not suitable for staying. Who knows how many giant earthworms there are under there. Now that eggs have been laid. I am afraid that densely packed giant earthworms will appear in the near future. Leave it to you. Jian Lusher threw the little beast in his hand to Ling. Originally. The little beast wanted to struggle, but he saw the dagger in Ling's hand and the murderous look in his eyes. This little thing seemed to have noticed something. It shrank its tail and lowered its head. Boom! The base vehicle sprinted, and the entire vehicle body shook. It sprinted forward like an arrow from a string, rushed directly over the cave, and disappeared into the darkness. Chapter 419 The Common Weakness of Girls The base vehicle passed through Yongxin, Ganhua, and other suburban counties and completely left Jining City. I encountered several gas stations on the road. But the gas machines were empty, and someone had already boarded them first. In some supermarkets. Except for some beer and drinks. Other supplies were also bare. And nothing good was collected at all. Jian Lusher couldn't help but feel a little frustrated. As time went by, it became increasingly difficult to collect decent things in the last days. Fortunately, he had accumulated enough things when he was at Zhonghai Safety Island and Wushui County. Brother Jiang, I estimate that this little thing's IQ is at least the level of a four or five year old child. When the base vehicle stopped by a river to rest, Ran Shiyu held the two long ears of the little beast and brought it to Jiang Lusher. This guy is very cunning, just like a child. I named him Luo Luo. How about it? Luo Luo can also understand some of the meaning of what I said to Ling. Ran Shiyu usually has a cold personality, but now she looks very excited, with a bit of energy that a girl should have. It seems that cute creatures are very lethal to any girl at any time. And even Ranshiyu is no exception. Luo Luo? The name is quite delicate. But this is obviously a mutant beast. As long as you're happy. Jian Lusher smiled lightly. When being carried by Ranshiyu. Luo Luo looked very obedient. With her four hooves hanging down and her big round eyes staring at Jian Lusher. A look of resignation. Jian Lusher would not be deceived by its harmless appearance. It made a lot of noise yesterday but no matter how hard it tried, it couldn't break through the bulletproof glass. In the end, I could only give up out of breath. Suddenly, Luo Luo stretched out her pink tongue and licked the corner of her mouth, staring closely at the thing at Jiang Liosher's feet. At Jiang Liosher's feet was a glass tank with a thick layer of black sand inside. There were many rare metal scraps, some copper and iron scraps, and some mutated beast meat in the sand. There are eight golden flowers that slowly secrete active metals, and five mutant plant seeds buried deep in the sand. Combining some of the information about golden flowers provided by Ran Yun Sha and the growth environment of these mutant plants. Jian Lusher already knew what was needed to cultivate these mutant plants. They need to absorb mutation abilities and also need to absorb many metals to survive. It can be said that the growth environment is very demanding. The heterogeneous active energy absorbed before is the nourishment for these mutated plants. Zero. Keep an eye on this little thing. Don't let it eat these mutated plants, Jian Lusher said coldly. If it were an ordinary beast, Jian Lusher would have thrown it away long ago. But the mutant beast would naturally become a meal. But someone who can only pretend to be dead and dare to sneak into the nest of a giant earthworm to steal the eggs is not ordinary. Moreover, Ling, Ran Shiyu, and Li Yusin had been teasing the little beast yesterday and obviously liked it very much. Seeing the smiles on their faces, Jian Lusher gave up the idea of roasting it and eating it. If they like it, 
then keep it for now. Ranshiyu's spirit is locked at all times. If it makes any move, it will be killed immediately. And this mutated beast is also very good at watching. After yesterday, it seemed to have learned that it couldn't afford to offend these people and couldn't run away. So it became extremely honest. Brother Jiang, the meat is roasted. Let's drink some beer by the way. Sun Kun greeted Jian Lusher happily from the car. Jian Lusher smiled and nodded. Although he didn't like drinking much before. In the apocalypse, it feels good to drink occasionally. With the addition of grilled mutated beast meat, you can enjoy a short and pleasant time. As soon as Jian Lusher opened the carriage, an exclamation came from behind. With a whoosh, a small thing flew out in his field of vision and pounced on the mutated beast meat that was roasting on the bonfire. Sun Kumlong had a beer in his hand and was about to take a nice sip. Caught off guard, he watched dumbfounded as a small beast devoured the mutant beast's meat, chewing even the iron skewers together. This, this is my meat. Leave some for me. I will fight with you. Sun Kun jumped in anger, and Zhang Hai's face turned green. The two of them worked hard for a long time on the barbecue. But the little beast Luo Luo swallowed it all into his belly. The two people looked at each other, and they rushed towards Luo Luo. Unfortunately, this little beast was extremely alert. Before they could pounce, it slithered up to the roof of the minibus. Baby, I don't believe I can't cure you. Sun Kun opened his flippers and jumped into the car. As soon as he got up, the little beast had already jumped five or six meters high and actually jumped onto a nearby tree, gritting proudly at John High. Damn, that's a naked provocation. John High and Sun Kun jumped again, chasing after each other. Jian Lusher was speechless as he watched Sun Kun and John High chasing the little beast. Exhausted, suddenly, he caught a glimpse of Zero standing in front of the base vehicle, with a rare smile on his face. Jian Lusher was startled for a moment, but Ling rarely smiled. As expected, women have little resistance to cute things like Luo Luo. I can't eat this meal for the time being. Jian Lusher returned to the car, looked at the sleeping Jian Juing quietly, and carefully covered her with the blanket. Immediately he got into the cab. And after some manipulation, he placed two brilliant secondary mutant crystal nuclei into the metal grooves. Starseed, open the exotic plant cultivation research laboratory. To open the xenogenic plant cultivation research laboratory, you need two secondary mutant crystal nuclei, which require metals such as titanium and manganese, and four kinds of xenogenic plants. The required materials are scanned, and the opening conditions are consistent. Xingjing's cold voice said, echoed in Jiang Liuxia's mind. The conditions for opening the Xenogenic Plant Cultivation Research Laboratory are sufficient. Countdown to opening. Six days later. Luija City. A heavy snow came suddenly. Gray snow. The entire desolate and lonely city seemed to be shrouded in eternal dusk. The cold current from Siberia roared in. And from time to time, big trees fell with difficulty in the strong wind. God. This thief doesn't want anyone to survive. John High held the gun in his arms and leaned against the car window staring at the sky outside and muttering. Although it is freezing cold outside, it is relatively warm inside the minibus. After all, minibuses are well sealed, and the alloy SH, L and reinforced bulletproof glass are very good at isolating the cold outside. Although there is a temperature adjustment system in the car, Jian Lusher did not turn it on for the sake of saving diesel. Moreover, the Shuring team eats mutated beast meat every day, and their physical fitness is far stronger than that of ordinary superpowers. We'll reach Xiaoyuan City in two days' drive. Jian Lusher stared at the windy and snowy road ahead. And finally a smile appeared on his lips. To the east of Luajia Mountain is Xiaoyuan City. These days, apart from resting and eating, the base vehicle is sprinting forward 24 hours a day. I encountered several waves of zombies in succession. And all of them passed without any danger. The trip that originally took more than half a month was shortened by half due to the astonishing speed of the base vehicle. Brother Jian? There is a situation ahead. Zhang Hai suddenly reminded Jian Lai Shadeo. Jian Lusher followed the direction pointed by Zhang Hai and suddenly saw seven or eight extremely crude cars coming from another road at the intersection ahead. These cars are said to be crude because many of the car body iron sheets are pieced together. The doors are rattling. And wooden boards and plastic benches are nailed on. It looks extremely shabby. Only the three off-road vehicles in front look more like cars. Although it has not been modified. At least the body of the car has not been damaged much. Through some wooden boards, Jian Lusher saw that the car was full of people. Some people looked sallow and thin, with sunken eyes, 
They were all ordinary survivors. There were complicated expressions on their faces, including fear and expectation. A bunch of cars were heading towards Xiaoyuan City. Chapter 420 Leading Tolls Boss, another car is following us. Right behind us. It's a crispy minibus. It's in tatters. It may have escaped from Qishan City. In the traffic flow, there were several people sitting in the off-road vehicle leading the way. One of them, a young man with dense tattoos on his body, carefully observed the minibus that entered the traffic and said to the middle-aged man in the driver's seat. In his sight, the minibus was covered in plaster, dirty, and had no traces of modification. In addition to being relatively well-preserved, it was completely the favorite model of ordinary survivors. The interior space of the compartment was large, and it could it can store things, but it is also fragile and cannot hold zombies and mutated beasts at all. The car body looked dusty, and it looked like it had fled. The mud on the outside was crusted, and the license plate number was from out of town. But how could this car come from more than a thousand kilometers away? So the young man immediately thought that the car was coming from a nearby city. I saw. The middle-aged man in the cab wore sunglasses and a short sleeve jacket, revealing his strong muscles. In the sub-zero ice cold, it was as if I had no feeling. There was no expression on his face. And he just said calmly to the tattooed young man, Xiao Qi, go collect the toll and explain to them the situation ahead. After a pause, the middle-aged man added, Keep a low profile and don't scare them. Most of the people who drive this kind of car are ordinary people, with at most one or two superpowers in the car. There are many such escape teams, and the superpowers are also divided into strong and weak ones. The superpowers in this team are all weak. Compared with ordinary people, they are okay. But compared with a real survivor team, get up. That's a long way to go. Ling Feng's team is an elite team of survivors who travel in the wild. They usually make a living by completing some tasks issued by the Xiaoyuan Safety Island and hunting mutant beasts. Brother Ling Feng, you are kind-hearted. If I were such a cold genius, I wouldn't bother to care about the life and death of those people. Xiao Qi muttered, flattering her in a very explicit way. Ling Feng's eyes could not be clearly seen under his sunglasses, but the corners of his mouth were clearly curved. It was obvious that Xiao Qi's words were of great benefit to him. Jian Lusher drove the car into the back of the broken traffic. But he was a little speechless. The car in front couldn't move, and the national highway was crisscrossed with ravines and severely damaged for some reason. There was only a single lane for entry and exit. Looking around, there was heavy snow all around, and there was no other way. So we could only stop temporarily behind here. At this time, Jian Lusher saw a young man covered in tattoos jumping out of an off road vehicle that stopped in front of him. Even on a snowy day, this young man was still wearing a t shirt and his muscles were strong all over. On him, Starseed sensed the aura of supernatural energy. The young man quickly approached the minibus. As he approached, he patted the window of Jian Lusher's cab. Jian Lusher glanced at him and looked at Ran Shiyu, who was not far away. Ran Shiyu shook her head at him, indicating that there was no danger. Jian Lusher slowly rolled down the cab window with an indifferent expression. What's going on? Jian Lusher asked, sitting in the cab, looking down at the young man. Jian Lusher looked to be about 20 years old. Apart from his very calm eyes and mysterious temperament, he did not have any strong supernatural energy fluctuations on his body. Seeing Jian Lusher, the tattooed young man knew that his judgment was correct and he was just an ordinary person. But at this moment, out of the corner of his eye, he suddenly caught a glimpse of some luxurious interiors on the front of the car. His eyes narrowed, and he immediately saw an extremely beautiful iceberg beauty sitting in the passenger seat, wearing a black leather jacket and leather pants. It was obvious that this beauty still had tender skin and tender flesh, and did not look like she had suffered at all. He suddenly felt uncomfortable in his heart. For an ordinary person, the interior of the car was so luxurious, and he was accompanied by a beautiful woman. Is this an escape or an enjoyment? It was simply better than him. What displeased him the most was that when a mere ordinary person was talking to him, he was sitting in the cab and condescending without even moving his buttocks. As a person with superpowers, this is the first time Xiao Qi has encountered him. Moreover, in Jiang Liuxer's eyes, Xiao Qi saw some vigilance but no all. Although Xiao Qi sensed the aura of the superpowers in this man's car, it was impossible for a team of one or two superpowers to compare with an elite team of survivors like them. On the contrary, Xiao Qi was even more displeased when the superpower didn't come to talk to him and allowed this ordinary person to talk to him. What's the matter? It's a matter of life and death for you. Xiao Qi raised his eyebrows and his face turned cold. 
You want to go to Xiaoyuan Safety Island? Right. There has been a beast tide recently. And this road has basically been destroyed. If you want to go there, you can only rely on us to help lead you there through a shortcut. We are the survivors from Xiaoyuan Safety Island. The guide team can ensure your safety. Of course. You can also choose not to follow us. Anyway, the toll is not worth much to us. It's just that our boss is kind-hearted and asked me to come here to inform you. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. There is a lot of information in the words of this tattooed young man. Is there actually a beast tide happening at Xiaoyuan Safety Island? The roads were destroyed, and the situation sounded a bit grim. Jian Lusher has just arrived. If he goes to explore the road by himself, he may be in a lot of trouble. How much is the toll for leading the way? Jian Lusher asked calmly. Ten bottles of canned meat, or ten liters of gasoline. Xiao Chi said coldly. He said this on purpose. In the end of the world, both canned meat and gasoline are extremely precious. One can of meat can make an average survivor fight for it, let alone ten cans. There were several shabby cars nearby, and the toll Xiao Chi asked for was just a token amount of dry food. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. There was not much gasoline, so he wanted to save it for the flamethrower and canned meat. How could Team Shuri eat such nutritious food? In the vehicle ahead, some ordinary survivors with sallow faces and thin muscles cast sympathetic glances at Jian Lusher. Who has any canned meat these days? This is obviously a deliberate attempt by the tattooed young man to make things difficult. How about this? Jian Lusher suddenly stretched out a skewer of slightly burnt meat. These are the mutated beast meat skewers that John High grilled today. The heat was not controlled well in some places. He was originally going to feed it to Luluo. Lu, but he didn't expect that the sneaky guy actually disliked it. He was originally going to throw it away. But now it's just right. Jian Lusher, so he gave it to the young man. But no matter what, mutated beast meat is always more valuable than canned meat. The dark meat skewers still smelled of cumin when they were stretched out from the car window. Are you kidding me? When she saw this dark thing, Xiao Qi's face turned ugly. But then, he discovered a bunch of mutated animal meat. But in the wild, who would put cumin in meat? That's why Xiao Qi didn't recognize it immediately. Isn't that enough? Jian Lusher frowned slightly when he saw the dazed gaze of the tattooed young man below. If this bit of mutated beast meat is not enough, then it would be a bit too greedy. Okay, that's it. Xiao Qi had come to his senses, glanced at Jian Lusher impatiently, and grabbed the meat skewers in his hand. Although the meat looked very poor, Xiao Qi was just trying to embarrass him casually. The other party took out the mutated beast meat, and Ling Feng had told him not to go overboard. So Xiao Qi let it go, and he estimated that this little mutated beast meat was already a lot for the people in the car. When Xiao Qi returned to the off-road vehicle at the front with the meat skewers, Ling Feng noticed something was wrong with his expression. Why? Don't they want to pay the toll? Travel expenses are actually nothing to Ling Feng's elite survivor team. But this is their rule. Otherwise, other elite survivor teams attached to Xiaoyu on Safety Island will be dissatisfied with him. After all, everyone does this. If ordinary survivors don't want to pay the toll, Ling Feng will not help them lead the way. Here, Xiao Qi stretched out the meat skewer in his hand towards Ling Feng. Ling Feng was slightly surprised when he saw the meat skewers, and then smiled lightly. I told you to stop messing around. And you even got some mutated beast meat. It's not easy for a team like this to get some meat. Ling Feng shook his head. Jian Lusher drove the minibus slowly and followed the team on the shortcut to Xiaoyuan Safety Island. The so-called shortcut is also a dirt road covered by heavy snow in the mountains and forests. If you are not a local, you really can't find this kind of road. Along the way, Jian Lusher observed large trees that had fallen in the snowstorm on both sides. Without exception, the big trees were violently uprooted and their bark was severely damaged. It seems that there are mutant beasts like violent apes pulling these big trees out of the soil. There are deep caves and pits in some places, as well as traces of various fierce battles. Apparently, the area near this shortcut was also affected by the tide of beasts. After walking for about a day, at noon, the convoy finally came out of the dense mountain forest. Seeing the scene in the distance clearly, Jian Lusher was shocked. He saw a very large city standing in the snowstorm. The walls of this city cannot be seen in the wind and snow and they are completely built against the mountains. The gray concrete city wall seems to have the cold texture of metal, extending into the distant snowstorm. In front of the city wall, a large number of barbed wire fences and iron fences were arranged. Behind these iron fences, there is a tall sentry tower not far away. The sentry tower has six floors, and the top floors have a heavy machine gun aimed at the bottom. 
The guards are extremely tight. These were nothing. What surprised Jiang Lusher the most was that he could clearly see several huge concrete pillars spitting out hot and billowing plumes of smoke above the mountain city. It was like a city in the apocalyptic twilight, with lights flickering on some tall buildings. These smoke pillars and lights gave Jiang Lusher a strange expression. Even on Zhonghai's safety island, he did not see such a situation. The hot smoke column and the light indicate two things. Industrial systems and power systems. There is electricity in Xiaoyuan's safety island. And the lights can appear during the day, indicating that the power system inside is intact. Being able to see the emergence of human civilization system again made Jiang Liosher's heart surge with excitement. This Xiaoyuan safety island is indeed several times larger than Zhonghai safety island. There are more modern human civilizations preserved inside. And they are more complete. Get out of my way! A sudden loud shout brought Jiang Lusher, who was feeling a little emotional, back to his senses. I saw a larger motorcade coming from the southeast of their motorcade. There are more than 30 vehicles in this convoy. And the leading vehicle is a modified heavy-duty truck. This heavy-duty truck was traveling at lightning speed, without any regard for the convoy of Jiang Lusher and others ahead. The road was slippery due to wind and snow. So the heavy truck didn't even try to brake and directly hit a refugee survivor's car that was blocking the way. There was a loud bang and several cars crashed into each other screaming. The heavy truck plowed a lane and rushed to the quarantine gate at the outermost edge of Xiaoyuan Safety Island. Chapter 421 Entering the City The modified heavy-duty truck rolled down its windows as it passed Ling Feng and others off-road vehicle. A big man with a cigarette in his mouth and a mohawk on his head gave Ling Feng and others a contemptuous middle finger and walked away immediately. Damn it! It's those bastards from Huang Haihu! In the off-road vehicle, Xiao Qi gritted his teeth in anger as he stared at the receding body of the heavy truck ahead. Brother Feng, these bastards have been quite arrogant recently. There was a glimmer of light under Ling Feng's eyelids. And he said calmly, They have recently taken refuge in black water. So of course they will be arrogant. Don't worry. Sooner or later you will have a chance to deal with him. Black water? Xiao Qi seemed to have thought of something. Her face changed slightly. Her nose snorted. And she said nothing more. Xiao Qi, go and see those people behind. Anyway, we brought them here. We will lead some brothers over and help if there is anything we can do. Ling Feng was silent for a while and explained. Yes, boss. After being knocked out of a lane, crude cars followed closely behind the modified heavy-duty trucks. In these cars were also a group of refugees with sallow faces and thin muscles. It's just that these refugees have a very different spirit from the refugees in Ling Feng's convoy. The refugees on Ling Feng's motorcade were just malnourished, sallow and thin but at least they had sparkle in their eyes. As for the refugees on the heavy truck convoy, many of them had various scars on their bodies, and there was some deep fear in the eyes of men, women, and children. Most of them had frostbite on their bodies and were huddled in the carriage shivering. Sitting at the back of the car were several tough, muscular men wearing thick animal skins and holding sharp machetes. As the motorcade passed by, there were painful muffled sounds coming from some cars. There are 10 quarantine gates at the outermost edge of the Xiaoyuan safety zone, all of which are made of fine steel. Soldiers with guns and ammunition are guarding the quarantine gate. Cars were parked one after another, waiting to pass quarantine. Ling Feng and the others were originally going to stop at the 10th quarantine gate, but now they were usurped by the convoy led by Huang Haihu. They suddenly became the tail end of the crane, suppressing his inner displeasure. Xiao Qi jumped out of the car with five or six strong men and rushed to the back of the motorcade. The convoy was now in a state of chaos, and all kinds of painful groans could be heard. Of course, the most serious thing was the car that was directly hit and rolled over. Blood flowed out of the car and quickly solidified into blood-colored ice cubes in the cold air. Other refugee survivors crawled out and rescued themselves. Each other silently cleaned and bandaged each other's wounds. They obviously didn't have any good treatment tools on hand, so they could only use the cloth strips on their bodies to bandage and do some simple treatments. Many skinny refugees were so cold that their teeth were trembling. Shiochi and the strong man behind him worked together to straighten the overturned car. Panting. Let me ask. Are you familiar with the people at the ninth quarantine gate? We want to get in early. Is there any way? At this time, the minibus following the queue came over and stopped at Shiochi's beside. Jiang Lusher stuck his head out of the car window and asked Shiochi. He was thinking about his sleeping baby sister. So it would be good if he could get in a second earlier. Don't you see everyone is queuing up? What can I do? Xiaoqi glanced at Jiang Lusher impatiently. 
and through Jian Lusher. He saw the ice cold beauty next to him. Even though it was just a side profile, it still amazed him. In front of Ling Feng's team, there were a total of 37 or 8 vehicles. Why didn't that convoy line up just now? Aren't they afraid that the quarantine officials would cause trouble for them? Jian Lusher pointed at the convoy that had just rushed ahead. The arrogant modified heavy duty truck just now was ranked second in the queue. And it was their turn to quarantine. What kind of world is this? The quarantine officer is too lazy to meddle in other people's business. If you have the strength, you can go to the front and jump in line. After hearing Jiang Liosher's words, Xiao Qi mocked and turned around and left without raising his head. In his mind, he had already concluded that Jiang Liosher had an innocent character and that Xiao, who didn't understand anything, had not fully understood the cruelty of the end of the world. It's the end of the world. How can we talk about fairness? Behind him, there was just an oh. Then, Xiao Qi suddenly heard the violent roar of the engine. Whoosh! A strong wind swept across. Xiao Qi saw a minibus rushing past him with a bang. The minibus headed straight for the modified heavy truck at the 10th quarantine gate. At the entrance of the quarantine station, as the car in front entered the quarantine gate, Wang Haihu's car finally took its turn. A one-eyed quarantine officer stood at the front of the quarantine gate with cold eyes and a chilling atmosphere about him. Even the arrogant Huang Haihu calmed down his arrogance when he saw the one-eyed quarantine officer and cautiously jumped down with a group of people. Sir Qin, I just got these outside. Come and pack cigarettes. Wang Haihu threw a handful of cigarettes to the one-eyed quarantine officer. In the apocalypse, cigarettes are hard to come by, very expensive, and usually only available to the elite upper class. The one-eyed Qin quarantine officer did not refuse, put away the cigarette and looked at Huang Haihu with a slightly softer look. Huang Haihu, don't be so arrogant just because you have defected to Heishui. If you always jump in line, it will have a bad impact. You know? Qin quarantine officers scolded meticulously. Sir Qin is right, Huang Haihu said with a smile. But our team is strong. If we save more time, we can make more contributions to the safety island. Don't you think so? Chief Qin? At this time, he suddenly saw Chief Qin looking behind him with surprise flashing in his eyes. Wang Haihu suddenly heard the sound of a car rushing quickly, and he turned around. I saw a minibus rushing towards me as fast as thunder. Boom! The heavy-duty truck he had just gotten off was knocked away by a minibus. It slid more than 10 meters in the frozen snow, lost its center of gravity, and rolled over with a roar. With a crashing sound, many supplies from the back of the carriage rolled down. There were also several bloody mutated beast corpses among them. Some big men screamed and crawled out from behind the carriage. I'll do it! Wang Haihu's eyes widened. He stubbed out the cigarette butts in his hand and rushed towards the cab of the minibus with great force. He wants to tear apart a bunch of blind guys in the car. As soon as I rushed to the minibus, the window of the minibus cab suddenly fell down. A black gun came out like lightning and was pointed straight in front of his head. In the sub-zero freezing temperature, the metal gun barrel was pressed against his forehead making Huang Haihu's heart feel chilly. Sniper rifle? He immediately recognized the large caliber gun muzzle, mechanical sight, and folding bracket in front of him. It was the AMR-2, which was famous in the sniper rifle world before the end of the world. He is considered a lover of guns and knows something about them. One shot of this gun was enough to turn his head into pieces. The car door opened, and Jiang Lusher easily jumped out of the car with the AMR-2 in one hand. Every time he took a step forward, Wang Haihu took a step back. I am Huang Haihu of Blackwater. How dare you point a sniper rifle at me like this? Have you considered the consequences? Wang Haihu said angrily, but he did not dare to make any move. After all, many strong men had jumped out of the cars over there, and he couldn't give in in front of these men. But his roar sounds so weak, no matter what. If the person in front of him pulls the trigger even slightly, he will belch. At this time, an off-road vehicle caught up. Ling Feng jumped out of the car and said to Huang Hu in a deep voice, Huang Hu, this little brother is from outside, but he has never heard of the name Blackwater. It's useless for you to move out. Then he said to Jian Lu Shi, Little brother, don't be too impulsive. The boss of your team has not spoken, but don't drag them down. Spare the life of Huang Hai Hu. I can guarantee you that he will not dare to trouble you. When Ling Feng spoke, he looked at the minibus intentionally or unintentionally. He believed his words, and the superpower inside heard them. Behind Ling Feng, Xiao Qi and several big men were already catching up. They all had guns in their hands, and they were faintly confronting Huang Haihu and his group. 
Wang Haihu looked at Ling Feng, then at Jian Lusher, and felt a little more relaxed. It turned out to be the stupid Qin from out of town. Ling Feng, I'll hack your mother. Are you pretending to be a good person here? You just want to curry favor with the foreigners because of their good guns and the existence of superpowers. But if you do this, you will offend me to death. I'll deal with you sooner or later, Wang Haihu said sharply to Ling Feng. Ling Feng's eyes flashed, and he did not deny it. He had just suddenly thought of making friends with this foreign team. Judging from the sniper rifle in Jiang Liuxia's hand, this foreign team must have rich resources. Such a team is definitely not weak, which is different from his previous judgment. For this reason, Ling Feng did not hesitate to offend Huang Haihu, who had just taken refuge in Blackwater. Anyway, they had deep conflicts with Huang Haihu. At this time, there was a loud gunshot. Wang Haihu suddenly screamed, and a dozen big holes were opened in the instep of his left foot, which was bloody and bloody. I don't know when. This young man had a 54 pistol in his left hand. Just now, it was the pistol shot that blew off his left foot. I don't have time to care about your business. I'm in a hurry, Jian Lusher said calmly, and the sniper rifle was placed on Huang Haihu's head again. 54 pistols swayed casually towards the murderous strongmen around them. Those who were swept by his pistol were all frightened. Although Jian Lusher did not look at them. They felt like they would be shot immediately if they moved rashly. Jian Liuxia's voice was still calm. But anyone could detect the killing intent in it. Wang Haihu looked at Jian Liuxia's calm eyes. And suddenly his anus tightened. This look. Him. He had only seen it in the eyes of some big guys in the military area. They looked very peaceful. But they were like looking at ants. A look that threatens life and death. This outsider didn't even take him seriously. Where does he get this kind of confidence and confidence? At this time, several people jumped out of the car. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan, Ing and Ling, who were holding 95-style micro punches, also got off the car. Ren Shiyu's spiritual field also spread, and they all faintly suppressed the spirit of, okay. As soon as the group got out of the car, some of the superpowers present were shocked. They all felt strong power fluctuations. Even the shadow without supernatural power fluctuations. The cold temperament, the cold eyes, and the extremely perfect lines on the body still give people a strong feeling. After eating mutated beast meat every day and eating high-purity evolutionary crystals, the physical abilities of Sun Kun and others have been greatly improved compared to before. So many people with powers? The power fluctuations are still very violent. Xiao Qi was stunned when he saw this scene. There are only three superpowers in their team. Now there are several superpowers coming out all at once. And the superpower fluctuations are so strong. They are obviously much stronger than them. And the feeling of mental suppression is even more uncomfortable. This is clearly an elite team of survivors. Brother Jiang. Team leader. Ling and others rushed to Jian Lusher. Holding weapons in their hands and staring at Huang Haihu and others vigilantly. What? This ordinary driver is the boss? Ling Feng and Xiao Qi looked at each other. Almost grinning from ear to ear in surprise. It is still rare for an ordinary person to be the boss of an elite survivor team. But it shows that this person is definitely not simple. Ling Feng's face was a little hot. He had just thought that the young man with the sniper rifle was just a younger brother. So he specifically spoke to the minibus. Quarantine officer. We are applying for quarantine now. Jian Lusher moved the sniper rifle from Huang Haihu's forehead and looked directly at the one-eyed Qin quarantine officer. Regarding the scene that happened in front of him. Qin quarantine officer's eyes flickered. He didn't know what he was thinking. But he had no intention of stopping it. Okay. We will quarantine you. However, if foreigners want to enter Xiaoyuan Safety Island, they need to have an identity guarantee and pay some resources. If no one provides you with an identity guarantee, the resources you need to pay will be higher. Here are the payment resources the form. The Xiaoyuan Safety Island is heavily defended, has a large population, and various resources are in short supply. You need to wear special medals to live in different places. Resources are exchanged for corresponding medals. Qin quarantine officer said as he pushed a price list to Jiang Liuxia's side. Ah. Um. I can be their identity guarantee. Ling Feng came back to his senses and quickly said to quarantine officer Qin. We are Ling Feng's team. Quarantine officer Qin nodded expressionlessly. He knew Ling Feng's group of people. Since they want a guarantee. The identity guarantee is fine. Thank you. Jian Lusher turned around, looked at Ling Feng and smiled slightly. His impression of Ling Feng was actually quite good. Although the other party took a bunch of roasted meat from him, he did his best to lead the way. He also dealt with any zombies 
and fought with all his strength without causing any casualties to the ordinary survivors behind him. You're welcome. Everyone. You can make friends. We'll go back first. Ling Feng nodded to Jian Lusher and turned around to return to the back of the motorcade. After Ling Feng and the others left, Jian Lusher glanced at the price list. There are five kinds of metals on the price list. And the prices from high to low are A, B, C, D, and E. Among them, A level metals, one metal requires 500 kilograms of mutated animal meat, are located near the city hall. The core area. The B level metal requires 100 kilograms of mutated animal meat. It is the place where elite superpowers and some powerful people in the city live. The E level metal only requires a few bottles of canned meat or some dry food. But the area where you live is also the worst slum area. And it is the farthest from important institutions such as City Hall. I want the B level metal, Zhang Hai. Go and bring out 800 kilograms of mutated beast meat. Jian Lusher said calmly. The B-level area is not far from hospitals and other places. And the surrounding exchanges are very close. He needs a place like this. 800 pounds of mutated animal meat? Ling Feng, who had just walked a few steps, heard the words behind him. And the muscles on his face twitched. This is already the meat of a semi-mutated beast. And this foreign team just took it out casually. An ordinary team of elite superpowers only purchase C-level metals. Live in some commercial buildings and spend no more than 30 kilograms of mutated beast meat in order to live a better life. He took out 800 kilograms of mutated animal meat, which was simply a luxury. After receiving the B-level medal and passing the quarantine, Jian Lusher drove through the quarantine gate in the envious eyes of a group of people, leaving Huang Haihu standing aside in pain and anger holding his bloody foot. Some sounds came from the minibus that had just entered the quarantine gate. Brother Jiang, why didn't you shoot that guy in the head with a sniper rifle? I don't want to waste sniper bullets. There aren't many of them left. The muscles on Huang Haihu's face trembled for a while. Damn it. Why didn't he get a headshot just now? Was it because the young man wanted to save bullets? There was an unknown fire in his heart. These outsiders were so arrogant. Although Huang Haihu did not take human life seriously. When the same thing happened to him, he found it difficult to accept it. Chapter 422 Xiaoyuan Safe Zone Brother Jiang the Qing quarantine officer just now is a person with spiritual powers. He wanted to pry into our thoughts. But his mental power is not as strong as mine. And his prying was blocked by me. After the car passed the gate of the quarantine station, Ran Shi reminded Jian Lusher softly in his heart. Jian Lusher frowned slightly, turned around, and saw the one-eyed Qing quarantine officer standing deserted at the gate of the quarantine station, looking at their minibus. The remaining one I was shining with strange light in the wind and snow. Are you a person with mental abilities? Any gatekeeper is a person with mental abilities. The Xiaoyuan safe zone is a bit interesting. Jian Lusher thought to himself. After all, some of the people with mental powers he had encountered in the past were giants. And some were also very important people. Even if his mental power was not strong, he would not become a quarantine officer watching the gates. It can be seen that there must be many people with powerful abilities in Xiaoyuan Safety Island. After the minibus entered, Xi'an Quarantine Officer did not immediately check other vehicles, but took out a notepad from his arms. Shuring Team! Unknown Origin! Garager Lingfeng Team! The Shuring Team has six superpowers. The leader is an ordinary person who uses a sniper rifle. His reaction speed is judged to be a sniper veteran. His specific strength is questionable. The remaining team members' abilities fluctuate strongly and are stronger than those with ordinary abilities. There is a woman in the team who is a spiritual power user, and her spiritual power is very powerful. The overall strength of the team is temporarily evaluated as C, and can be included in the observation. Assessor Qin Hong. After writing on the note, the one-eyed quarantine officer handed the thing to a soldier on duty next to him. Send it to the security bureau. Yes, sir. The soldier on duty said a military salute and quickly ran away with the note. Xiaoyuan Safe Zone is a large area with many superpowers and powerful forces. Therefore, the military in the Xiaoyuan Safety Zone has been very strict with security and intelligence work. Any team that enters the safe zone will arrange personnel to conduct necessary marking and platooning based on some strength evaluations to prevent any trouble. After the car drove into the Xiaoyuan Safety Zone, Jian Lusher couldn't help but sigh. It is indeed a large area much larger than Zhonghai Safety Island. This is the largest human city he has seen since the end of the world. On the mountain that is more than 300 meters high, there are densely packed new buildings, neatly planned, 
Several thick concrete cement pipes stood tall, spewing thick smoke. There was a faint rumbling sound on the mountain, and I didn't know what was shaking. A row of buildings halfway up the mountain had many lights flashing in the snowstorm. If it weren't for the simple shelters halfway up the mountain and some survivors who were leaning out of the windows and looking out, Jian Lusher would have thought he was back in a familiar bustling metropolis. But even in such a new area, the surrounding plants are still lush and green. An ordinary tree requires several people to hug it. In the end of the world, probably only plants are the most prosperous species Jian Lusher has ever seen. And the other ones are countless zombies gathered together, sitting on the minibus. Looking outside, you can see clearly differentiated situations. The mountainside is orderly and full of the prosperity of modern society. But halfway down the mountainside, it was in tatters, without any lights, and it was dead silent. When the car drove from the foot of the mountain to the road above, there were rows of dark and dirty shantytowns on both sides of the road. When the safety zone was built, it was impossible to accommodate so many people. So the existence of shantytowns was inevitable. The sanitary environment in shantytowns is obviously a problem. Filthy sewage flowed everywhere and was frozen in the wind and snow. If the reinforced tires of the minibuses didn't have sufficient grip, they would probably slip in the greasy sewage. Some of the cars passing by had anti-skid chains tied around their tires. Several children came out of the house, looking at the minibus with longing eyes, and holding out their hands one by one. Although the Xiaoyuan Safety Zone distributes food every day, it is fixed and rationed after all, and many people still do not have enough to eat. Sometimes some passing survivor teams would throw some leftover bones and dregs to them. Go get a bag of biscuits, Jian Lusher said. No one in their car ate biscuits. But after being thrown out of the window, the children were extremely surprised. Biscuit! It's dry food! Thanks! Thanks! The children followed behind and kept bowing in thanks. When Jian Lusher saw these children, he thought of the naughty children from before for no reason. However, in the apocalypse, children, as an extremely weak group, are not qualified to be bears at all. Because it was a B-level metal, the Shuring team quickly had a vehicle arrive to guide them to the B-level area on the mountain. From a distance, Jian Lusher saw a tall white building with the words Xiaoyuan Medical University Affiliated Hospital vaguely written on it. Jian Liusher's eyes lit up, and his calm heart couldn't help but stir. He couldn't help but look back at Jian Juying, who was sleeping, with a hint of gentleness in his eyes. The car turned several smooth cement mountain streets, and finally stopped in front of a three-story small foreign-style building. There is a green lawn in front of the small western-style building. Although it is covered with ice and snow, it is obviously cleaned every day. And despite the unusual environment of the apocalypse, this lawn still looks like it has an unmistakable greenness. It's a beautiful place to live! Ren Shiyu showed a faint smile. Although living in a minibus is extremely comfortable, she doesn't have many requirements for the living environment. But it is still very happy to be able to live in such a clean, and comfortable small foreign-style house in the apocalypse. You guys live here first. Here is the key. Everything is there. Except there is no exercise area. The superpowers here go to the nearby Blackwater Club to exercise. A young military man, with a very energetic appearance, handed Jian Lusher a bunch of keys and reminded him. Blackwater Club? Jian Lusher raised his eyebrows when he heard the word Blackwater. I don't know if it's the Blackwater in the mouth of the Yellow Sea Tiger. He offended Huang Haihu enough to death. Okay, go ahead and get going. Jian Lusher took the key and said, By the way, you have a B-level medal. It is best to stay in the B-level area. If you break into the A-level area rashly, you will be fined if you are found. Some restricted areas are absolutely not allowed to enter. You can go to other areas as you like. And it is best not to run around after 12 o'clock in the evening. Unless you have received a pioneering order and have special tasks on you. Otherwise, Xiaoyuan Safety Island is closed at night, and there will be patrol teams patrolling at night until 5 o'clock in the morning. If caught, it will be very troublesome without a reasonable explanation, the army boy added. Okay, thank you, Jian Lusher said politely. There are quite a few rules at Xiaoyuan Safety Island. By the way, did a foreign convoy come to Xiaoyuan not long ago? Are there any scientists in it named Su? Just as the young soldier from the army was about to leave, Jian Lusher stopped him and asked. Li Yusin, who was standing aside, had a trace of nervousness and expectation in her eyes. Why are you asking this? We have regulations that even if we know about scientists and some high-level government officials, we cannot disclose them to the outside world. The young man in the army warned. Li Yusin wanted to say something, 
But Jiang Lusher grabbed her hand and stopped her. Can! Okay, you exion. Don't embarrass him, Jiang Lusher said. It's useless to embarrass a soldier. And he knows very little. Li Yusin bit her lip and nodded slightly. When the army boy left, Jiang Lusher realized that he was still holding Li Yusin's hand. Feeling the whiteness and smoothness of his little hands, Jiang Lusher couldn't help but feel a tremor in his heart. When he came to his senses, he immediately let go in embarrassment. Upon noticing Jiang Liusher's movements, Li Yusin's face suddenly turned red. She was anxious just now, and her fingers instinctively grasped Jiang Liusher. I just don't know if Jiang Liusher has discovered it. Well, you Xian, don't worry. Your parents and grandfather are both scientists. They must have followed the convoy in. They must be protected now. Scientists are the most precious wealth of mankind at the moment. Xia Yuan Security Zone blocks relevant information. It's a normal situation. But believe me, I will definitely be able to find out information about them. As soon as the army boy left, Jiang Lusher said to Li Yusin immediately. He knew that Li Yusin must miss her mother and grandfather very much. I know. You don't have to worry so much about me. The most important thing now is Sister Zhuying. Li Yusin calmed down and said, But the hospital is in Area A, so there's no fine for entering. Jiang Lusher frowned. Without understanding the Xiaoyuan safe zone, he couldn't easily let Jiang Zhuying be involved in danger. At this time, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan both entered this small foreign building. Boss, what the H? L is the pioneering order they were talking about just now. With that thing, you can run around at night? Let's get one sometime. John Hai muttered. Their minibus had already entered the small courtyard. Except for Ying. Everyone in Shuring's team entered the small foreign building. The entire small foreign style building is equipped with refrigerators and air conditioners. When you walk in, you feel a spring like warmth. Jian Lusher was even more certain that the power system here was very complete and should not have been greatly destroyed in the apocalypse. Captain, there's someone sneaking around over there. And it seems like they're still staring at our house. Sun Kuan suddenly ran over from another room and said to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher frowned and followed Sun Kuan to the room where Sun Kuan was just now. Under Sun Kuan's guidance, they looked through the window and saw that at the junction of Area C and Area B, there was indeed a person sneaking around. However, Jian Liusher's eyesight was better than that of Sun Kuan. He could see that the man was holding a telescope. And that man was clearly the tattooed young man from Ling Feng's team. Xiao Qi. Sun Kuan. Come out with me. Others stay here and don't run around. Jian Lusher thought for a while and said to Sun Kuan. Okay. Sun Kuan nodded quickly. Usually when Jian Lusher acted alone, he always called Zhang Hai more often. But this time he finally called him. Sun Kuan also had a restless temper. And he suddenly felt energetic. They had just moved in and someone was causing trouble. The rifles and pistols were carefully placed on his body. And Jian Lusher put on a thick black windbreaker. I found this windbreaker when I passed by a clothing store not long ago. It seems to be a famous brand. But it's the end of the world. Who cares what brand it is? Although it wasn't cold. Jian Lusher still put it on because it could hide the gun on his body. Just as he put on his windbreaker. Jian Lusher was suddenly startled and found a small. Fleshy thing lying in the big pocket of the windbreaker. It's Luo Luo. Luo Luo was sleeping soundly. And there was a slight hum coming from her nose. She was sleeping soundly. After thinking about it, Jian Lusher didn't throw it out. Anyway, it doesn't matter if this little thing is brought along. And whether it's pretending or not, it seems to be very obedient for the time being. Xiao Qi was hiding behind a stone wall and looking towards Area B with some anxiety. It was freezing cold. And even though he was a superpower, he still couldn't stand being in the ice and snow for so long. But what the boss told him must wait until the group of foreign superpowers came out. The matter was so important that he had to listen. And since he didn't have the metal in Area B, he couldn't enter the guard booth at all. So he could only wait here. What's that kid's background? He shot Huang Haihu's foot off with one shot. He's so brave. And the girl next to him is so real. Xiao Qi thought in her heart. And couldn't help but feel envious of Jiang Lu Shi. This thought made his body feel colder. Suddenly, something cold appeared above his head. The feel of the thing and the familiar metallic smell it's a gun. A gust of cold air shot straight from his tailbone to the sky. Don't move, or Sun Kun will shoot you to death. Jian Lusher walked out from the stone wall calmly and said to Xiao Qi in a deep voice. Chapter 423 Underground Trading Market Xiao Qi's face turned pale. Her neck was stiff and she didn't dare to move. She just tried to open her eyelids upward. He suddenly saw a big man 
with his feet firmly attached to the stone wall, almost hanging at 90 degrees, holding a rifle and pointing it at his Tianling guy. Xiao Qi immediately raised his hand with a wry smile on his face. Don't play with me like this, brother. I, I used to be blind and didn't know how powerful you are. Our boss wants to get closer to your team and asked me to come over and explain something that is very troublesome to you. What's the matter? Jian Lusher said calmly. Huang Hai's feet were blown open by you. And the people in the Blackwater organization are very angry now. They have already placed a reward in the fifth passage to buy the lives of your team. Xiao Qi said solemnly. However, he didn't see a trace of panic in Jian Lusher's eyes. What is the fifth passage? Jian Lusher asked. Jian Lusher was not worried at all about being retaliated by the Blackwater organization. The soldiers came to cover up the water and the earth. And it was also expected. He was just a little curious about the fifth channel. The fifth passage is in the underground drainage system of Xiaoyuan safety zone. It is connected in all directions and is very large. But now it has become a paradise for underground trading. Many survivor teams are trading in it. All kinds of things are not allowed by the government. Everything you want to trade can be bought and sold inside. Having said this, Xiao Qi glanced at Jian Lusher again. You... Are you really not worried about the revenge of Blackwater people at all? Jian Lusher glanced at Xiao Qi strangely. It seems that you are afraid of that Blackwater organization? Xiao Qi's face suddenly became a little unnatural. And even though he personally admitted that he was afraid of the Blackwater organization, he was still a bit thin-skinned. Yeah, I'm not that afraid. There is also a force behind our boss. Although not as good as Blackwater, they don't dare to bully me. When Xiao Qi spoke, she tried to act natural. But Jian Lusher had already seen some clues from his shrinking eyes. That Blackwater organization seems to have some influence in the Xiaoyuan safe zone. Right. Jian Lusher asked casually. He remembered that the young soldier who led them to the residence in Area B mentioned that the largest training gym nearby seemed to be called Blackwater Club. The Blackwater organization is probably one of the most powerful organizations in the fifth channel. It is composed of more than 20 elite survivor teams. It is still somewhat famous anyway. Xiao Qi tried his best to act like he didn't care. But he the more this happened, the more Jian Lusher looked at him with playful eyes. What a stinky fish. Are there so many superpowers? The Blackwater organization has never met our Shuring team. How dare you offer a reward for our lives? Sun Kuan said with a smile, holding a gun next to him. Damn, these outsiders are really big-hearted. Xiao Qi looked at Sun Kuan's expression and couldn't help but not being afraid at all. Instead, she was eager to try. He was speechless for a while. He had never been in contact with the Blackwater organization. These outsiders were not afraid of him. So it was useless for him to say anything. Brother Jiang, you came to Xiaoyuan Safety Island because you want to seek shelter here. Right. After all, there are not many safe places around. The situation in Xiaoyuan Safety Zone is very complicated. If you don't mind it, our organization will be happy to I will accept you. Xiao Qi said. Sun Kun called Jiang Lusher Brother Jiang and he followed suit. Xiao Qi spoke very sincerely, staring at Jian Lusher with burning eyes, without the slightest arrogance, when he first met Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher smiled faintly. Of course he knew Xiao Qi's thoughts, and probably many survivors had similar thoughts. After all, in the apocalypse, manpower is limited, and even superpowers usually have to rely on larger forces. Otherwise they will die if they encounter large groups of zombies and mutant beasts. No one would believe a team of superpowers like Jian Lusher, who relied on base vehicles to travel from safe island to city. Your organization was founded by Ling Fo? Jian Lusher asked. No. Our organization is called Doom Walker. Our Ling Fo team is just one of the teams belonging to the Doom Walker. The Doom Walker is my boss's boss. Xiao Qi said. What are the benefits of joining you? Jian Lusher said lightly. The boss of our Doomsday Walkers is very knowledgeable at Xiaoyuan Safety Island. Our organization can get many things that ordinary elite survivor teams cannot get. Even if you offend Blackwater, you only need to join the Doomsday Walkers. And our Doomsday Walkers within the sphere of influence, you are safe. When it came to the Doom Walker, Xiao Qi finally felt a little confident. Obviously the Doom Walkers are very important to him. And he is proud to join this organization. Okay, I'll go take a look, Jian Lusher said. As for the threat from the Blackwater organization, Jian Lusher didn't take it to heart. His only curiosity about the Doom Walker was that Xiao Qi said that the leader of this organization had great hands and eyes. Jian Lusher just wanted to find out some information. Brother Jian, did you agree? Okay, I'll take you there right away. 
Our boss happens to be here too. He can help you put in a few more good words, and the matter will be settled. Xiao Qi said excitedly. I just went to take a look. Jian Lusher said. Xiao Qi smiled. It's okay to look. It's okay to look. Anyway, his mission is to bring people there. And whether they will join or not is none of his business. Following Xiao Qi, Jian Lusher and the others quickly walked into the Shani area. Walking further ahead in the shack area, when approaching the high earth gray concrete wall, several deep wheel marks appeared on the lush vegetation. At the front of the wheel mark, there are many vehicles parked, and there is a huge underground passage entrance. Xiao Qi walked into the underground passage, and the dark and damp smell hit her face. This was once the underground drainage channel of the ruins of Xiaoyuan City. It was a large-scale project that was planned for a century. In the past, the government had hoped that it would become a key part of the complex drainage of the entire city. Unfortunately, not long after its establishment, the end came. It has become a place where many survivors live. Many survivor teams came back from plundering and hunting outside. If they were not trading at the exchange in the Xiaoyuan safe zone, they would come here to do some shady barter transactions. Finally, they had a name. And they were called the Third Five Avenues. There are some hidden rules of self-restraint here that will not affect the lives of ordinary people on the ground. So the government turns a blind eye to this. Xiao Qi led Jian Lusher and others into a narrow fork in the road, which was somewhat eerie and dark. After walking continuously for more than 10 minutes, Jian Lusher and Xiao Qi finally came to a relatively large fork in the road. It suddenly opened up in front of me, and some lights appeared. Noisy human voices also followed. Shops and stalls appeared on both sides. There are bloody mutated animal meats, mini guns, walkie-talkies, various military equipment, and other rare items on the stalls. As for the shop, there are simple sheds and so on. Seeing these stalls, Jian Lusher secretly compared them with the black markets he had encountered before. It was obvious that there were a lot more mutated beast meat and guns in the underground trade in the fifth channel. This is no ordinary underground market, with a large volume of goods handled every day. Many women dressed coquettishly walked through it, following each of the shirtless burly men. The crowds of people inside were almost shoulder to shoulder, and there were a large number of people with supernatural powers. When Jian Lusher and the others appeared, Many people looked at these unfamiliar faces and glanced over with vigilance, but immediately ignored them. People just kept saying age, low to Shiachi, very enthusiastically. Brother Jiang, do you see? These superpowers have never greeted me before. They are afraid of the doomsday walker behind me and the boss. Shiachi took the trouble to remind Jian Lusher. Sun Kun rolled his eyes beside him. He was really tired of hearing this. Along the way, Shiachi kept talking about what a powerful organization the doom walkers are. Why should you be afraid of the Blackwater organization if they are so powerful? Finally, Shaochi stopped in front of an iron door carved into the stone wall of the sewer channel. After a few knocks, the peephole in front of the iron door opened. The person inside looked outside for a while, and then opened the door. After entering the door, the space inside is very narrow, and there is an incandescent lamp inside. Jiang Lusher was a little surprised that there was a wall-mounted TV above the wall in a small room. It's just that there is no program on the TV but a small piece of surveillance footage from the Xiaoyuan safe zone is shown. Apparently someone had installed a wired camera outside. Although the picture is blurry, some things can still be seen. In the room, seven or eight big men were sitting lazily. Ling Feng is one of them. When he saw Jian Lusher and Sun Kuan, Ling Feng's eyes lit up. You are finally here? Okay. Okay. Sit down for a while. Xiao Qi. Hurry up and pour hot water. Ling Feng said quickly. Some other big men looked at Jian Lusher and others with critical eyes. Ha ha. Ling Feng. This is the person you have recently recruited? Even ordinary people want it. You are really hungry. I heard that you have offended Huang Haihu. And the people in Blackwater are also trying to trouble you. But you can't just accept everyone. Yes. One of the big men smiled at Ling Feng. With undisguised mockery in his eyes. As soon as he finished speaking. A figure suddenly flashed in front of him. As soon as he reacted. Someone stabbed something black in his mouth. It is a 54 pistol. After John Lusher ate the evolutionary crystal, his physical fitness was stronger than before. At least his reflexes and agility, which were already fast, have now improved again. Most superpowers are not as fast as him. From the moment he stepped forward to the moment he thrust the 54 millimeters pistol into the mouth of this brazen man, John Lusher's movements were all done in one go. The cold sweat on the big man's face started to flow down. 
Jian Lusher poked his 54 pistol downwards. And he squatted on the ground obediently. Everyone could feel the cold murderous intent on Jian Lusher's body. Sheng Bupo. How are you? This ordinary person is faster and reacts faster than you. He almost shot you in the head. Right. TSK. TSK. Ling Feng's eyes lit up when he saw Jian Lusher. And he sneered at the big man. Of course. Sheng Bupo. You are mistaken. Although Boss Jiang is young, he is not my subordinate. He is the captain of an elite team of supernatural survivors. And the team level is officially sea level. Your team is also sea level. Dash dot. Ling Feng teased and threw out a piece of paper in his hand. Suddenly some information about Jian Lusher and others was written on the paper. Jian Lusher glanced at it and saw it clearly. The information was very vague. But there was obviously a red, C, symbol behind, Shuring team. Followed by a row of words the information came from the government's Foreign Survival Statistics Group. Information leaked from the government? Jian Lusher was slightly stunned. He had already remembered the strange look in quarantine officer Qin's eyes when he entered the quarantine station. I'm afraid he was the one who recorded the information about the Stone Shadow Team. And the psychic also made an assessment of their Stone Shadow Team strength. Why didn't you see your boss? Jian Lusher asked intently, casually taking the pistol out of Xing Gupo's mouth. Ling Feng suddenly felt embarrassed on his face. At this time, Xing Bupo had stood up from the ground. He rubbed his cheeks, not daring to look down on Jian Lusher anymore, but still muttered, Sea level? The government is just making a casual assessment. The specific strength will only be known in the long term. Besides, our boss is currently negotiating in the inner room. It is a powerful elite survivor team from outside, with a rating of B level. As a sea level team, you'd better wait. Jian Lusher looked at Ling Feng and frowned slightly. He didn't have the patience to wait here. It happened suddenly. Originally, our boss had already negotiated for this team to join us. Unexpectedly, Blackwater and the others came just now. They wanted to compete with us for this B-level team. They should join us soon. Come out. Just wait. And I have also told our boss about your situation. Now that we are fighting with Blackwater, our boss is still very interested in you. Ling Feng's word showed his feelings for Jian Lusher. Sorry. Please be careful. Jian Lusher smiled faintly. This is obviously the territory of the Doom Walker. And people from Blackwater dare to break in here to rob people. The comparison of strength between the Doom Walker and the Blackwater organization. Which one is weaker is clear at a glance. If he hadn't just needed to inquire about information from the boss of the Doom Walker, he would have turned around and left. Ouch. Suddenly. A dull roar passed through the cracked rocks and rumbled from above. The sound vibrated into Jian Liusher's ears, making him buzz, and even his bones felt the fluctuation. Warning, there is an unknown powerful energy body approaching. Starseed's warning suddenly sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. Jian Liusher's body reacted instantly, and his muscles tensed up. Such distant sounds can make the eardrum vibrate when transmitted to the underground passage. You can imagine how terrifying this sound wave is. At this time, on the wall-mounted surveillance camera, a huge shadow suddenly appeared in the sky above the southeastern side of Xiaoyuan safe zone. The two wings of the shadow spread out. It was quite overwhelming. And it was dozens of meters long. Its beak is like a sharp boom. And its two claws are like long blades. When he fanned the cattail leaf, waves of terror and madness that were visible to the naked eye swept out. And he rushed towards Xiaoyuan safety island with great force. Jian Liosher's hair stood on end. This was a dinosaur-like magic bird. A sharp siren suddenly sounded in the city. Jian Lusher had an intuition that the mutant bird in the sky was no less powerful than the mutant pufferfish he had encountered in the flood in Wushue County. Even stronger. From the TV surveillance? The strange bird seems to be very familiar with Xiaoyuan Safety Island. And it pounces towards the most densely populated shanty town as soon as it arrives. Whoosh. Suddenly there were several loud bangs. On the city wall. The muzzle of the cannon erupted with a terrifying roar a sound like thunder, and at the same time, the anti-aircraft machine gun also began to roar, although the strange bird dodged quickly enough. Its body was too large, and it was still hit by the intensive firepower. It screamed, its feathers fluttered, and blood flowed from the wounds along the way, and flew away into the distance. Jian Lusher was watching with horror. Fortunately, this was a large safe zone. If the forces established by some survivors, such as Panju City, did not have enough firepower. Just such a bird could destroy half of the city. I'll choke it. Fortunately, only one came this time. 
Xiao Qi looked like he was surviving the disaster. The faces of the other big men in the room were also ugly. Xiao Qi, are you often attacked by mutant birds like this? Jian Lusher heard other meanings in Xiao Qi's words. Hey, that's right. Xiao Qi sighed. Xia Yuan safe zone has been attacked by two waves of beasts. The mutated demonic bird we just saw appeared in the last beastly tide. At that time, three mutated demonic birds came over. One was killed and two escaped. Unexpectedly, this magical bird came here again today. Has he actually experienced two waves of beasts? Jian Lusher was secretly surprised. Zhonghai Safety Island had also experienced a beast tide, but only one wave had damaged his vitality. Xia Yuan Safe Zone has experienced two waves of beasts, but it seems that nothing happened. Its foundation is indeed much better than that of Zhonghai Safe Island. Well, where is Luo Luo? Suddenly, Jian Lusher found something light in his pocket. Then he saw that the chubby Luo Luo woke up at some point. Its eyes were shining, and it jumped and flew up in a whoosh, and its small body crashed into the inner iron door. What is this little thing going to do? Jian Lusher was startled. Chapter 424 Meeting an Acquaintance The room inside the inner door was filled with smoke. There were four people sitting on each of the three dark leather sofas. Ho Dinkuen, the president of the Doom Walker, was sitting on a sofa on the left. His face a little ugly. Lu Chanyang, you Blackwater organization has great achievements. Why do you have to steal people from us? We have been talking to the Fengshan team for a long time. And they have basically agreed to join us. It's not good for both sides if we don't completely break up. He blew out a smoke ring and stared coldly at the guy on the sofa opposite Lu Chongyang, the vice president of the Blackwater organization. Through the diffused smoke, Lu Chongyang stretched the muscles on his face with a smile on his face. His face was full of pits and scars, and there was no good piece of flesh left. It looked like a jigsaw puzzle of minced meat. It was shocking. Every expression he made was very ferocious and fierce. Basically agreed to join. Isn't it not confirmed yet? Lu Chongyang snorted and then looked at the two people on the sofa in the middle. Wind God Team, you are an elite team from Zhonghai Safety Island. Our Blackwater organization is also the fifth the strongest organization in the channel. If you join us, it's a win-win situation. On the sofa in the middle, two men with very fierce temperaments were sitting. One of them, a young man with a short crew cut, held a piece of raw mutated animal meat in his hand and chewed it indifferently, with a little blood flowing from the corner of his mouth. The other man had a shrewd smile on his face and a playful look in his eyes. I said, President Ho and Vice President Lu, is this the only condition you two have? Our function team is a B-level team after all. It is a regroup team of several free elite survivor teams from Zhonghai Safety Island. There are a total of 13 superpowers. Although there are no top-level second-level evolvers, they are all very powerful. I heard that Safe Island will issue a pioneering order recently. With our participation, you will definitely get value for your money. You two should show a little more sincerity. Since the Doom Walker and the Blackwater organization are competing for their function team, the most important thing is to let them raise the price of each other and give more benefits. You? Hodinkun was annoyed. He stared at the shrewd-faced young man and said in a deep voice, Wang Chuan Fu, didn't we agree? The residents in Area B, as well as the various mutated animal meat, guns and ammunition obtained by the organization, are at your disposal. You have priority. Why have you changed your mind now? Who do you think we are? Doomsday walkers? Wang Chuanfu snorted, ignored Ho Dinkuen, and glanced at Lu Chang'an over there. His attitude made Ho Dinkuen even more angry. If he didn't need manpower at critical moments, how could he let a B-level team be so arrogant in front of him? These guys from Zhonghai Safety Island have always been lukewarm towards the Doom Walker organization during the few days of negotiations. They obviously looked down upon them. Hodinkuen has tried his best to accompany them carefully. But he didn't expect that these bastards are still unfamiliar. Lu Chongyan didn't say anything. Just spread his palms. In the palm of his hand, there was a crystal that shone with metallic luster. Sensing the energy coming from the crystal, Wang Chuanfu's eyes straightened. His Adam's apple rolled. And he secretly clenched his hands. Evolutionary crystal? He knows what's good. He had seen such things as evolutionary crystals from the military's superpower team in the Zhonghai City Safe Zone in the past, and was very envious of them. It is a pity that the human government only provides this kind of thing to the army, and it is basically something that cannot be bought with money. The short-haired young man who had been eating mutated beast meat just now stopped chewing, stared at the evolutionary crystal in Lu Chongyang's hand, and began to breathe heavily. 
as long as you join our Blackwater organization. We will give you whatever conditions the Doom Walker gives you, and among the things we provide for the transaction. We also include evolutionary crystals. This kind of evolutionary crystal should be of higher purity than those on the Zhonghai Safety Island. It is said that 3,100 kilograms of mutated beast meat can make an energy crystal like this, Lu Chongyang said. His attitude was very leisurely. Because Lu Chongyang knew in his heart that there were probably not many elite teams of free superpowers who could face the temptation of evolutionary crystals. How many evolutionary crystals can you provide us for trade every month? Wang Chuanfu asked in a serious voice. After hearing Wang Chuanfu's words, Ho Dingkuen's expression changed drastically and his heart sank. He had only heard that the Blackwater organization could provide evolutionary crystals before. But he never expected that this legend was true. What kind of person with superpowers can refuse this thing? After all, this thing can promote the evolution of superpowers and is definitely a priceless treasure. Boom. Suddenly, the door opened. Something rushed in. The speed of this thing was so fast that before anyone could react, the mutated beast meat in the hand of the young man with a short crew cut had disappeared. Not far from the sofa in the middle. It is on a large cabinet against the wall. A furry little beast with a pair of long ears. Its mouth has been completely bulged. And it keeps chewing. It looks like a cat or a rabbit. After a few moments, there was a gurgle. And the little thing burped. And all the mutated beast meat entered its belly. In ma. At this time, the short-haired young man burst out with a roar like a wild beast. Wang Chuanfu's expression changed drastically. This brother of his had no other hobbies except eating. Mutated beast meat is more important than his life. He stretched out his hand to stop the short-haired young man and said to Ho Dingkuen, President, this, this little thing is your pet? Although he didn't think much of the Doom Walker, he didn't dare to offend the Doom Walker to death. Ho Dingkuen was confused for a moment. He didn't recognize the little thing on the cupboard at all. Suddenly he came back to his senses. A scowl appeared on his face and he looked out the open door. Who put this thing in? At this time, a man in a black trench coat rushed in, and with a quick stride, he picked up the two long ears of the little beast on the cupboard. You're a foodie. Did you steal something again? Jian Lusher looked at the bit of minced meat at the corner of Luo Luo's mouth, and he smelled the smell of mutated beast meat. Luo Luo looked innocent, her big eyes twitching, as if she understood Jian Lusher's words, and shook her head desperately. Only a ghost would believe you. Jian Lusher threw Luo Luo into his windbreaker pocket. Brother Jiang, at this time, Sun Kun also rushed in with a gun, guarding him vigilantly. Who are you? Ho Dingkun was furious and had nowhere to vent his anger. When he suddenly saw the two strangers who had barged in, his face turned ferocious. Boss, I'm sorry. He, the two of them are from the C-level team I mentioned to you. It was just a little accident. Ling Feng walked in and said to Ho Dingkun awkwardly. Ho Dingkun's face darkened and he looked at the faces of Jian Lusher and Sun Kuen. Of course he knew that the C-level team Ling Feng was talking about seemed to have just entered today. However, it looks like it won't work. Do the Doom Walkers want all the cats and dogs now? There are even ordinary people in this C-level team. Lu Chongyang couldn't help but sneer. When he smiled, the wounds on his face cracked open, like mottled tree bark, indescribably eerie. Ho Ding Kuen's face turned even darker when he heard Lu Chongyang's sarcasm. Indeed, he also saw that the young man among them was an ordinary person. Ling Feng has always acted calmly. Why is his vision so bad this time? It also caused him to be humiliated. At this time, Jian Lusher turned around and looked at Lu Chongyang indifferently. Who are cats and dogs talking about? Lu Chongyang's expression changed. No one on Xiaoyuan Safety Island dared to speak to him like this. You, Jian Lusher? At this time, a somewhat excited voice came from behind Jian Lusher. Only then did Jian Lusher see that the two people on the sofa looked familiar the way they were talking. Looking at Jian Lusher's confused eyes, Wang Chuanfu said loudly, I am Wang Chuanfu. Wang Chuanfu from Long Yu team in Zhonghai safety zone. We have fought mutant zombies together. After Wang Chuanfu's reminder, some fragments of the Zhonghai safety zone emerged in Jian Lusher's memory. In the memory like quicksand, some fragments floated, matching Wang Chuanfu with one of them. There was indeed a long new team fighting against mutated zombies with him. But it was not something worth remembering. Is it you? Have you evacuated the Zhonghai safety zone too? Jian Liosher's heart moved. Then do you know if two scientists named Su have come to Xiao Yuan? Wang Chuanfu shook his head. The affairs of scientists are government secrets, and we have no access to them. Oh! Jian Liosher stopped talking. 
He and Wang Chuanfu had no friendship at all. And they didn't feel like they were meeting old friends. Boss, is he Jian Lusher? The young man, with a short crew cut stare at Jian Lusher in shock. Yes. Wang Chuanfu nodded. The young man's eyes suddenly shone. Wow, isn't this a legendary character? Brother Jian, I must treat you to a drink. The short-haired young man suddenly became excited. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. Who is this person? Which song is this sung from? Sun Kun smacked his lips beside him. It seemed that Brother Jian was regarded as an idol. Jian Lusher, I'm afraid you don't know. After you left Zhonghai, the superpowers in Zhonghai safe zone all regarded you as their idol. It was rumored that you killed that member of Chu. Wang Chuanfu almost said the last sentence. Go to Jian Lusher and whisper. How did the news leak out? Jian Liusher's heart was in turmoil. He had indeed killed the senior official, who was a member of the Zhonghai military commission in a rage. But he absolutely cannot admit this. He is now on the territory of the government army. How is that possible? The rumors are false. We have never come back since we left Zhonghai Safety Island. Jian Lusher said calmly. I know. I don't believe it either. The short-haired young man winked at Jian Lusher and said this. But his eyes didn't believe Jian Liusher's words at all. Jian Lusher did not continue to deny it. Anyway, there was no evidence for this matter. In Wang Chuanfu's mind, the scene where Jian Lusher killed Chu Saoming, the second generation official, kept echoing. I was particularly impressed by the minibus that can be transformed into a mining truck. That kind of thing is definitely a killer weapon. In addition, Chu Songming's father died late at night. And it was rumored that he was assassinated by an outside elite team of survivors. He knew at that time that it must be the Shuring team. The Shuring team was actually able to break into the military area, kill the big boss in the military area, and leave unharmed. This ability can only be described as heaven-defying. Now, seeing Jian Lusher again in the Xiaoyuan safe zone thousands of miles away, Wang Chuanfu's heart could only be described as shocked. He had never seen a team of survivors who dared to survive thousands of miles outside. They evacuated Zhonghai with the army. In this apocalyptic world where zombies and mutated beasts are emerging one after another, killing each and every step, the Shuring team's ability to reach the Xiaoyuan safe zone safely is already a symbol of great strength. The Stone Shadow team is truly unfathomable. Captain Jiang, why are you here? Wang Chuanfu looked at Jiang Lusher in confusion. He never expected to meet Jiang Lusher in this place. Before Jian Lusher could speak, there was a sudden cough next to him. They are our doom walkers. Of course they are here. Ho Dinkuan slowly swallowed his eyes, looking at Jian Lusher with a strange look. Ling Fo next to him was stunned. Boss? Not long ago, Boss Ho had doubts about the Shuring team he recommended. Why is it now a certainty? You did a good job. Ho Dinkuan patted Ling Fo on the shoulder and winked at him. Ling Fo was not stupid. He understood immediately and a smile appeared on his face. Lu Chang'an, who was next to him, suddenly felt something was wrong. Why does the atmosphere seem to have changed? Boss, let's join the Doomwalkers too. We're on the same team as the Shuring team. I don't want to go against them. The short-haired young man suddenly said. Although he was reckless, he could also see that Doomwalker was hostile to the Blackwater organization. If you join Blackwater, you will have to face the legendary Stone Shadow team. Hey! You have to think carefully. Our Blackwater organization has evolutionary crystals in hand. Lu Chang'an was a little anxious. Why did the situation suddenly take a turn for the worse? It's all Jian Lusher who just came in. It seems that the Function team attaches great importance to Jian Lusher, and can even be said to be in awe. Who is this young boy who can't feel the fluctuations of supernatural powers? Chapter 425 Pioneering Order Ho Dinkuan suddenly gained a lot of confidence at this time, and looked at Lu Chang'an coldly. Evolutionary crystals are just a ball. You have more than 20 elite survivor teams. How many can you give to newcomers? Lu Chongyang's expression changed slightly. He did not answer Ho Dinkuan's words and looked at Wang Chuanfu and the young man with a short crew cut. You too. What do you think? If you follow our Blackwater organization, you will definitely get better resources than you do in the Doom Walker. We, we join the Doom Walkers. Wang Chuanfu hesitated for a while, glanced at Jian Lusher and said to Lu Chang'an. Lu Chang'an almost thought that he heard wrongly. How could it be possible that Feng Shen team really changed their minds midway? You two need to think clearly. Our Blackwater organization is not comparable to the Doom Walker. Lu Chang'an said quietly. Snapped. Enough. Ho Dinkuan finally couldn't bear it anymore and stood up. Lu Chang'an. What do you mean? Are you trying to ride on our heads? 
Right. Don't think that your Blackwater organization can be tyrannical. This is the Doomsday Walker. If you speak rudely to us again, get out of here. Ho Dinkuen glared at us. There is a murderous intent inside. Lu Chang'an also stood up, raised his eyebrows, and seemed to be smiling. So, you Doomwalkers are going to fall out with our Blackwater organization? As soon as he finished speaking, the atmosphere in the room suddenly became solemn. Everyone understood what Lu Chang'an meant. Falling out would mean an all-out war. In recent times, Doom Walker and the Blackwater organization have been in constant conflict and have been suppressed one after another. In fact, the two sides have deep grudges. Ling Feng couldn't help but feel nervous and looked at Ho Dinkuen. Ho Dinkuen's eyes were uncertain. He knew clearly that the outbreak of war was inevitable. Even though he was furious, he still had the slightest hesitation. What is the Blackwater organization? Suddenly, a voice sounded in the dead silence. All eyes immediately focused on Jiang Lusher. What he just said was what he said. If there's nothing wrong, please get out of here. I still have something to ask President Ho. Jian Lusher added. Lu Chengyang's face turned red instantly. Jian Lusher is just a young man in his early 20s. And he looks like a college student. You brat. How dare you talk to me like this? The Blackwater Organization. Before he could finish his words, he was interrupted again by Jian Lusher. I'm waiting for you to come. Haven't you all issued a reward order to buy the lives of our Shuring team? I will kill as many as you come. Jian Lusher said calmly. Sun Kun next to him grinned. Brother Jiang was so domineering. Ling Feng and Xiao Qi looked at each other with shock in their eyes. Isn't Jiang Lusher too courageous? He actually directly challenged the Blackwater organization. Ho Dinkuen looked at Jian Lusher with shock and surprise. Originally it was him who should have said these words. Even though it was said by a foreigner now. It was really refreshing to hear it. Reward order? Stone Shadow Team? Lu Chang'an suddenly remembered. No wonder he felt that the Shuring team seemed a bit familiar just now. It turned out that this team was the outsider team that the president had just issued a reward order not long ago. So it was you, the Shuring team who shot off one of Wang Hai's legs? In anger, he suddenly calmed down. His pupils shrank, and two cold rays shot out from them. Sure enough, as Wang Hai said, you are very arrogant, but let me see how long you can be arrogant. Don't think that the Doom Walker can protect you Shuring team, as long as you dare to take a step out of the safe zone. There will be no end to the Blackwater organization. I'm going to kill you. He almost said every word. And these very hateful words were squeezed out from between his teeth. I'll be with you anytime. Jian Lusher didn't look at Lu Chang'an at all. Rubbed Luo Luo's head which was hidden in his pocket. And said calmly. After the end of the world. He didn't know how many threats he encountered along the way. Are you still afraid of the vice president of a mere Blackwater organization? You guys are waiting too. Lu Chang'an gave Ho Dinkuen a fierce look. Ho Dinkuen lit a cigarette again and made a decisive decision. Lu Chang'an, go back and tell your big brother Lu Chengfei that if you want to fall out, then do it. He had long been dissatisfied with Lu Chengfei and Lu Chang'an, the chairman and vice president of the Blackwater organization. At this moment, Ho Dinkuen finally showed his domineering power as a leader of a force and was extremely decisive. People from Heishui, get out of here. Xiao Qi yelled next to him. The fight was finally about to begin, and he felt excited, letting out the grievances he had felt for many days at this moment. Ling Feng's expression was a bit solemn, and he was worried. Recently, he has been the most suppressed by the Blackwater organization, and the Doom Walker is more loose than the Blackwater organization. So he wants to win over Jiang Liuzhi's stone shadow team. Now that he has completely fallen out with the Blackwater organization, he has an ominous premonition. After all, Compared with the Blackwater organization, Doom Walker is completely at a disadvantage. Lu Chang'an gritted his teeth. And before leaving, he looked at Jian Lusher with a hateful look. Without this outsider, everything would have gone smoothly. It's all because of him. And this kid actually humiliated him in public. He couldn't wait to go back and arrange crazy revenge. As soon as Lu Chang'an left, the atmosphere in the room relaxed a little. Brother Jian, we will be in the same camp from now on. The short-haired young man was very happy and was not affected by the tense atmosphere just now. His enthusiasm made Jian Lusher a little overwhelmed. A camp? I didn't join the Doom Walkers. Jian Lusher smiled and said, Ah, Brother Jian, you didn't join the Doom Walkers? Wang Chuanfu was surprised next to him. He was originally hesitant, but it was because of his absolute confidence in the strength of Jian Liuzhi's stone shadow team that he joined the Doom Walker. Otherwise, 
he would have fallen to the side of the Blackwater organization. Now that he heard Jiang Liuxia's words, he couldn't help but look at Ho Dingkun in shock and anger. President Ho, what's going on? But you said Brother Jiang has already joined you. Ho Dingkun was surprised and just looked at Ling Feng. Because Jiang Liuxia and the others were recommended by Ling Feng. But now from Jiang Liuxia's tone, it seemed that he had no intention of joining the Doom Walkers. Ling Feng looked a little embarrassed. Captain Jiang, I thought you came here because you had the intention to join our organization. Why do you look down on our organization? Ling Feng could now see that Jiang Liuxia's team was definitely not as simple as C-level. Otherwise, the Feng Shen team, which is a B-level reviewer, would not have such high regard for Jiang Liuxia's Shuring team. He even did not hesitate to offend the Blackwater organization in order to join the Stone Shadow team. Seeing Ling Feng's embarrassed look, Jiang Liuxia smiled faintly. His impression of Ling Feng was okay. This man was at least a decent person and worth getting to know. Actually, Captain Ling Feng, President Ho, you don't have to worry. I won't join you because our team has always been free and unorganized. But I'm not familiar with the place here. And I need help from some friends. We can cooperate. Everyone takes what they need. Jian Luzer said. Ho Dinkuin's eyes lit up. Cooperation? Of course it can. As long as he can rely on the power of the Shuring team. He can do whatever he wants. He is now convinced that the Shuring team is definitely not simple. The people of Feng Shen team couldn't pretend to be in awe when they looked at Jian Lu Shi. How do you want to cooperate? Ho Dinkuin asked proactively. We provide some military support and cooperation in exchange for what your organization can give us, including various resources and various information. Jian Lu Shi said. Now Doom Walker needs to fight against the Blackwater organization. And what they lack is force. No problem. Ho Dinkuin said cheerfully. Then I want to find out some information now. Jian Lusher weighed his words and said, I have a very important person who has some special health conditions and wants to get medical assistance. In addition, there should be a level 2 facility in the Xiaoyuan safe zone. Evolutionary. Right. I want the president to help contact me. Finally, I want the president to help find out whether there is a scientist named Su in a group of cars that came here from the safety island in the Middle Sea some time ago. Jian Lusher explained all his needs in one breath and looked at Ho Dinkuin calmly. When Ho Dinkuin heard this, he frowned slightly. There are no substantive requirements for Jiang Liuxia's things. But these conditions and required information are taboo things on Xiaoyuan Safety Island. Captain Jiang, Ho Dinkuin said with a wry smile on his face. If it were an ordinary doctor here, I could find it for you right now. But I think your friend must have a special condition. I'm afraid only Xiaoyuan Medical University only experts from affiliated hospitals can meet your requirements. But now is the end of the world and only high-level military government officials and scientific experts can enjoy this kind of advanced medical resources. In addition, teams that have reached a level in the pioneering order can also apply for medical experts once diagnostic opportunities. As for the second-level evolvers, the second-level evolvers in the Xiaoyuan safe zone will be invited by the Army's special elite team to enjoy the best resources. They can't be contacted either. But if you want to find out about the expert named Su, I can help with this. Ho Dinkuin looked helpless. After all, no matter how powerful the organizations in the 5th channel are, they still have the military government of Xia Yuan Safety Island weighing on their heads. At most, they just pick up some resources missed by the military government and enjoy them. In many things, these organizations, which are very impressive in the eyes of ordinary people with special abilities, are still unable to access some resources monopolized by the government. In fact, Ho Dinkuin panicked when he said this. It is said that the captain of the Blackwater organization was rumored to be a second-level evolver in the army. But for unknown reasons, he was expelled from the army and later established the Blackwater organization. Of course, he would not dare to provide such information to Jiang Lusher. If Jiang Lusher turns to the Blackwater organization for this reason, the gains will outweigh the losses. Then I'll leave it to the president to inquire about the expert surname Su. Jiang Lusher said solemnly. When he came here, he had no illusions that he could solve his sister's problem immediately. But at least getting Ho Dinkuin to help find out about Li Yusin's mother and grandfather was something worthwhile. No problem. But now that we are in such a stalemate with the Blackwater organization, they will definitely take revenge. I think we must complete the mission of the Pioneering Order quickly, Ho Dinkuin said in a condensed voice. Pioneering Order? Jian Lusher frowned slightly. This was the third time he heard someone mention this thing. Seeing Jian Liuxia's confused expression, Ling Feng stepped forward to explain. Captain Jiang, 
The pioneering order is a policy proposed by the Xiaoyuan safe zone to counterattack zombies and regain the human living area. The pioneering order is divided into five levels of difficulty. The lowest level is just to hunt down some mutant beasts that threaten nearby safety. More high-level pioneering orders are related to the beast tide and the clearing of roads in nearby counties and villages. Moreover, the highest level five-level pioneering order can directly obtain the independence of some clear counties and recruit ordinary survivors to the side. Planting crops and the like. It's like this county is yours. You only need to pay some resources to the government regularly. Ling Feng talked eloquently. Jiang Lusher was a little surprised when he heard that Xiaoyuan safe zone was really a big zone, and he was really bold in doing things. The tasks issued by the pioneer order should be very dangerous. But there are also many benefits from the government. As a result, a large number of unruly and elite survivor teams, who are not controlled by the government, will work hard to complete the tasks of the Pioneer Order. It saves the government a lot of manpower and opens up the surrounding safety area. From another perspective, it is also an alternative form of government control over the liberal elite survivor squad. Jiang Liosher's eyes shone. This thing was simply tailor-made for him. Although the tasks on the Pioneer Order are high risk, the rewards are also high. Moreover, if you do more pioneering orders, you can quickly improve the team's strength evaluation ranking in the government system. If you quickly reach a level, he would be in the sight of high-level government officials. And if he obtained a medical expert's diagnostic qualification, he would be able to save his sister with a high probability. There is also a qualification to contact people with second-level evolutionary abilities. President Ho, how many pioneering orders have you obtained so far? Jian Lusher asked curiously. He could see that Ho Dinkuen was trying every possible means to win over the function team and ensuring team. Just to quickly replenish manpower and strength. Obviously, the pioneering order Ho Dinkuen received was more difficult. Two level 3 pioneering orders and one level 5 pioneering order. Ho Dinkuen looked a little solemn. Level 5 pioneering order? Jian Lusher was slightly startled. Ling Feng had just mentioned that level 5 pioneering orders were basically only done by teams with a rating of A. Moreover, an A-level team must recruit several A-level teams to do it together. This kind of mission is very dangerous. Usually it is the military's special elite survivor squads that undertake such missions. Can your organization handle such a task? Jian Lusher asked. He was a little skeptical because there was not even an A-level team among the Doom Walkers. You have to eat even if you can't eat it, Ho Dinkuen said with a bitter smile. We are now being targeted by the Blackwater organization everywhere. So we can only take a chance. And this level 5 mission is special and has a large scope. Many teams and organizations have accepted it. Well, as long as we don't encounter two perverted mutant beasts. With the strength of everyone in our organization. Maybe we can try to fish in troubled waters. Ho Dinkuen said this. But Jian Lusher could hear his guilty conscience. What is this 5th level mission? Jian Lusher wondered. 